and hit record now. So that's going and we're going to admit all. Make sure you guys all accepted that or it'll mute you later and you won't be able to talk. Uh, accept that you're recording. What does it say that, Jessica? It did. Um, I, 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 I turned that setting off. Oh, okay. I'm like, I don't see that. I know, I know what you're talking about, Jessica, but I didn't see it. Yeah, that happened to me. Mine popped up and I, I accepted it. So, okay. 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 So tell me when you want me to. I believe we have let everybody in that wanted to come in. Welcome, everybody. Um, Karen will be reading a quick welcome screen, a uh, welcome uh, message to everybody here. Okay, guys, um, welcome back to day two of Images of Distinctions round one. What? Yeah, day two. We hope you enjoyed yesterday and are ready for a full day of learning today. Um, 844 images will be discussed today. We have commentary from four panels. The full day recording, recording from each panel will be available to view on the ASP website under the Zoom settings. The audio discussion from each image will also be available on printcomp.com. We cannot thank Jeff Burton enough for his support on this event and the tweaks he has continued to make this software, software better. Um, and the best experience for our viewers and workers. And yes, it is much better than last year. So I can attest to that. So let's meet our jurors. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves? And I'm um, Karen McCall, in case you don't know. Go ahead, guys. I'm Jessica Vogel I'm, uh, in Shelbyville, Kentucky. Uh, Joe yeah, Campanelli from Palm Coast, Florida. Adelpha. I am Adelpha Ford from Salt Lake City, Utah. Happy and I am Carrie Dama from Door, Michigan. Okay, thanks, guys. So we're going to be breaking for lunch at 1230 Eastern time um, and hopefully ending around 530. And don't forget the award ceremony for the Images of Distinction round one is going to be April 23rd at eight o'clock. So let's go, guys. Um, Thea, I have a starting soon. Is that you? Are you manning the... No, that is you. I don't know what? Because I am in full screen view again. Yeah, so go ahead and uh, and you make okay? sure you can get to the scorekeeper app. I am here. All right, judges. Well, this is a lot less um, stressful than yesterday. So I'm <laughs> title and I'm going to read the score and you guys are going to chat about it. So um, this is Horsepower and Grit and it scored an 82. And we are starting with the uh, reportage category. You guys see? Okay. Yep. All right. Miss Carrie, would you take this one? Sure, sure. What a great image. Um, we've got great emotion, great impact, uh, and a fantastic subject matter. As far as uh, reportage category for anything to do to advance this image, uh, the only thing I looked at, and I noticed this while we were judging, is the right side of the image is quite dark uh, compared to the rest of the image. So my eye kept wanting to go over to that right side. Um, you know, maybe bringing up some of those shadows a little bit uh, would help that. And um, fantastic job. Okay. Does anyone have anything new to bring to this image before we go to the next one? Okay, let's do the next one. Okay, under those Friday night lights scored a 77. Joseph, why don't you take this one? Joseph, oh, it's so formal today. Um, <laughs> uh, we've got really good, you know, action here, you know, stop action, uh, good use of uh, depth of field. Um, you know, what, what you're kind of fighting, um, you know, I like the, the color of the uniforms. We've got, you know, good density there. I'm looking at the, looking around the image. Uh, the feet are sharp. Everything's sharp. You know, so we've got a really good action thing. I think so far as, you know, again, taking it farther, I think the upper part of the image becomes a, a really big distraction in, in reportage. You could simply you know, prop that out, especially the lights up above. But, you know, overall, really nice image. Anyone have anything else to bring to that? I also feel that it was perhaps presented too light. A little bit, a little bit uh, less light um, would have helped. All right, next. 
Okay, playing through the pandemic and it scored an 86. Okay, Adelpha, you wanna start with this one? But this one is scored an 86. I actually think that this is a fabulous image. Um, you know, the only thing that I would do, I honestly think that this is a beautiful image. I am in love with it and I love the, the expression the, the, of everyone, how they are looking. I mean, the third guy coming in, his expression is priceless. Um, the only thing that I would consider is that the presentation is really taking away from the image, meaning it's too complicated. I wanna go straight to it so the double line is not working for me. Anyone else have anything to add new? Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, surfs up and it scored an 86. Okay. Carrie? Yeah, fantastic image. And 86 is a fantastic score. So I would be happy with that. Uh, what I enjoyed on this is the competition and the flow and the motion. So we've got the water uh, coming around in a circular format, uh, circling our subject matter, um, you know, great capture with his motion and expression. Um, the only thing I would think of is there's a couple dark areas uh, if I go up above my subject matter, straight up almost to the border, there's like a dark blotch. And I know that's a water splash, but it's darker. So I would look, up, you know, for a few of those darker areas, uh, to maybe be careful of those. Because to me, my eyes automatically look at them and think maybe they're dust spots. And I know they're not. But uh, because of that, it draws my eye away from the subject. But, uh, you know, great tonality in this, the nice and straight horizon line uh, and nice presentation. Anyone else have anything? Just to add to the darker area, uh, keep an eye on the lower left corner. There is that, it is almost like it's, it's smoother than the rest of the image. Okay, let's move to the next one. Through the gap and it scored an 85. <clears throat> okay, Joe. Yeah, excellent image, 85. Again, great stop action. You know, we've got great details with the uniforms. Um, good separation from the background. Uh, good focus, detail, technical excellence. Um, there was, I remember this image when it came up, there was some comments about maybe possibly a different crop, maybe a little bit uh, tighter, just to make it a little bit more powerful. Um, the other thing was uh, maybe dodge out the, the, your center image number 26 was holding the ball and coming forward. Maybe dodge down that, that face mask a little bit so we had a little bit more detail. But overall, really nice, clean image. The presentation really works well, you know, bringing those colors in. Um, excellent image. Anyone else have a comment to make? Yeah, I'd like to add to this one. Um, that green area in the center to me is a little bit distracting, the lime green circular uh, right behind our main subject there. And in the reportage category, I believe you could just desaturate that green, but because it's so bright, my eyes wanna jump back there. So that would be another uh, thing to look at. Okay, great comments, guys. Next one. Abandoned score, scored 79. Adelpha. Um, 79, almost a, a merit. I mean, the, the, the model over here, the subject matter is absolutely um, appealing. And the story, you got a storytelling here, the, the sadness on the puppy's uh, face, you can tell the story. So great storytelling. What could have helped is perhaps a little bit uh, more, um, more space. It's too close to the image, so it's so tight that it's almost like on your face. Um, a little bit of presentation would have been nice. Also, um, keep an eye on the focusing, like the face is in focus, everything else is kind of splashy. So I am thinking that it might be um, low. It, it has like an image issue in the back of the legs a little bit. If any of you guys want to jump in, go ahead. But that's I'm kind of con concerned about the print quality of this. 
Yeah, I, I'll comment on it. Uh, I agree with what you said there, Adelpha. I, I also, you know, I, I was just kind of looking at this image and I think it's got a lot of power to it. I would have looked at a different crop, losing the whole bottom half of the bit of, of the dog, because I think the story is up at the face, down the body. You can tell he has mange and that area up there. So I think you would still see that he, you know, his weary little self, if, if we lost that bottom half, we kind of lose some of those problems that Adelpha was referring to and, and putting it head over in a strong act to this image. Uh, that could possibly push it up to that next category. So I think composition on this would be something I would consider as well. Okay, next. Now that's a block scored in 81. Okay, Joe? Yeah, again, you know, 81, 81 you said, Karen? Yes. Yeah, deserving of a merit. Um, solid merit image, you know, great stop action here. You know, you can, you can just feel the power that, you know, that she's pushing into this girl uh, with that good focus, you know, with, that's what we want to see in a reportage. On um, the hands of the girl trying to block her are nice and crisp. Same thing with the ball, all the way down to the feet. Um, reportage, if anything, and, and you may not have had that space. I, I would have like to see maybe a little bit more space for her to in her environment, you know, where the shoe is, and maybe maybe burn down um, those lights in the background just a little bit. You can do that in, the, in reportage, but, you know, you don't want to do it to the point that it's muddy. I think the presentation works, um, you know, really separates the image. Overall, you know, nice merit image. Anyone else have something new to add? Okay, we can go to the next one. Delta formation and it scored an 80. Okay, Adelpha, you want to take this one? Um, yes. Uh, great. I mean, great image. You got a merit. Congratulations. Um, I felt like it was like it was so tight. Like um, I see the formation when I when I look at this image, I want more space. Like I want more, you know, I know that they are on the air, so I want more space so they can have a place to travel. Um, also the smoke, the smoke, um, it looks kind of like soft, like way soft and kind of matted in, in one area. It, maybe that is atmosphere is and it's normal, but that was something that they caught my attention. And uh, the planes is, is almost like, missing a little bit of um, punch and uh, and they look a tiny bit fussy, like they are not totally sharp. Anyone else have anything different to add? Okay, we're ready for the next one. Rescue of Anna and it scored an 80. Okay. Harry. Yeah. Uh, what an emotional image that we have here. Uh, you know, we are automatically tug at the heartstrings with the story. So great job with the uh, title. You know, as far as this image uh, goes, um, to me, I think a lot of the problems is not necessarily how it was captured, but what we're presenting as subject matter. We've got a, a lot of busy background. We've got the branches coming in front of the uh, animal and we've got the spotty sunlight, uh, you know, happening here. So uh, to me, it, it would be probably a better choice to choose something different for uh, the reportage category, uh, just because you've got a lot of problems in a competition. Now, this is a great uh, piece to bring awareness or fundraiser for the organization that's doing it. Um, you know, that kind of thing. The other thing is it is lacking presentation. So presentation is one of the 12 elements. So I would look into that. Uh, but what a what a touching story and, and great connection between the hand and the subject. Anyone else have a comment to make different? Okay, we can move to the next one. Wash day and that scored 81. What, what was the title again? Wash. Wash, okay. All right. Uh, Joe. Yeah, great slice of uh, light image, you know, uh, of these people coming down to the river, you know, doing their wash. We, 
wow, we've got so many little, you know, we look at this image, you know, in reportage, and we have so many little mini stories going on in the background and the upper, you know, with the gentleman looking on. Uh, great depth of field, you know, great use of foreground, middle ground, and background. Um, as far as, you know, maybe moving it forward, you know, I'm looking through here, exposure's great, composition, I really like. Um, the only, I would probably take the presentation, I would probably take the gray down just a little bit darker so that it's not competing with the overall image. Okay. Anyone else have something new to add? Yeah, I think even adding a little bit more punch in our subjects in the that are in the water, uh, to me, they're the main the main part of the story. And my eye goes to the most area of contrast, which is the clothing uh, that's hanging up on the rails on the upper left and uh, the right hand side in the middle there. And so I think adding just a little bit more contrast and punch on our subject matters would help draw them out a little bit more. Okay, awesome, guys. Uh, we're ready for the next one. Okay, Winter Roundup scored an 85. All right, Miss Carey. Yeah, um, 85, fantastic score, fantastic image. We've got great impact. I love uh, the center of interest with that uh, horse coming right at us. Uh, as far as you know, moving this one up a level, I feel there's like a little bit, I don't know if it's grain or pixelation. Like when I look at the um, subject matter on the left-hand side, the woman on the horse on the left, uh, her face just doesn't quite seem to have all the, the detail that I want it to have. So I'd take a look at the file and see what is the source of that. Is it the source of sizing? Is it the noise in the image uh, and, and see if we can get them up with something a little bit more clear there. Uh, and I'm guessing this is a hill and that the image really isn't crooked. <laughs> uh, maybe tipping it just a little bit to the left would help me not think that it's crooked, but uh, overall great storytelling image here, uh, great expressions and a lot of impact. And, and I'll just add on this, when, when you bump your contrast up, be, watch how it affects those shadows, like the dark horse there on the left. He, he's starting to get kind of blocked up. And then what it does to your shadow areas up in the mountain, especially on that ridge up in the upper left, when you start pushing those things, those pixels start getting hard and make those lines. So just something to be aware of uh, as, you're, as you're pushing those limits on those particular settings. Okay, next one. Holy cow scored 78. All right, Adelpha. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, um, I remember I was in the panel where this image came up and I, and I really liked it. It was really, really um, a cute idea. Um, you know, there is a lot of chaos on this. One of the things that I noticed is that the holy cow is a little bit soft and, and the, you know, it looks kind of, matted so maybe maybe the contrast is not high enough maybe pushing it a little i understand that if that happens you might lose um you might lose details on the white which you are kind of losing details on the white on the like the bottom half of the little cow um perhaps looking for a, um another crop where you can have more space so it shows more the difference because right now the birds that is uh, straight up on the head to the left that is getting a lot of light over there is catching all the attention and is taking away from the subject matter, which is the little cow. Anyone else have anything different to yeah. add? I, I would like to add to this one too. You know, I was on the panel when this one came up and to me, I think for me, the main uh, problem with this image was that really soft out of focus bird in the foreground. So I don't know if this was shot in a series where, you know, you were shooting, 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 and you've got birds in different positions. I don't mind any of the other birds around. I think they add to the story, but that one that's right closest to us, right in the middle, almost cutting into the cow's face to me is what is holding that back from the uh, merit category. And, and so I feel that uh, choosing something in that series might be a different, uh, a better option. All right, guys, good. Next. Roadblock scored 79. All right, Joe. 
you know, roadblock, 79, just short of the merit category. Um, tough condition here. You're really close to the action. So, you know, and we've, we've got, you know, overall good sharpness. We've got good action, especially the girl in the back. Um, we've got good separation between them and the crowd. Um, just short of the merit category. Um, for me, it, it's like too, too, too close. It's too close to crop. Uh, the girl on the right is kind of getting a little bit soft, especially, you know, down when you see her, her letter, the A and, and her back and the hair. Um, you may have been, you know, kind of constricted where you had to sit. But I think overall, I think that's that's the biggest thing for me. It's just a little bit too tight a crop, and we're really amputating that foot at the background. Um, the presentation, I realize we're pulling that red out there, but it's really, really predominant. If you're going to use the red, then I would probably, you know, lower the uh, pixel, probably three to six pixels. It's just a little bit thinner, and it's not so predominant. It stands out on the presentation so much. Okay. Anyone have anything else new to add? Yeah, my thought with this is I know, you know, and this again, different judges have different opinions, right? And I'm not saying uh, Joe's opinion is wrong, but to me, I think the crop needs to be closer. I think the story is uh, the ball and the girl on the left. And what happens is that girl on the right, all I want to do is look at her backside because it's prominent and closest to the camera. And I think if cropping it in a tighter crop around more of uh, the other two subjects and just having the girl on the right be a, uh, you know, coming in from the side of the crop, you know, that might be an option for this one too. So. All right. Great suggestions, guys. Next. Breakfast and coffee with friends scored 80. Okay, Carrie. All right. Give me a second to look at it. Uh, 80. What a fun image. Breakfast and coffee with friends. Love the title. Love the storytelling. Uh, we've got some great action going on with a bird that's actually catching the, the food in air and <laughs> one sitting right on his hat, on his head. Uh, fantastic. Um, yeah, as far as doing anything different for this, moving to a different category, I would say watch for uh, the open areas in the water in the background on the left. Uh, to me, they are, I'm glad they're soft uh, and soft focus, but there's a lot of areas that are just blank and white and it kind of blends into the sky. So I'm not sure if there was uh, a way to fix that at all. Um, it might not be, you know, something that you can actually fix. Uh, the other thing that's a little bit uh, obtrusive in this image is the foreground on the bottom left. Uh, to me, I, I like to see some foreground, but that's so out of focus and close to us and it cuts off his foot that uh, perhaps moving into a little bit different uh, camera angle uh, in the future would, would be a little bit better too. And, and I'll just add, just wa once again, watch as you're pushing things on this, we've got a lot of magenta and, and no magenta-like and noise back there in that rock in the back right uh, that I'm seeing mm -hmm. that throughout. So that'd be something I'd watch for too. Okay, next. Street Sweeper scored 83. Okay, Adelpha. Um, let me take a look at it. Um, it scored 83, so congratulations, you got a mirror. Uh, you know, this is a little bit of slice of life. And, uh, and it's a cool image. Um, however, uh, what I would probably, on my, on my simple opinion, probably what I will bring it up is right now the street sweeper is a subject matter and he's stuck right on the middle. Um, it's my humble opinion that the right part, it, it doesn't play anything on it. It's just a reflection of whatever is on the left. So I think like getting rid of all the right and putting him more in a in a lower uh, in a lower right curve, it will give us it will let us appreciate more the beautiful tonalities of black and white that you got going that you got going on the street image. It will make a triangle between him and the photo of the city information guy, and it will make this image a lot more energetic. I feel that the right part of this image is, is hurting it. Okay. Anyone have anything different to add? Yeah, one more quick thing. Sorry, I keep adding. 
<laughs> I just want to congratulate the maker on the straight lines in this. What a difficult situation with all those buildings and all those lines uh, to get them nice and straight and perpendicular. So well done. Awesome. All right. Next up. Underwater Beauty scored an 81. And we are now going into the portrait category. Okay. So we've changed categories, guys. So click that mind into the portrait. All right. Uh, let's see, Carrie, let's start, start it off for us. Yeah. Underwater beauty. Was that the title? Yes. All right. Underwater beauty. We have underwater beauty. <laughs> Great title for this image. Um, when I'm looking at this image, I enjoy the composition of this. I like the leading line and the flow of her arm position. Uh, the one arm though, that's straight, I think a little bend in her elbow would help that. Uh, in the future, just to give it a little bit more flow, because we've got a lot of curves in her dress. Um, as far as this image goes, we've got great uh, tonality. I like the uh, not punching up the black so much because we are underwater. However, that black presentation, there's nothing that dark in the image itself. Uh, so I'd be careful of that. I would pick uh, you know, one of the darker blacks that are in the image, just so that we don't notice how lacking of of black there is in the in the image itself so uh fantastic job i love her finger position her expression that little hair twirl at the end i think is is done really well anyone else have something new to add i would like to add that um everything is by the way this is a great image i love all the colors and all the purples uh, going on but um I know it's underwater and everything is soft, like all the background, all the lines and everything is soft. Um, however, there is a horizontal line, which is, I guess, where the water meets the background or something like that. Um, I I know that gives the impression of, you know, where one thing starts and the other one begins, but I feel like it's so strong that it's preventing me from enjoying more um, her beautiful soft hand and, and her expression. So maybe softening that a little bit so it's not so strong might be a great idea all right great comments guys next up soldier boy scored <laughs> so, <laughs> <sorry. laughs> say soldier boy scored um an 83 it's too early <laughs> <laughs> all right joe why don't you start us off with this one um, 83, uh, solid merit image, uh, really good details throughout the image. I like the separation between, you know, use of the technical explanation with, you know, the background, you know, he's not on the same, you know, plane. You know, we've, we've got the, we've got a, a, a hint of, of, of 3D effect here. Um, I like the lighting, you know, from the left and the right. On um, the right side is maybe, um, the lighting on that side is just a little bit too strong. Good definition of his hat and his clothes. Same thing on that left, that, that separation light's a little bit um, a little bit too strong. I think the bottom of the image is a little bit too dark. I'm, I'm concerned if, if you take, try to take it forward about the the, the different coloriz colorization of his hand on his face. Either it was burned down a little bit, or I would probably just lighten that up a little bit. I think the presentation works well with the image, you know? The overall, really nice image. Nice. All right. Anyone have anything different to add? All right, great comments, Joe. Next up. Labor Day scored a 79. All right, Miss Carey. Yeah, Labor Day, fun image, uh, scored a 79. Let's see, let me take a look here. And uh, a couple of things I would think of, a lot of times in a maternity session, uh, we would want to turn our image a little bit sideways so we can see her belly a little bit more. It's hard to, uh, you know, see the roundness and the curve of her belly, you know, the way the direction that she's facing. So I think a slight turn and the other thing a slight turn would have helped is, uh, you know, looking up on the underside of her armpit. So I like the pose and I like how she's standing and how she's wrapping her hand around the bottom, but uh, just fine tuning that pose a little bit, turning sideways, bending that knee in a little further. Uh, the other thing that I noticed on this one is we got a little bit of a discrepancy in our light coloring going on here. Uh, so if you look at the side of her dress, 
uh, under her arm on the our right hand side camera right and down her hip and then on the uh, tail of her train there that's flinging out we have a yellow tonality and coming in from some kind of yellow lighting and that's not the same color lighting on her face and so to me that was a little bit discruent uh, discruent in uh, the rest of the process I like the uh, orange background and maybe we were going for the complementary colors with the blue and the orange um, so I think that was done nicely and, and a fresh look at things with that block in the background rather than all a solid background. I think that was kind of fun. So, uh, good job. Any, any other different comments anyone needs to make? Um, what, <clears throat> yes, um, great, great, a great idea, great concept. Um, be aware that when you are toning things down, um, it, it gives the appearance like the hand was toned down perhaps a little bit too much because you see highlights coming on the arm, on the shoulder, on the other side, on the head. But when it comes to the hand, those fingers, uh, they got toned down so much that it's starting to blend with the background. So be aware of that. Okay, yes, next up. Freezing by scored an 85. Starting to rhyme. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Adelpha. Um, this one is scored an 85. Uh, congratulations. I mean, that is, oh, what a beautiful model. I mean, look at her expression is to die for. Great job getting the separation with that hair and the background. Um, beautiful, beautiful um, hands for the, for the model. Great ballerina. Uh, my favorite subject to photograph. Uh, on, the, on the right, let me see, right hand, no, that would be her left hand, come on the right. Um, keep, an, keep an eye when you do this type of stuff that the, hand, the light is coming up all the way to the hands, but the fingers are starting to get um, like a little bit dark, like the light is not hitting them. So that would be something that could be dutch a little. Um, other than that, this image is like very, very awesome. There is a little bit of... Uh, on the skirt, like a little red line coming all around. I think it has to do with computer, with computer issues. So when you are finishing the image, make sure that you go very close on them and take a look at anything that my um, that the computer noise might mess with. It. It's just in the in the, the skirt, camera left. There is a little like dark line that follows that skirt. Anybody have anything new to add? All right, next up. Dragon Hunters in Training scored an 84. All right, Carrie. <laughs> fabulous, fabulous image. This made me smile. Uh, I didn't see it in judging. So uh, great job. Look at those faces. Look at that story going on. Beware <laughs> of dragons. If I were the mom of these two little boys, I would be over the moon on this image. Uh, great complimentary colors. Uh, the the work of the jeans, the um, color, the purples that are brought through. <laughs> Uh, the pterodactyl, I think, is what you call the bird, the thing in the background. Um, fabulous job. I'm having a hard time of anything picking to actually critique to improve because I think this is fabulous. So if anybody else has any ideas. <laughs> just just kudos to the strengths of this image, uh, you know, impact, uh, technical excellence, uh, the color, everything about it that just really hit all those 12 elements. Great job. Okay, next up. My Baby Ink scored an 85. All right, Joe. Oh, well, what a great story here. 85, excellent category. First of all, you're dealing with this, this gorgeous little baby. And we put, looks like we put dad's ink on the baby, you know, to try to tie them together. A uh, really great story here. I love the expression on the baby. It's kind of like, you know, you know, what have you done to me? Um, good separation on the background. I like the lighting on the, on the baby's face. We got really nice catch light. Beautiful eyes. We've just drawn right into the subject. You know, I'm just looking around. I don't know if I would have done anything different. If anything else, um, the left side of the baby's back side is a little bit dark. 
and he's a little bit tight to the image, maybe just giving him a little bit more room. But a great style, you know, style to the image and a great storyline. Uh, congratulations. Any other comment? All right, next up. Priestess Gordon, 85. Carrie. Yeah, beautiful image. Uh, we've got some nice impact going on here. Uh, great uh, lighting, nice creativity with our headpiece. Uh, and a I'm trying to decide if it has presentation or no presentation. I think there's no presentation in there, but I think this image is strong enough that it carries. Uh, presentation is one of the 12 elements. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Uh, the, a couple of things I think of, I love the lighting on her face. It's absolutely beautiful. I'd really watch it to make sure it's, you, you know, you just take, I think it's a little too bright, take it down just a hair. And then we have just the opposite on our chest. I feel like her chest has gone too gray. Uh, right in the front, front center portion of that chest area. So uh, just slightly, slightly lowering those highlights on her face and slightly, slightly bringing up a little bit of that on her chest. Uh, I think, you know, because we look at her hands to her chest and hands, uh, that frontal area there seems gray and we just don't want to see gray tones in the skin tones, but beautiful job. I love the placement of the uh, it's intriguing for me to look at, which has the impact, the placement of the chains around her nose and her lips, creating all those beautiful shapes and the lighting uh, pattern in the background. Wonderful. And, and I'll just add, I love the upper half of this image. I just think it's got such wonderful impact. It's just like Carrie was pointing out about the chest, but I would pay attention to those arms. If you notice how that shadow comes down, gives you a very uh, muddy looking skin tone to the elbow. And then we have a different color skin tone from that over. And then her wrist is a different color. So just, just paying attention to that and how, especially how those shadows and uh, contrast and that kind of thing is going to affect that. All right, next up. Sweetheart scored 80. All right, Adapa. Oh, <clears throat> okay, and apparently this is a Valentine's Day thing going on, huh? This is, <laughs> um, we, we love, we love our little, our little best friends over here. Um, I think the story, congratulations, you got married. I think the story, you know, carry this. Um, I actually love the presentation, how it adds everything together. I think and I understand um, kind of the, the, the funny of this, this, but I think if I would have had the puppy's face a little bit lower, so I would have been able to see the eyes or more of a face instead of just a, um, you know, instead of just a nose or maybe a title that will make me forget that I want to see the eyes. Um, it will be nice. Also, uh, be very aware um, when we photograph our little our little friends over here, they, we want details in all the fur. Like from the nose down, you can see every string and you can see um, every detail from the nose up um, to the right. You know, they kind of motion kind of blend, like maybe it's too light and the, I am losing details on the on the hair over there a little. But great. Anyone all right. Anyone else have anything else that you'd like to add to this? Yeah, I want to talk about the composition of this. I think, you know, this is suited for a nice central composition, uh, the way it's presented to us. However, it's not quite central composition. So, uh, you know, cropping just a hair off the right hand side and off the bottom, I think would, would put that nose a little bit more bullseye center composition. Uh, it might help this. Okay, great. Next up. Prim and Purple scored 78. Okay, Joe, why don't you take this one for us? Prim and Purple. Um, definitely, you know, the title, you know, goes right into the subject. You know, uh, we've got, you know, good detail in the dog. We've got good catch lights, good focus on the dog. Um, I think what you're fighting here, I, I think I would try if you're going to move this forward. Um, the one thing, the, the left side of the, you know, our camera, camera left, the left side of the dog is like, we're blowing out those highlights and the pearls just a little bit. We've got good detail, you know, in the, in the top of the head. Um, I think moving forward, I think a tighter crop will definitely work, um, like just below the paws. I don't think you need to show all of that chair. Um, the presentation is a little bit overpowering. 
I realize that you're trying to bring out the purple. I would go down a little bit darker and just not so much of the presentation. The way it stands now, the presentation takes up almost as much space as the image. So just, just a few minor tweaks, you know, if you want to take this forward. Anyone else have anything else to add to that? Yeah, I would be careful uh, with a couple of things technical excellence wise. When I look at this chair uh, on the bottom edge, when you come up from the bottom, you've got kind of a little bit on the bottom left, you've got a little bit of a jaggedy edge and then you've got a mushy area there. So to me, there's some artwork trouble there. Um, I do think this would benefit from a tighter crop. If you crop just a little bit under the dog's paws, you'd crop that off. But moving forward, I just want to make sure you're aware, you check all those edges, make sure you have, uh, you know, the transitions being smooth. And then there's the same thing in the texture in the background. If we look in the upper left-hand corner of the image uh, inside the uh, border, there's a, a diagonal line that kind of curves around uh, to cut off that corner. So I'd be careful of those textures and making sure there's no uh, funny lines and patterns like that. All right, excellent. Next up. Preparation for point 81. Okay, Adelpha. Yes, another dance image. Um, a beautiful job. Um, the the storytelling, the title goes with it. Um, it. It has a sweet impact when it comes up, when it comes along. Um, this is still a portrait though, and uh, the composition on this one has me a little bit like wanting for more. Um, there is her her attention is to the front and to the feet, and um, and I have her center but not center. So this is a this is a studio portrait. So you will be able to play with the composition a little bit more to put her in a more favor favorable position. This is a little painting. Um, however, the feet and the ground is like is wanting. I want more shadows to make sure that she is grounded to the floor. Over there, it looked like her foot is um, flooring. So it's giving it a little bit of a flooring um, feeling. And always when you do the painting, make sure that those, um, those brushes work all the way around and you use the same technique uh, on all the skin. Anyone else have anything else to add? All right, next up. Not my first rodeo, 79. Okay. <laughs> Joe, you wanna take this one? Sure, not my first rodeo. A uh, cute portrait of this puppy, you know, 79 just missed the merit category. Um, I'm looking, you know, technical excellence. You know, we've got good focus on the hat. The good detail in the fur. Um, if anything, looking at the background, you know, good separation there, presentation. Um, I think it's just a little bit too tight. I'd like to see a little bit more, more room around the puppy, um, move, move him uh, down a little bit. I think the other thing that you're kind of fighting here is what he's sitting on. You know, this little dog is sitting either on a couch or it's the material you, you use. So we're kind of losing those bottom paws a little bit. So, but overall, a really cute concept. Presentation is clean and simple too. Anybody else got any, any ideas on this one? I, you know, I, I'm i thinking a different crop on this. I I probably would lo lose the feet, you know, cropping, leaving yeah. leaving the string in, but losing that and making more of a, a, a bust kind of shot of the dog, I think could make it more powerful because I, I, I agree with you, those feet down in that cushion kind of made me look to see if they were missing, but it's just him pushing down in that cushion. I think we could just lose that. All right, next up. Wind Instrumental scored an 82. All right, Carrie. Yeah, fun, fun senior portrait. Uh, scored an 82, so congratulations on the merit. Uh, so let's talk about what it is that's great. I love the um, music flying through the air to me you have some storytelling and some creativity going on that's done well uh some things that i would think to improve this i feel that uh we just didn't leave enough room on the top of the image 
Uh, if he stands up, he's going to bump his head on the top of the image. So I would like to have seen just a little bit more headroom up through the top. And then watch those reflections in the musical instrument. I know those are super hard to do uh, and, and watching those, but you almost have to treat that like a commercial shoot. I believe I can see the softbox right in the center there. So uh, taking care of that um, while you're shooting it would be helpful. Um, be careful of the blacks. Uh, he's, we've got great, uh, detail in a lot of the blacks, but bumping up the contrast loses some of the detail, uh, in his shoulder, just, uh, on his, uh, his right shoulder, our camera left shoulder, uh, and, and on the chair itself, uh, we start to, well, the chair is kind of hard to say because that's just painted wood. I don't think you'd have much detail in there. Uh, and then the, the bottom, I think, I do like where you cropped into that box. Part of me thought maybe we should leave a little more room to not crop the bottom of the box, but uh, I think I'm going to take that thought back. I think I like where it's cropped there. So, uh, but great job, great creative. I'm sure the senior boy absolutely loved it. And uh, the only thing I'll add is on that right hand side, watching how that light falls off. And we might, I don't know if we've vignetted or worked on that but we kind of created a glow around his body mm -hmm. a little bit there, then it falls off into a kind of a muddy kind of shadow area. So just kind of watching that would be my other suggestion. Okay, next up. Peter scored an 83. All right, Adelpha. Oh, I was still thinking about the other one when this one came up and got me by <laughs> surprise. <laughs> what a beautiful, red-headed, gorgeous girl and what a beautiful expression. I believe you say an 83, so um, congratulations. Uh, I, I'm in, totally in love with her expression and I wanna and I want to just stay there. But then I remember that the title it has to do about the reading. So then I gotta go back and, and examine all of it. Um, this image would have been held by a little bit of a hair like like, like something to separate her from the back. I mean, that one of the things this girl got going for her is this amazing, gorgeous hair. And I feel like at the back of the hair is getting a little bit so dark and mushy that, um, you know, I, I can see the separation in the background. It almost feel like it was a separation. There was a little bit force in it. I would have loved to see more, you know, more hair, more uh, that bright color of her hair. And um, also, She's reading, uh, she loves reading. So her position, her pause, um, give it a, keep in mind when you're trying to tell a story of what is it they are doing and keep it, give her more a little bit of relaxing on the body and show me more that she is enjoying what she got. Other than that, I mean, it's a great image. I, the reason I don't have a lot of things to say is because it's a great image, but I think it could be a lot more powerful with a little bit of finance on the post. Any other comment? I would oh. watch that upper dark corner uh, on the left that kind of draws my eye up there. Uh, I do like a little bit of vignetting on this, but that top left corner uh, seemed, seemed to have gone quite dark. Okay. All right, next up. Robbing me blind scored a 79. All right, Joe. Yeah, 79, just short of the merit category. Really neat concept that we have here at story, storytelling here, robbing me blind. We have all these hands like reaching around, you know, taking his keys, taking his credit cards, taking his wallet. Um, looking around the image, if, you know, I don't know if the two uh, elements on the left and the right were necessary. Maybe a, a tighter crop. I'm not, I'm not understanding the story of them. I understand the story of the hands, a couple of the hands, especially uh, on our camera right, um, that elbow, however you lit that, that's like really hard, uh, really hot there. We're kind of almost uh, blown that whole elbow out. Um, overall, the image has kind of a, a flatness to it, even though we've, you know, we've got specular highlights on, on the, uh, the shoulders and the arms of the gentleman, but it has an overall flatness and kind of a, a muddiness to it. Maybe just pop it with a little bit of contrast. Anyone have anything else to add? Yeah, I would be really, really careful with the lighting uh, matching the scene. We've got different lighting patterns going on here. The elbow was mentioned already, uh, you know, which is quite hot, and it it doesn't quite match the the lighting that's on the 
uh, man himself. And I'm seeing that on a couple of the other hands. You know, we look at the hand that's reaching around his waist on our right hand side with the blue, uh, I don't know if it's a credit card or whatever that blue thing is in the hand. We've got edge lighting on his suit, but there's no edge lighting on that hand. So just being real careful that the lighting matches when you're putting a composite together like this. All right, awesome comments. Next up. When the music fades, scored 85. Okay. Why don't, uh, Carrie, you take this? Yeah, beautiful, beautiful image. Uh, in fact, when this when this came up during judging, I was just in love with the painting of her skirt wrapping around. It creates a circular pattern for our eyes to follow. We've got great posing, great storytelling going on here. And it, it's got impact because of that and because of the emotion. Um, one thing that I noticed with this is her skin tone seems to be a little bit dull. Um, you know, we've got a lot of uh, cool, warm colors, and I would have liked to seen her skin tone warmed up just a little bit. It has almost a, a grayer uh, feeling to it. Uh, so warming up her skin tone, I think, would help with this image. Uh, the presentation is beautiful, uh, matches nicely, and it doesn't draw my eye away. So congratulations on that. Okay. Anyone have anything else? Um, I absolutely love this concept and uh, the dress and how everything, how that uh, swirl of the dress coming on the top, absolutely adore this image. Um, be aware when we paint um, um, camera left hand or will be her right hand um, by the by the hand is 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 kind of giving it. Sometimes when we paint, we push things and it's giving it like an unnatural look for the arm over there that arm on that hand, so left, I would say right hand, sorry, I'm confused with right, left, left, right. The right hand, um, the right arm is looking a little bit uncomfortable and everything else looks so relaxed and beautiful. So keep an eye on when we push, be careful with that. All right, next up. All my dear scored 84. All right, Adelpha. Oh, my dear. <laughs> okay, so it's, it, oh, okay. It, this is actually like quite a beautiful, I, I I feel like calling it a poster. What a beautiful poster, what a beautiful creation. What an amazing artist, uh, whoever did this. Um, I totally love it, the lighting, the, the, the luminosity, the expression of the, of the girl and the little animals got printed beautifully. I think that one of the things that um, would have improved or, or, or perhaps would have helped, you know, to be honest, I just love this image and I'm having a hard time finding things to fix. And um, it's not that we need to fix something because I think it got an, it got an 84, so we needed to push it just a little bit farther. Um, I feel that the presentation did not, you know, it took away, it, it is a beautiful presentation for the image, but I feel like it took away from the image, from enjoying that. Um, also in the bottom where you are, where you got the little um, animals in the painting of that, in, there's some sharp, some sharp edges on the feet that doesn't match some of the soft edges on the other feet. And also where you are trying to, draw the grass um it's a little bit right in the middle of the the two to the left the two animals to the left there is a little bit of inconsistency where some of them look too um too soft and or too sharp where they need to be soft so there is a little bit of inconsistency on the painting over there guys feel free to jump in I, I, I'm going to comment and you all feel free to set me straight, okay, because I think this is a beautiful image. I really enjoy it. But I think what's really pulls me is the animals look so real. But when I go to her face, her face is more cartoony. When I get down to her hands, they look more lifelike. So I, I, I was, I'm struggling with the lifelike feel of everything but our subject's face. So, uh, you know, her face is very flat, you know, no, no roundness or anything there. So that that's the one thing that was really holding me on this image. 
Anything else? So sorry to jump back in. So that's what I was trying to figure out how to explain it. It's like two images, like her by herself, splendid, amazing. The little animals by themselves, amazing, with those little tiny details that I'm seeing on the feet that makes them look like they are floating. But then together, it's a little bit of a technique discrepancy. Is that what we're trying to say? Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd say so. Yeah, I think it's beautiful. I just maybe rethink her face and and give her more of the same feel that 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 the deer have if that's what we're going for that would be my suggestion okay all right anybody got anything else on this one all right let's move on to the next okay taking it in scored 77 okay carrie Taking it in. All right. I'm taking it in here for a minute. <laughs> All right. So uh, fun concept, beautiful close up of this deer. I'm not sure the technique that's on here, if this is a painted image. Um, to me, I'm having a hard time finding what's sharp in the image. If I look at the rope across the nose, um, we've got real lifelike feeling to it, uh, and real sharply focused. But then when I look at other things like, uh, the fur and the mane and, and things all the way around it, uh, I'm having a hard time finding things that look like the same, uh, sharpness. So I'm, I'm thinking it was painted and, and not painted all with the same technique. I'm not sure if that's exactly what's going on here or some kind of, uh, post-processing work. Um, a couple other things to keep in mind, uh, the background on the upper left, I'm seeing some banding going on uh, in diagonal lines along the same uh, plane as the horse. Uh, and then we've got a mushy little edge too with that mane going there. So I love the feeling behind this image and the feeling behind the eye and, and the hugging there uh, of the eye, the, uh, that was done well. And then the presentation, I think that white uh, stroke is quite bold. So I'd be careful not to do something that's so bold and so bright to draw my eye outside of the image. Okay. Anyone else have anything else to add to this? Yeah, I think, you know, if, if you're doing images like this and, and you have the opportunity to do it, uh, maybe to, you know, even take that rope off of the, the horse's nose, you know, because it's kind of a distraction, especially when, it, you know, that's through the, the whitest part of the, the image. All right. Nice, guys. All right, next up. More, please. Scored an 85. All right. How about uh, Adelpha? I was over here smiling, thinking you were going to call me. <laughs> <laughs> I did not have the opportunity to judge this image. Um, but I am here just looking at it and just smiling. I mean, this is, this is, this is fabulous. Those eyes are telling a story. Um, this is really, really cool. Okay, um, so 85, so nothing nothing to complain about. Congratulations, awesome image. Um, the one thing that I that I am looking over here to figure out what are the things that we could have, have improved a little bit. Um, when it, when you look at the background, you're having some, I don't know if it's part of the background, but you're having some magenta discoloration in, in part of the background. And I feel like some of that magenta is creeping into the puppy's uh, hair. So that is the, the one thing that I can think of. I mean, the, the technique that was done, I think it was very well done. I see details all over the place. Um, lower left, uh, by the ear, lower left, you see a, a little bit of a like a like a rim of light coming up, like a little halo over there. Like you see the ear on the mid to the top, and you see no back light, but then you see where the ear connects with the bowl. You see the little spot where there is a lot of light coming from the back that is not consistent with the the top of the ear. So keep an eye on details like that when you enter into competition. I actually, I love the presentation also, so. And the only thing I would add on this, I toned down those whites in the eyes. I, I think they're a bit, a little bit too bright. So I, I'd bring those whites down in the eyes. 
But nice, nice image. Okay, next up. Our special place scored 78. Okay, uh, Joe. Yeah, 78 above average category. You know, you've got a, a, a really nice story here. This, this elderly couple, you know, that's their special place. Maybe that's where they met or maybe where we proposed to her. So there's a nice story going here. We've got good good details. Um, I think overall, it is just an overall flatness to it. I think you could have punched uh, punched it up a little bit, punched the blacks up, get, you know, just a little bit more snap in it to them. And I think also, really, we're kind of looking at two different photographs here. Um, if he, if we kept it as is, um, I would probably lighten uh, the lower left-hand corner of the image, and we've got this cloud in that that upper left. Um, but I think we could do with a, a little bit of a, a tighter crop, and just to get you know more into the story. I don't think we need all the surrounding uh, environment. You know, we could take it over to saying maybe uh, about that first area of the first bush over there. And I think it would be, you know, the story would still be there. It would just be a little bit more powerful Im image and have more impact. Anyone else got anything new to add? All right, next up. Begotten Notes, 86. Oh, Terry. Yay, I'm glad you called on me for this one oh. because I loved this <laughs> image. Uh, this is one of my favorites during judging, just because of the story, you know, it's got impact and it really hits you in the gut, forgotten notes. Uh, you know, to me, it's all about the story. Uh, some things that were talked about during our challenge um, was the different color lighting that's going on. We've got some tungsten lighting coming in on the background, uh, you know, so we can see that yellowness on the back of her dress and on the back of the couch and on the rug on the floor um, versus the color lighting that's on her face. So, uh, you know, some of the judges like that, some of them didn't. Uh, so that's just one thing. I almost wonder if this this image would be better presented in black and white, and then we'd eliminate that problem of it. Uh, great storytelling. Uh, I love the the different things that are going on in the background. We can see her in an environment. She's got that look on her face. Um, so well done with that story. Uh, the the presentation is a little bit thick. Uh, that's just something minor for for my liking. Um, other people might feel differently, but I would take that presentation down a little bit. But thanks for entering this one. I loved it. Great. Anyone have anything new to add to that? All no, right. My, my idea was go black and white, and she said it. Okay. All right. Good job, guys. Next up. Oh, before we go next up, it we've been an hour. Does any my jurors okay? Does anyone need a potty break? What okay? We can go. All right. Let's okay. move on. Next up, then. Old versus new scored 81. All right, Joe. Uh, 81, merit image, congratulations. I'm um, looking around the image. Uh, we've, we've got a great story here, you know, old versus new, you know, she has her modern technology here, and then we've got the technology probably of a grandparent. Got great tones and throughout the image, you know, especially in the record player, I don't know, I'm not sure what um lighting on here lighting we've got you know some separation on here lighting's a little bit flat on her i'd like to see that lighting get punched up i think overall the thing that's kind of bothering me is you know we can see where the light source is coming you know on our camera right and we've got really clean whites over there but as we move farther through the through the image you know we're seeing kind of it kind of falls off to a gray and especially down by you know camera right by her knee we see some some uh uh, shadows down there. It also looks like some dirt spots on, on the background. Be sure you clean those up. Um, I don't know if the, the white presentation helps this. Uh, maybe something a little bit more to the gray so it doesn't call the cost so much attention to the fact that, that that color has gone to a gray. You know, when you put something on a white like that and you put gray next to it, then it kind of makes the background look a little bit duller. Okay, great comment. Anyone have anything additional to add? All right, next up. The babysitter scored 92. All right, Adelpha. <laughs> well, uh, congratulations. What a great image. What a great concept. 92, okay. So um, 
I was I was in the panel when we judged this, and it, we all absolutely love this image. Hence the ninety two. Um, the one thing is they would they would have made a comment if I remember. Well, I remember what I had to say, and what I had to say was on the on the head of the baby, you know, um, like right of his head. You see a couple of shadows that will circle it around, like the like with the baby's head. The, it kind of leaves you wanting to know. Okay, what is it? Is it is it um is it a shadow? Is it a smudge? So that over there was a little bit um, confusing. And re remember that we talked about it was talked about the the size of the baby. Um, you know, and mine is just my opinion alone. For me, the size of the baby was perfect and it was um, absolutely adorable. For other judges, the, the baby, they said the baby was too big. Uh, for me, however, one of the things that kind of bothered me a little was in the background, you have all those dots, like everything, um, the the little cow, everything is perfectly um paint that is smooth everywhere. And then you go to the background and you see all those dots that perhaps they are stars. I don't know where they are, but they get my attention away from the baby. But hey, congratulations. This is amazing. Uh, 92, I don't know what else to say. Do you want to have anything else to add? And I was the person that commented on the baby size and I'll comment again. And what was bothering me, if you look at the the length of his head and then the length of his body, his head is almost as long as his body. So that was giving me an illusion of a proportion there that seemed a little off. This this image is just, the storytelling is just off the chart. I absolutely love it. Uh, you know, I think it, it could even go better just tweaking some of those little things. So that was, that was my comment I wanted to make because I was the one that commented yesterday on that. But I love this image. Now that you pointed out. <laughs> <laughs> so that just wanted that to be out there because I want the maker to be able to take this awesome image and make it even more like incredibly awesome because it's really cool. <laughs> All right. Next up. Winter's Blessing scored 81. All right. Miss Carrie. Yeah. Winter's Blessing. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, you know, the baby was photographed very well. I like the angle that the baby is on, uh, you know, the staging of the white on the white and the white cradle uh, in the the tooling that we've got going on there uh, matches her bow. So that was done very well. Uh, a couple of things I think that could help this image along. I was a little bit confused about what was on the bottom there with the patterns. Uh, there's some patterns on the bottom right hand corner of the crib on the floor. And I don't know if it's the light shining through the tooling or, or what is causing that, but that would be something I would clean up in post production if it, indeed it was uh, light shining through the tooling. And then when I look around the image, we have the same thing going on. Uh, uh, I, I look up at the top left corner and it's it's dark uh, and then I see a white, um, uh, I, I don't know if it's a bokeh type thing there. So maybe something was added post, like some kind of texture or something. I don't think that's needed on this uh, if that was the case, but whatever, I would clean up that background to be uh, a little bit cleaner and not have those distracting uh, shadowy elements uh, coming through on the white background. Um, beautiful uh, expression on the baby. Of course, the baby's sleeping, but uh, nice angle, nice lighting angle. Be really careful of the um, shoulder of the baby on our left-hand side. We're starting to lose a little bit of detail in the wrap. So bringing back some of the detail in those highlights, I think would help, but uh, great job. Excellent comments. Anyone have anything else to add to that? That's you know, I, I agree with everything that Carrie said, and uh, there is a little bit of vignetting on the corners, like the corners, those dark shadows, they are a little bit too strong. And uh, to add to those circles, it appears like there was, uh, the background was made to have um, some texture in it, and in the lower left where the tool meets the background, you have two strong circles together that appear like you have like a lighter color um, brush with 
with cloning and it cloned those circles there. That's that's kind of what appears. So there's something going on there. Okay. All right. Great comments, guys. Next up. Bacon, no thanks. 81. All right, Joe, why don't you take the bacon here? <laughs> 81 is very familiar. You know, not your typical portrait by any means, but, you know, really nice. Um, hog, pig, I'm not a farm guy. Um, let's just go around, you know, we've got great texture. This animal, you know, we can see the hairs on, on the top of its head. Um, we've got really good detail in his eye. We've got that that tooth or whatever you call that coming out. His nose, we've got a really good catch light. All of the little hairs. Um, I like the cropping in, in the, that we've chosen here instead of just, you know, showing the whole pig or hog, you know, we've kind of just done like a, a three-quarter portrait of him, you know. Um, we've got a good uh, flow from the, the bottom right-hand corner up into his eye. Um, what I really like is is the IP, you know, it's really clean. I'm not seeing any contamination of colors or anything. So the presentation's really nice. Um, if One thing I would say about presentation when you get in situations like that, so you, we've got that stroke line that goes around it and where it kind of uh, bisects into where the hog is and it kind of disappears, you know, put that on its own separate layer and that'll, that'll eliminate that problem. That way you'll get separation all the way around with your stroke line. But overall, really nice image, you know, kind of nice storytelling and technical, you know, execution is really. All right, anyone have anything different to add? All right, nice job, next up. Beautiful redhead scored 82. All right, Miss Carrie. Beautiful. She's a beautiful redhead. I love it. Uh, I love the texture in her headpiece. Uh, absolutely stunning. The lighting pattern on her face uh, is as well. The only thing I would say about that is uh, her left eye camera right is a little bit darker. I would like to see a little bit more even lighting on the mask of her face so that the one side of her face isn't so much brighter than the other. Um, great job. I would be careful about the hand, uh, the hand position, turning the one hand so we're not seeing quite uh, the flat back part of her hand, and then not letting her fingers grow, go so gray on that bottom section. I do like uh, the little bit of uh, darkening around there, but I think that just got a little bit too dark uh, and too gray in theirs. Uh, separation light uh, coming from camera left onto her back, I think would help uh, separate her just a little bit more from the background, but stunning image, stunning style. Uh, the stylizing of this was done very well and uh, congratulations for Merit. Anyone got anything else different to add? All right, next up. Maddie scored 85. All right. Adelpha. Mari, what a beautiful girl. What a beautiful piece. Um, an 85, congratulations. Great score. Um, you know, when, when this one came around, I, I really, really did love this image. Or I or I, I, I should not say did. I do love this image. Um, one of the things that, you know, and I am not really crazy about very strong presentation, but this presentation actually worked with this image. And I think the style, uh, the stylizing of this image with the color of her hair, color of her outfit, and the flowers and the background went very, very well. Um, one of the things that I was concerned when I looked at it was, you know, the lighting on the face looks beautiful, but then you go to that forehead and it's so strong. Like it, the forehead needed to be toned down a little because I am trying to look at her beautiful eyes and it's just, I'm going straight to her forehead. Um, be very careful when you paint to make sure that you do not deform um, their eyes with to be, you know, being too heavy handed with the brush. I feel like the eye that is away from the camera, so it will be camera left, is looking a lot larger than the eye that is camera right, which which normally whatever is closest to the camera should look larger. So that was a little bit of a, a it left me like like wanting, um, you know, and uh, in the posing, when uh, make sure that they keep control of their neck so their neck is not totally falling. It almost looked like it's falling over there, but 
Uh, I mean, the only reason that I'm finding things that you could do better is because you did a great job to begin with. Anyone else have anything new to add? Yeah, I've got a couple of things, a couple of minor tweaks. You know, when we look at the texture on her hair and how uh, we can see every detail of every strand throughout the whole top of her head, but then when we go down to look at her neck under her chin, it's soft and fuzzy there. And my first thought was uh, depth of field would cause her neck to go a little bit softer, but because the depth of field on her hair is not going softer in that same plane, uh, to me, that's a little bit problematic. So, you know, my eyes were, you know, trying to look at that and figure, figure that out. And then the other thing I noticed is the toning on her neck is different color uh, on one side of her pearls is what it is on the other side of the pearls. We've got a different color skin tone going there. So just a couple uh, overall beautiful image, but a couple minor tweaks in the technique. Great comments and suggestions. Keep it up. All right, next up. Oodles of Doodles, 79. All right. Adelpha, you want to take this? Uh, sure. You heard me smiling, huh? Laughing loud. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, what a, <laughs> what a beautiful bunch of rascals, I guess, for the lack of a better term. So what was the the what was the points on this one? I did this one Mary? 79, I think she said. 79, yeah. 79, okay. Um, well, when you look at their little faces, it's like, wow, 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 what a what an amazing capture. And uh, but 79 is almost shy of a merit. And you're thinking, okay, what could do to do to get there? Well, to begin with, all their faces are sharp, and then you have a little bit softer on the on the on the fur, so I am assuming that it was a depth of field, and um, so next time go a little bit wider. However, the it's way too light, like the little puppy in the middle, one, two, three, four, five. So from the the fifth, from the right to left, um, the 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 fur in the chest is totally lacking details. So the presentation of this is so light. So if you go back to the beginning and you have more details, then uh, maybe give us a little bit more, uh, um, you know, a little bit darker, make sure that we can see details on the lights. I can see details on the darks already, but make sure I can see details on the white. Um, a little bit, uh, I can see a little bit of uh, magenta going on with the black and white. So be careful with that, but my, Biggest problem is losing the details on the white. And the and the little guy on the right, the very white, I can see that the back of his of his legs and the back of his body, it has details and it's sharp. And then I go all the way to the left, and I'm talking camera left, and the back of the little guy on the left is very soft, like blurry. So if this was put together, um keep you know keep down i think they call it keystoning keep keep concerned about that make sure that is that is soft when it needs to be soft and it's sharp when it needs to be sharp anyone else have anything else to add there is a really strong image right here i i, I think some of the things that adelpha just told you i would definitely go do definitely bring this down uh, there is a lot of power in this image. I think some tweaks on it can make it stronger. All right, next up. Ditto. Headshot scored 81. All right, Joseph. 81. Uh, really great portrait of the, looks like a wood duck. Um, you know, we've got good detail in the fur. We've got good exposure. I like this little catch light to be brought in. Um, some things that were brought up. You know, I think the biggest thing is fighting this. Uh, two things. I like the technique and the story that we, we've got going on in this wood duck. Uh, the things that were talked about, I was on the panel on this. First of all, is that upper left-hand corner. See how we have that brightness. And the the, the background that you, I'm going to assume that you've either you know, dropped on this. It, it's just got a lot of splotchiness to it where we're, we're introducing. We've got some magenta spots, yellow spots, green spots. And, and that just becomes an overall distraction to this beautiful duck. 
Now, I realize that maybe you, you, you pick this to try to pick out, you know, bring out the different colors of the duck. But I think a, a different style of background that would have, you know, made us just look at the duck. I think it, it's the same thing with the presentation. I think that kind of yellowy, whatever that is, doesn't help it. I think whatever color you pick, I think should be a little bit darker. And the same thing with that really, really broad uh, red stroke line, you know, bringing it in a little closer and possibly you know, a little bit thinner, three to six pixels, something like that, and maybe bringing it a little bit closer to the, uh, All the right. actual image. Okay, awesome there. Anybody got anything else different to add? All right. Next up. Never Enough scored 83. Okay, Miss Carrie. All right. Never Enough 83. Great score. Uh, we've definitely got impact going on here. We've got uh, storytelling going on here, style, composition. There's a lot to love on this. Um, the idea behind it is just outside of my thinking in my mind. Uh, I think for me, when I look at this image, the things that would hold me back from going a higher score uh, to me is the right hand side of the image, you know, where her feet go into total blackness and her backside goes into total blackness. Uh, I like the darkness that we've got on the front of her legs and her knees because we want to have the lighting be uh, right through the front of her and on the heart that she's holding uh, and on the, the pool of blood that's dripping off the heart. To me, I love where the lighting is bringing my eye and leading me around there, uh, but I'm drawn away looking at her feet, wondering why it's going so dark and so gray. So uh, bringing up a little bit on there, I think would be helpful to this. Um, the background to me is a little bit confusing because I see lightness in the background. So I see the uh, I think it looks like a swampy tree maybe coming down over top of her uh, and it just looks kind of burned down and muddy so I'm not sure uh, you know something differently back there that would uh, enhance that a little bit I'm not sure what to tell you but I, I am looking at it be careful of the burning down because I'm also starting to see a little bit of banding right above the heart area so I look at the heart that she's holding and I follow it up and I'm seeing uh curvature lines that are are straight and we've got some magentas coming through there and then some greens in in patterns uh in the banding so uh, just be careful of that but uh fun story and uh you know just out of this world that i can't think like that <laughs> anyone got anything else new to add to that just just to add uh, to support what carrie was saying you know, lower lower right corner, she already talked about that, that definitely was toned down too much and there is a problem. But to make the light more believable, I know that this was dodge everywhere, but the knees, like the light for the heart is coming from there, is hitting her chest, and then right on their knees, the knees are like way too dark, like they were taken down too much. I can see, I can see where the light hit the knees, but that was taken down like way too much, and perhaps turning the chest area that one um, a little bit more because I want the attention on the heart and on the face, not on her chest. Okay, great job guys, next up. My passion scored 86. All right, Adelpha. All right, uh, well, congratulations to the maker of this image and also to the model. I mean, what a great host, what a great dancer, what a great body. Um, this was an 86, so you did a very, very good job on the scoring. So let's take a look at some of the things that we could, um, that we could be perhaps addressing to make this image a little bit stronger. You know, the light coming from the back is kind of like hitting the, the, the foot so where the foot is getting milky. And if you look at the hand, the camera right, you know, you see dark on the hand and the foot and the hand are about in the same position, but the lighting uh, and the coloring consistency with the leg and the hands are different. So be aware of that. Um, make sure that um, when the when the skin get, you know, when you're presenting something for um, for competition, the all the skin, like the same thing happened with the front hand, the camera left. Um, the leg is totally 
you know, it doesn't, it's not having that milky appearance, neither is the hand coming to right, but the hand coming to left to the elbow is having like a milky uh, appearance. So I feel that the presentation was done very well. I feel that the elements and even the shadow of the circle was done amazing. Like I said, the dancer is wild. Um, just those little details are the things that I would be aware of. Anything new that someone has to offer? All right, let's move to the next one. Scarlet Shadow scored 79. Okay, Joe. Yeah, 79, just short of the merit category. Um, so let's take a look at the image. Um, you know, we've got, you know, you know, good details up in the chest area, you know, good exposure there, um, her face. Um, I think, you know, I realize that we're trying to create a very contemporary look here, but I think, you know, even with the red, I think it's maybe just a little bit too strong, especially, you know, if we think about it as, as a white light, um, I think the highlights, you know, on the left and the right were a little bit too strong. And the same thing, that, you know, down around her legs, I think that we could have reduced that. Um, other than that, you know, watch the hand posing a little bit. We're kind of photographing into the back of the hand, especially that lower hand. Right underneath her hands, we're kind of losing detail in there. We're getting really dark in there. And the same thing with that that red light. We're almost blowing out those highlights in there. And the legs, we really kind of lost the detail in the legs as we move down the leg. As we get down to the close closer to the feet, you know, we've got detail at the bottom of the feet. But as we move up in you know, the knee and above the knee, it's really got um, a little black there. And watch your background. You know, uh, I don't know if it's a seamless background or if we're using a floor. And we've got kind of a, a pretty sharp line going through there. And the same thing, you know, move that red stroke, you know, to its own uh, layer so we get good separation at the bottom of the image. All right. Anyone got anything else to add to this? All right, next up. My mentor uh, scored 81. Okay, Miss Gary. Yeah, 81. Uh, my mentor, cute idea, beautiful uh, portrait of mother and daughter or student and teacher, something like that. Uh, very well done. I like the classic traditional background that we have as part of the story uh, because we have classic figures here. Um, as far as anything to do, I would just watch some of the highlights uh, on the top of her arm. We've got the light coming down and just uh, a little bright on the top of her arm. And then on the tip of her shoe, I'm talking about the adult woman, the tip of her shoe seems a little bit bright there. Um, but overall, nicely done. Hey, anyone else have anything new to add? All right, next up. Winning Man and Machine, 60 Years On, 76. All right. Joe, I'm going to throw this one your way. Okay. Uh, 76, above average. You know, so um, let's talk about some of the things. You know, it looks like we had to do a, a pretty extreme can. It looks like this guy's in a race car, so we had to move with him. So I think you've done a, a good job in that. We've got uh, pretty good focus. His eye looks like it's going a little soft. Um, we've got kind of a, a distracting background, but that's kind of been handled a little bit with the pan. Um, the car's got good exposure on it. And it's, it's a pretty tough shooting and a pretty tough lighting situation because really you don't have control of, of the light. I think his hair, you know, he's kind of like me, you know, he's got that white hair. So we're kind of losing the, the highlights at the top, especially at the very top of his head. So maybe bring the, the highlights down on that. I'm not a big fan of double strokes, especially, I think the outer stroke that you've used is fine. The inner stroke, I think we could lose that. I don't think it really adds anything to the image. And then the outer gray, I realize we're trying to pick up that gray of, of the race car that he's in. Um, I would probably maybe bring that down a little bit darker so that the two tones aren't competing with it. All right, great comments. Anyone have anything else to add? Yes. Um, okay, agree with everything he says. To add in the, uh, the, the part of the car, I don't know what it's called because I don't own a fancy car like this. In the back of his head, when you go to that part where it starts with the yellow and then go back all the way back, you have the feeling of a cutout. It almost feels like the, you know, the motion blur was, was added after 
And then when it got erased from the cut, it got erased too much. And you have that dark line all the way that you can see it. This is normal to do this kind of stuff for, for, for these images. Just make sure that we can't tell that you did that. All right, next up. Teamwork makes the dream work, 79. All right, Miss Carrie, wanna grab this one? Yeah, I love this, love this image. Um, a fun, huge group. So to sit there and pose every single person in this image and you look at all their different poses, you know, all their different personalities, hands coming together, hands on hips, some of the older girls acting cool, some of the younger girls, uh, you know, being cute. You're just really, really, really well done. A uh, couple thought processes is to me, it's processed a little bit too blue toned. I know we've got the blues in the roof uh, and the blues and all the denim that's in there. But when I look at their skin tones, I feel that their skin tones, a lot of the skin tones have a little bit too much. So I'd like to see that warmed up just a little bit. Uh, and then maybe... Uh, you know, in future shooting, I feel like their eye sockets are a little bit dark. So adding a little bit more light coming forward to brighten up their eye sockets, I think that would help. But uh, congratulations to the maker on a fabulous uh, pose and, and fabulous, very hard group shot. Huh? Anyone have anything new to add? All right, group, we got an hour before lunch. Is everybody okay? I'd like to take a little bathroom break. I think that would be great. So why don't we, uh, Karen, do they want us to go to a breakout room while we're in the bathroom break? Or we just yeah. want to, okay, we'll go into a breakout room and audience, give us a five minute restroom break and then we'll be back and dig right back in. Let's see. I'm getting you guys in there. So give me just a second. That's, that's fine. I'm just going to mute and turn my um, video. I'll turn it on when I'm back. That's Joy. perfect. I don't mean yeah, to. That'll work for me too. All right. Let's just do that. All right, guys, we'll be back in five minutes. Okay. Hey, Tia, are we, can we put up a judge, judge's own break? Because I know this image is still up there. I, I noticed that in Karen. Oh, there. Karen just did it. Perfect. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I came back. I was like, oh, we, sh we should take that down. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was slacking. That's okay. We're making good progress. I'm tracking the progress. 
uh, with the other panels and, and we're doing really well. All right, yeah. awesome. Yeah, we're all probably about even, looks like. About, yeah. yeah, we're all pretty much about. That thing's doing. I think we win if we're the slowest group on critiques because that means we're giving our members the best benefit, right? Exactly. <laughs> I, I think we're, I mean, I, I don't think we're going too slow. I think you guys are giving them good comments. We're moving our, our pace is, seems very nice. Yeah, I think so too. I think we're giving uh, great comments and the members hopefully are benefiting from, or the, I shouldn't say members, the image makers are uh, benefiting from what we're saying. And I don't think anybody's cutting it short or going too long. No. Yeah, uh, did you? I think you all said this morning how many we had in our queue. We have two hundred and twenty in the queue, and we okay. and we have uh, reviewed uh, and spoken to forty eight of those. Okay. And we're tied with panel two. <laughs> the race is on. We're tied with panel two as far as having the most done. <laughs> it is, it, they've done 48 as well. And we've okay. done 48. panel three, and panel four are, yeah, panel three. Panel four is not giving good, no. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> I won't say that. I'm a trouble causer. Anybody who knows me. Am I? I think everybody is back. That's what I was going to say. I think we're all back. So, um, it's cracking. <laughs> yes. Let's keep moving right along. Good, got good comments, guys. Just keep them tight, keep them precise, and we'll keep going. Working on it. <laughs> okay. Where are we at? You ready? Everybody ready? Um, Angelica scored 82. All right. Carrie, I'm going to hand that to you first. Let's get us started back. Yes, gorgeous image. Uh, I absolutely love the posing and the angles of this. So we've got uh, you know, a nice diagonal line coming down from her uh, top of her forehead, down her nose, down her lips, right to her fingers and down and circles back up around on her arm. So uh, very nice composition, very nice posing that we have going here. Um, as far as um, anything to improve on this image, I would be really careful. You know, we've got the black on the black, which I love. I love tone on tone images. Uh, I would have liked to seen just a touch more separation though. I wouldn't want to see a bright light due to the tonality of this image. I wouldn't want to see a bright light rim light like we see sometimes in uh, sports images or something, but just something super soft just to separate her uh, dress and arm from the background here. And then the same thing with the back of her hat down the right side of the image. We start to lose that and it gets lost uh, in the black background there. So uh, beautiful composition, beautiful posing, and just a little bit of a tweak on the lighting for next time. All right, great comments. Anyone have anything different to add? Yeah, on the, on the presentation on the left-hand side, it looks like there's something going on about halfway down. You've got like a a little mm. blotchiness to it. So, you know, just address that. You know. Okay. I'm sorry, may I add something? Yes, go ahead. Um on the on the camera right by her chin where the where the dark meets the light uh, by the neck, there looks a little bit of like some type of pasteurization or something going on. So be careful when you're working with with uh, such a uh, dark environment, make sure that you have details and that you don't get cloth contamination in those areas. All right, next up. Solitude scored 81. All right, Joe. Uh, 81, Solitude. Wow, really magnificent portrait of this, this lion. Uh, we've got really good detail in the fur. It looks like we have some technique. I think that's handled really well. Um, I like the flow of the image, you know, his environment that he's put in. Um, if anything, I, you know, this came through our panel. Um, it looks like that there's been some technique that's been put on the rock. I don't think that's natural. 
I think that's a little bit too distracting and maybe just a little bit heavy handed. Maybe you could back up on that a little bit. Um, there appears to be, I mean, we've kind of put like a, a vignette around the edges. So it, it, it's got kind of a, you know, I love the, the color of the lion, actually, obviously, it's, you know, it's yellow. But we're, we're drifting off in some areas where we're kind of getting, bringing into a blue to a cyan look to it. You know, on the left hand side, the, the upper left, lower, lower left. Um, the same thing underneath his mane, you know, we're, we're kind of losing some uh, detail in the shadows in there. And the presentation, I like the presentation. I, um, I like the outer presentation. I don't think that that inner part of it was necessary because that also carries over that kind of like a, that discolored uh, bluish, like cyan color. All right. Does anyone have anything different to add? All right. Well, let's move to the next one. Trap scored 76. All right. Uh, Carrie, I'm going to give that to you. Yeah, I think this is a fun idea. Um, you know, and I think the client would really love this uh, great maternity fun shot for a client. Um, as far as competition goes, I'm just not sure this is the right style. Um, we've got, uh, you know, no detail in our subject, which I know it's supposed to be that way, a silhouette, but uh, her hands are so sharply focused because I'm sure they're closer to the plexiglass or whatever it is she's putting her hands on. Uh, and then it's so soft on the whole bottom half of the image. So it goes from sharp. Uh, her arms are sharp, but her face is, is not sharp. You know, we've just got a lot of different things going on here. And then the background is so white, which I don't mind, but then it goes to gray at the bottom half, you know, so uh, there's a little black dot down in that far right corner, uh, you know, cleaning up some of that kind of stuff. So I would um, be careful with making sure that background is, is you know, white all the way through uh, and, and not showing the, the darkness there. But I think the white presentation on this, uh, you know, is very nice and in, in lending to this particular image uh, because it just still keeps us focused on the subject matter. All right. Anyone have anything different to add? All right, we'll move on to the next. Emerald Arrival scored 79. All right, Adelpha. 79, so close. Um, a beautiful little child, a great concept. Um, the one thing that I, that I can think of that perhaps would have pushed this a little bit farther is, you know, the brightest, the brightest thing on this image is the little camera left foot, leg, not the foot, the leg. So I, I think that the posing is straight on it. And it perhaps if if it would have brought the light with, from a different direction so I could have more light on the mask of the little guy's face and not necessarily on his, on his leg would have helped a great deal. Uh, the other thing is, I mean, uh, um, the background, you can see a little bit of, I don't know if it's banding or, or chromatic aberration in the background, but there's something going on with the background. Where the basket, and, you know, if I didn't say that this is a beautiful concept, and if I was the mother, I would be jumping for joy. Forgive me. This is a great, great little image, but we're talking about competition. When it comes to, um, you know, camera right, where the where the basket meets the background, there is a there is a white there is a white um, like a scratch that goes from the basket and a dot, which is bringing my attention away. And also the the little outfit, the background, and the um, and the scarf, the blanket or whatever you call it, there is the wrap that is wrapping the child is has kind of like a hunter green. The image was called, and so does the presentation in the outside. The image is called emerald green, but the emerald green is only on the background by the head. So there is a little bit of a disconnect there. But you're almost there. All right. Does anyone have anything new to add to that? All right. We'll move on to the next one. Supper time scored 81. All right. Joe. 81, deserving of a mirror. Uh, first of all, great, great little concept we have here. You know, this little art piece here. You know, we brought these birds in. 
Um, I'm looking around the girl. You know, we've got one on the top of her head, one out on the branch and hands with the seed. I think that's all been handled nicely. I think the composite work's been handled nicely. Um, I'm looking at her. I think the lighting, I would have liked to see a little more detail or a little more snap in the lighting, just a little bit more uh, lighting ratio on her. As we look at the dress, you know, we go to the bottom of the dress, but we've got really good detail in the lace. We're kind of losing it on the, on the chest area. That's getting a little hot. And which what happens then is we're kind of losing that, that bird um, in that area there. Anybody else get anything on this one? Lower left, lower left um, vignette, that dark spot yeah. over there that is losing detail is not helping the image. And in the upper right, on the once again on the background, if there is a straight line coming down, the, I don't understand what it is, so that is not helping. Other than that, great looking child, beautiful concept. Yeah, great comments, guys. All right, next up. Take a good look. 86. All right, Miss Carrie. <laughs> oh, I'm taking a good look at that puppy's eyes. Uh, impact, definitely got some great impact going on here. What did you say the score was? 86. 86. 86. Yeah, I can see why. <laughs> uh, definitely makes you smile. Look at that pup. Look at those uh, beautiful eyes different colors, taking a look, uh, great title, great storytelling. Um, I enjoy the high key, the high key presentation, I think was handled nicely. Uh, you know, I'd maybe tone down the presentation key line, but that's really minor. I think for me, the only other thing that I would have liked to seen is just a little bit greater depth of field, uh, just so we have a little bit more to make sure his whole ears stay in focus, um, you know, as far as that goes, but good storytelling, uh, fun image. And then also, um, the reflection, I'm a little bit confused. And as you know, as I'm talking here, I, I start to see things. Uh, I, I'm wondering, you know, the, the bottom of the image, uh, it's like the reflection gets cut off. So I wasn't sure why that was happening, if that was natural, and maybe it is natural, but if it's not natural, I would watch that transition just a little bit more. Anyone have anything different to say? All right, we'll move to the next. Shedding light on the invisible ones, 81. All right. Uh, Joe. 81, Mary. Uh, we've got a really, you know, powerful story here. Um, you know, I've got really good, you know, detailing in the fur to the head. Um, as we go, move to the back of the dog, I'm kind of, kind of losing it a little bit. Um, I'd like to see a little bit more light back there. We've got a, a just a touch of a separation, you know, right of its top of what I would guess you would call it shoulders. Um, I think that's a nice touch, so we're getting good separation there. Um, the back legs, you know, because of the lighting, I realize you're trying really kind of a, a dramatic, you know, storytelling portrait. So we've got good light on, on the head, but we're kind of losing the, those back legs back there. So, you know, watch your lighting or something like that. And also, you know, when we put an animal or anybody really on fur like this, it has a tendency, you know, to lose. We've lost this all four of his paws. So, you know, probably a different choice. Okay. And and I'll just add, because I, I know I pointed this out when yesterday during the judging, in the bottom left of the fur, there is a, a little mound uh, uh, area there that's completely different than any of the rest of the fur on there. So I don't know if that is something where we miss putting on the technique or if we did some work and didn't match it up, but it, it just stands out. That just pops out to me. So that would be something I'd want you to watch for. All right, next up. The queen of the runway scored 80. All right, Carrie. Yeah, queen of the runway. Uh, beautiful model that we have. She gives us impact right away. Um, you know, nice uh, creativity with her styling of her wardrobe. Uh, so let's talk about what it is we can move different. The first thing uh, I look at is the bright parts of her hands uh, are a little bit brighter than her face. So I'd watch the lighting on her hands there. And then the opposite is her legs go so dark. 
um, you know, we've got such dark looking uh, legs there that, that don't seem to match the image. I'd be really careful with her costuming. I know she's got her legs crossed, but we've got uh, a little bit of an angle and it, it, it shifts down the center, you know, so it's not uh, perfectly centered uh, in line in the center of her uh, torso there. So I'd be careful looking at that and then maybe adding some presentation, but uh, good title, good uh, model subject matter and nice impact. And, and the only thing I'll add here, you might think about your camera angle. I, I feel like we're a bit low on this subject because I go right into her neck and then up her nose. Uh, I, and I really know that you want me to stay up there with the crown and her face and all that, but I, I, I'm going right into that neck. So maybe changing that camera angle, not so low, uh, might fix that as well. All right, next up. Actor for Hire scored 83. Okay, Adelpha. What was the title? Actor for Hire. <laughs> okay. Uh, congratulations, there is a merit. So 83 is nothing, nothing to complain about that. Beautiful subject. The subject matter is pleasant. He has the most gorgeous face. And if I was a director, I will hire him. And I don't know anything about films, so I don't know who hires them, but there you have it. I absolutely adore his expression. Um you know, the lighting that was chosen, it was very Hollywood lighting with the face. And I am really in love with the upper part of this image. And then I am looking at the bottom part. And uh, it's my personal opinion that it's kind of like unnecessary. Like the chair, you know, I am, I the, the chair is getting me away from his this beautiful face. And uh, I am seeing the chair. I'm seeing this magic shirt behind with the dark over there. I'm seeing a lot of wrinkles on the, what I am assuming is a masculine background. So a different cropping will probably, or my humble opinion will probably help. Um, make sure that uh, you don't, you know, he has a very bright and the luminosity on his face, but on his neck, it starts changing a little bit drastically. And then the hand that is showing is very, very bright. So perhaps toning that side of the hand that you show a little, and if I were to crop that, then I would also take away the part of the chair that is coming out of his arm, because then now we can see that it's coming from the chair. But if you were to crop that, that will no longer have a, a place on it. Great image. All right. Anyone got anything in addition? All right. Next up. Out of the Depths scored 81. All right. Joe. Oh. Great high school senior portrait, uh, out of the depths, merit image. Wow, it's such intensity, you know, with all these colors that you've used. Um, I applaud you for thinking about a concept like this because we've taken the football player and kind of put him in a little bit different element. I don't know, maybe he was a swimmer also, but it really worked here. We've got really intense look in his eyes. We've got good, good use of, you know, foreground, middle ground, and background. I like the way that you, you know, separated him from the background with the use of depth of field. Um, the separation light that we have around this helmet just works real well. It's getting a little bit hot on the left-hand side, but, you know, it's still workable. Um, if I was going to say, if there's anything that's kind of distract, detracting from the image, you know, we've got some light areas up on the upper right. I don't think I would get rid of, rid of that one. I think it gives it some depth. But the ones right behind this helmet, I you know, tone those down. And if we look through those areas, we've got some like, looks like some little blue lines, some little blue streaks. Uh, maybe that was natural or you know, caused by the light, but I would clean that up. Uh, and I think the presentation overall is really nice. Same thing with that lower right-hand corner, maybe, you know, bring that down a little bit too. To, uh, it's a little bit of a distraction so that we're just looking right into that face. But overall, really nice job, very intense image. All right, anyone have anything different to add? Good job, Joe. Next up. Wistful Wishing scored 82. Okay. Adelpha. All right. Uh, 82. Congratulations. You got a merit. So that is that is that is awesome. Um, I did not have the pleasure to judge this image. So let me take a, a, a quick look at it. All right. Um, I feel like that. 
presentation goes very, very nicely with the image. It's, it's, it's a very, very nice polished um, image. Um, the direction of the light coming from the top uh, gave a nice ring light to the face. And I thought that was a very, very well done. Um, on the pausing, be very aware of those shoulders. I mean, she's looking up at she, her shoulders. It gives the appearance that they are crunching up, which it gives it a little bit. Her pause supposed to be relaxed and the shoulders being high, it gives a little bit of a feeling that she's not as relaxed as she should be. Um, you know, the back of the hand showing is, is typically no advisable, but in something like this, we're just trying to reach out and, and it's almost like where the old meets the new from traditional and modern, I, it works for me. Um, however, the bottom of the image, if you go from the elbow down, um, you start losing details in the, in the stairs over there. The stairs and the dress blends in together. The, the, the bottom part that looks like very vignetting. So I wonder if you can either lighten that out and bring it more in key with the top of the image or perhaps disappear that all together. I would love to see what the rest of the panel have to say with that. Anyone have anything else to add? All right, we'll go to the next. Ballerina Dream scored 79. All right, Carrie. Yeah, uh, this is a fun image. Uh, 79, almost there. So let's go ahead and, and see what we can learn from this. Uh, first of all, it definitely has some impact and storytelling going on, storytelling adding into the um, title, you know, with the title of it. Uh, a couple of things that I think of for me that we're holding it back from the merit category is um, I feel that the technique that's done to it isn't consistent. When we look at the flowers, uh, you know, the flowers are really soft and really painted looking. We've got all these brush stroke marks going on throughout the image. Uh, and then we look at the baby herself and she is uh, almost just totally straight photographic from the bow to her hair to the front uh, of the bow on her dress and all the ruffles on her dress to her feet. So that inconsistency with the technique on this, I think is what was holding this back from the merit uh, category. Another thing that I think of is I would have liked to have seen the baby turn just a little bit more towards us uh, so that we're not looking so much at her back. So just a little bit repositioning uh, to on her angle, beautiful lighting on her face. Uh, I think that was handled very well and a beautiful subject matter. Great, right. anything else anyone needs to add? Just a quick uh, note on the left, where uh, on the left on top of the flowers where, where the white bow or something like that meets the background, there is uh, like three or four little pearls coming out of nowhere. Those are, I'm assuming that this was a little bit of a composite and those are coming out of nowhere. and you know, supports what Carrie was saying. All right, next up. Guardians of the Soul scored an 83. Okay, uh, Adelpha? Okay, 83, uh, great concept. I, I was looking over here and I was thinking, okay, okay, so he looks, oh, uh, I gotta take a look at this twice. Okay, let's start from the outside in presentation. I think it works for this, uh, um, great job. Um, the, the lighting, the luminosity on the top, on the, on the angel for lack of a better uh, word, and the person on the top is consistent. And then it comes to the shadows to the bottom and it has like a different, uh, um, maybe it's like frames or a smoke coming up, but then it has a little bit of an opaque feeling. So those two are uh, um, a little bit of discrepancy over there. Um, I can see that these this are trying to save this guy's soul. And I can see the, the tattoos and the marks and the hands on the body. And I would like to see a little bit more definition of his body. I feel like the, the post-production, the retouching, the softening out of his skin is not helping this image, I feel like it's leaving me wanting for uh, for more. So um, that's all I got. 
All right. right. Anyone have anything to add to that? All right. Next up. Brothers scored 87. All right. Carrie. Yeah. What a powerful image, brothers. Uh, you know, we have a uh, masculine term in the word of brothers, and we have subjects that look a little bit more uh, feminine in their uh, jewelry wearing and things like that. So, you know, it, it's definitely got some great impact and some great storytelling uh, going on with that. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we could do differently. Uh, you know, as far as uh, getting this up uh, any higher. The first thing I look at is the vignetting and the glow. So I look from the uh, top subject and we've got the uh, light colored. It's almost because it's been burned down or something and in, in the different uh, brushing, you can almost see like a, a line from the dark to the light. So I'd be careful to make that transition a little bit softer so it's not so... Uh, hard. We have the same thing coming down our uh, subject in the back, down the left arm there, or our left side, the right arm there. Uh, you know, it looks like, you know, there is a highlight from the lighting, but then when I look on the background, a little bit of lightness coming down through the background. So I'd be careful of some of those uh, technical excellence issues with that when artworking the image. Uh, I'd like to see a little bit more of the hands. You know, we've got a lot of stuff going on with the hands, with uh, uh, rings and jewelry and veins and watch. And, and to me, that's all part of the story and part of who uh, they are They are in their personalities. So, um, you know, with the watch and the rings, I'd like to see a little bit brighter on the subject's hand so that it's not so uh, dark and shadowed. Uh, as far as the presentation goes, um, the the white line is a little bit bright. I always like something a little less bright. It's very fine. So this is just minor nitpicking stuff. Uh, you know, I, I would maybe tone that down to a little bit different color and maybe choose something in the brown tones for the outside border uh, instead of the black. But uh, the other one little nitpicky thing is a few of those stray flyaways on our subject in the back, uh, I think would be would be helpful. So powerful image. Um, yeah, that's what I have. <laughs> All right, great comments. Does anyone have anything in addition? I think Carrie covered it all. All right, next up. Safe in Mama's Veil, 77. Oh, uh, Adelpha. All right, 77. So um, about, uh, above average, I believe, is, is the category. And I am looking at this baby face, and I am in love with this baby. And I love the little expression that this baby is doing with the lips. Um, one of the things that would have helped, or one of the things that will help is, I believe that there was some um, retouching being done, like some brushes on the face of the baby. But um, it, it, it gets some lines to the lips by the, on top of the lips that is like not consistent with the rest of the image. So be aware of that. The background um, being so like, it looks like a bokeh or like coming some bright stuff coming from the back um, with all those spotted dots over there. It is totally uh, stealing attention from the baby and the baby is what I want to be. Uh, the veil is, it was painted on the edges. I mean, this image is, is, is almost there, I would say, but the inconsistencies on the different uh, um, techniques that is using is not helping. And then let's go out to the presentation. The presentation is so white and, uh, and the double line on the presentation is just asking me to look at that. But the presentation is so white that it's making, um, it's making me look at the, at the image and it's making it look a little bit um, magenta, I guess. No magenta. Um, it's giving it a green look and, and it's making it look like uh, it's magic or not punchy enough. So the background, is actually looking very matted and very contaminated with the color. And I think that is being created by the presentation. 
All right. Anyone have anything addition to add to that? Yeah, I think she covered it all. Nice job. Next up. Platinum Beauty scored 85. All right. Joe. 85. Excellent category. Congratulations. Wow. You know, this is just kind of a, a clean, simple image. I mean, you're looking around the, around the image. You know, we've got good detail in the sweater. Uh, we, I like the lighting and the face. Maybe we could have just punched that up just a little bit. Um, we've got really this gorgeous hair. We've got good texture in the hair. I would have probably liked the scene a little bit, a uh, kiss of some kind of a backlight or a, a key light. Um, especially separation of the shoulders, the left shoulder and the right shoulder. And especially on the hair, you know, we've got this beautiful hair. So I would have liked to see that, you know, the hair accented a little bit. Um, the presentation, I think it works. I think it's a little bit overpowering. I don't, I think the color's good. I think it worked good with, with that. Um, I just don't think you need that much presentation, you know, let the image stand on its own. Don't, don't try to compete. Uh, I'm just drawn right into that face. So uh, I think the face could have gone down a little bit darker. But gorgeous, gorgeous image, gorgeous face. Um, 85, congratulations. Yeah, stunning image. Anyone have anything else to add different? All right, let's go to the next one. Cajun Gypsy scored a 78. All right, Carrie. <laughs> this is a fun idea. Uh, we definitely have some impact with what's going on Uh you know, with the subject matter herself, looking at the mask, looking at the scrunched up face, holding all the uh, props in there. Uh, to me, this one, uh, we have such a sharply focused background and a sharply focused subject matter that they seem, seem incongruent to each other. Uh, I'm not sure if this was shot with such a great depth of field that we have that, or if this was uh, composited, but, you know, softening that background a little bit, uh, either in camera or, uh, you know, if it was composited, choosing something that was a little bit uh, less sharply focused or blurring that background somehow, I think would help us draw our eye to the subject. Because right now my my eyes roam around and instead of saying landing on this beautiful subject that we have, I keep looking at the bricks and the uh, Bourbon Street name on the door in the, and maybe that's part of the story, but uh, to me, it's just a little bit too confusing and too much to look at. Uh, I think the, teller, the color tones blend nicely together on this. Uh, and I think the presentation is, is nice. All right. Anyone have anything in addition to add? Well, in addition, I would like to add that my, my, my concern was the lighting. I mean, if you look at camera right, uh, the neck and the chin of the lady is so blown out that you're almost missing the tail. And at the same time, it's giving it like a very flat, like a very flat looking. So the light is coming very strong from the right, but then, the, the, then there is another light coming very strong from the left, which is giving a strong shadow on the, on the chin. But I think there's so much light that is all over the place. I would love to see more directional light and more muted lighting on the subject. So I feel that she has been overlighted on All the right. top. Okay, good job, guys. Next up. Straight up, 81. All right, Joe. Straight up, you know. 81, first of all, you know, congratulations, you know, deserving of a merit, you know, straight up, you know, we think about animal portraits, you know, we don't think about something like this. So first of all, I applaud you, you know, taking a, a little bit different, you know, approach to a, a typical pet portrait. So looking straight up, um, we've got good, you know, if we look around in the nose area, we've got really good detail in the nose and all the fur, the, the eyes, um, the bottom of the image, you know, granted, you know, he's got a little bit different color coat. But especially over the left-hand side, we're kind of blowing out the highlights a little bit. And the depth of field is a little bit short. You know, like I said, we've got good focus on the nose and the eyes, but the ears are kind of uh, falling out of focus. So I'd like to see those in focus. I think a different choice of background, I think it's really kind of competing with his overall color tones and coat. If we look, you know, at the ears, we've got kind of this honey colored kind of yellow and the coat is kind of white. I think that the gray kind of, 
really compete with the impact of the image. I think if we would take another um, kind of a, well, it would have given it a little bit better impact. And the presentation, I think, is really, really uh, fighting you, especially the color that you picked for your backwards color. It's kind of a, a bluish, purple, I don't know, cyan color. I don't see anything, you know, unless you're trying to pick up the background color. I would have probably picked up a honey color there. It would have been a little bit better and, and a little, probably down a little bit darker, you know, so we get good separation in the background, you know, color that you use for the map and the image. But overall, really nice image, a uh, very creative, you know, just a, a different look at the dog. All right. Does anyone have anything in addition to add? No. Yeah, I think Joe covered it really well. All right. Next up. <laughs> Writer's pause, score to 76. Okay, Mary. Yeah, writer's pause. So I get the idea of the concept of this. We have a, a writer who's stopping to think and think about what's going on. Uh, you know, I think that was uh, a nice, thoughtful position. I would have liked to have seen her posed a little bit differently Right now, just the way she is so static and stands and looking sideways uh, in this profile shot, um, you know, I would have liked to have her contemplating more, uh, looking down at something, just, just, you know, something that gives a little bit more thoughtful, provoking for the title, uh, if you wanted to use that title. Uh, I do feel we could have improved on the lighting a little bit, given her a little bit more uh, you know, dramatic lighting or something a little less soft and airy. Um, and then the background to me, we've got some problems going on where we see some wrinkles, we see some folds uh, and that kind of thing. So just being careful of all those little details uh, in advance. All right. Anyone have anything in addition to add? All right. Next up. Patiently painted in pink and it scored 85. All right. Adelpha. Okay, so it scored 85, so congratulations, fantastic. Um, what was the title? Patiently Painted in Pink. Patiently Painted, and forgive me, I did not, I was not in the panel when this came to judge, to judges, so I need to look it up a little bit more. Um, okay, so we have the model in one left, and in one side on the left, and we have the, the finished product on the right, um, 85 is a, is a great ti title. It's a great score, I'm sorry. Um, the first thing that I am looking at over here is the inconsistency with the, I mean, the image is great. Forgive me that I go straight to what needs to, what can, it can be improved. But when I look at the, at the presentation, at the pink side of the presentation, on the top is thinner, on the bottom is thicker. So, and on the left is thinner, and on the right is thicker. So that along over there, the inconsistency in the presentation, I think it doesn't help the image. Um, when when I look at the at the painter in the back, that to me is a reference, but it's very warm because of the um, candlelight. I would have loved to see a little bit more consistency in the tonality with the left and the right. However, my main um, observation is when you look at the at the model, the face, it has a pinkish feel to it. And then you go to the arms and it has like a grayish uh, look on it and uh, like a matted look, like a smudgy. And on the arm left of the camera, you know, you're losing a lot of details over there and you don't see the, the you know, the, the brush stroke, like it took every uh, detail out of it. But when you look at the painting, you actually see detail on the painting. So those little tiny inconsistencies um, by having, fixing those actually, I think they will help this image. Does anyone have anything in addition to add? I would just add that I, I would have liked a little more retouch done maybe on the child's uh, face. When I look at her forehead, she kind of has a, I don't know if that's a shadow area or it's just a, a strange discolorization patch on the top of her head and kind of under her eyes as well. And then that arm that's on top, the the, well, the hand that's on top, it, it starts at the knuckle and it goes down halfway down the arm. It's kind of gets gray. And then we go back into a normal 
skin tone. So I think I think some attention to some retouching on the little girl would be helpful too. All right, next up. Faded Glory scored 81. And Joe. Faded Glory. Uh, Koi Goldfish, very kind of an unusual photograph. You know, I love the technique that you've used here. You know, we've got this, the fins here, we kind of looks like we may have added a little bit of brush strokes to them. Um, really nice uh, color um, throughout the, the goldfish. We've got good, you know, depth of field. You know, we can see as whatever they are, lips, the eyes, the fins, all the way to the background. And it starts to pop out of focus in the back. I think it's a, a really good choice between the colorization, either if it's natural or if it was brought in, between the fish and the background. I, I love the color harmony that you have. And the presentation, I think it has, so overall it has, you know, really good impact, you know, which is, there's no distracting elements to it. Um, I'm looking around the background. If anything on the background, maybe the lower left, maybe could lighten that a little bit. We've got kind of a, a nice kind of a, a higher color or higher density, you know, in the, the center of the image. But when we move to the that lower left here, it, we're really kind of, kind of blocking up in the shadows there. It's getting a little bit dark. Um, we may have put a, a natural vignette on it. But I would just watch the, the, the darkness in the, the lower left and also in the lower right. But also, but overall, you know, very impactful image. You know, nice job. All right. Ditto all that. Anybody got anything in addition to add? Awesome sauce. Next up. Heart of a Lion, 81. Okay, Carrie. Yeah, what a cutie. Uh, Heart of Lion, great title for our subject matter that we've got here. Uh, nice hub tilt, you know, so it's got some personality, some impact with it. Uh, and, and that was, uh, you know, the title brought that out into it. So uh, a couple things that we talked about during the competition was, uh, you know, the way the benches that he's sitting on, uh, we've got some, the, the line of the seams in the bench, which are a little bit distracting. We want to, you know, look at those lines and it's not even all the way across. It's brighter on the left bottom corner than the right bottom corner. So we struggle with that. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on if it's a reflector, but the shadow seems heavier on the paw that's on our right hand side. When we look at that shadow, it's heavier like the light direction is coming from the wrong way. And then the eyes, the light direction is coming from the other. So I'm not sure why that is, if there was uh, some kind of manipulation done there to create that, but just be careful of that. Um, when I'm looking at the dog himself and I'm looking at uh, the fur, uh, on the left-hand side below his ear, our camera left, uh, we start to see some gray tones in there. Uh, so I'm not sure if that was because of artwork that was done on the background, uh, but just being really careful that we have nice, clean uh, hairs and hairlines there. Uh, to me, the uh, presentation is a little bit large, but that's just a small uh, criticism, but I, I really enjoy the look on this dog's face, the storytelling that we go, have going on here and the impact that it brings because of that. All right. Anyone got anything in addition? Consider cropping it and getting rid of the problem area, which is the bottom part of the feet, because his face and his eyes and his expressions are out of shot. All right. Next up. Alone with his music scored 81. Okay, Delta. Okay, well, 81 and Merit, congratulations. Um, you know what? He I love the expression of this young man. He looks so pleasant, he looks so happy, like he is content with life. And to see that expression on a on a, on a teenager or a young man is it, actually is actually nice and soothing. So let's talk about, um, you know, you got a merit, but let's talk about things that um, perhaps could have hold her back or could have improved. That the lighting, the, the contrast, I guess, let's put it that way, on the cloth, when we pull the contrast on the face and the luminosity on the face is looking awesome. But perhaps when we pull or, or push an image, we have to always pay attention to the shadows area. And in the shadows area, if you look at the elbow um, of the of the guy and the 
hand that is on the bottom of the guitar and on the legs and all of that, and uh, the area on the dark by the neck, um, on the dark areas, I feel like we are totally losing details. At least I cannot see any details. So it's, it, it's black in those areas. So we have to be very aware of that. Um, also, if you look at the guitar, uh, camera left, there is a, a light, um, it's almost like it was, it gives the appearance that it was in post-production to try to give it a separation, but it's like a very strong uh, light that is becoming to look like a smudge all around the guitar to give her separation. And uh, because it's so dark and maybe we were trying to bring it lighter, I am seeing in the background some computer noise, um, which is starting to appear like banding in the camera left where the light and the dark meet. Anyone have any anything in addition? All right, we'll go to the next one. Who are you calling Scruffy scored 78? All right, Joe. Scruffy, boy, he does look scruffy, doesn't he? Um, what was it, 78? Is that fair? 78, yes, yeah, 78. Yeah, 78 above average. Uh, really nice image of, of this dog. I think you know, we've got good good texture in the dog. You know, I'm looking around. He's got all different color hairs. And, you know, we've got good detailing and no blown out highlights. A little bit close to being blown out at the very top of his, his head. But, you know, we can see his little eyes in there. So the dog, I think, it, it, is great. I think if anything... You know, I'm kind of looking at this, and maybe the camera angle was just a little bit low. Uh, raise the camera angle on this a little bit. And the other thing, I don't think we need all of that stool. I think what he's sitting on is is okay. You know, sometimes we'll put a dog on something like that so they won't jump off. Um, but the bottom of, of the stool, you know, the, the metal, the black metal, I don't think that was necessary, and especially, you know, we get that highlight on, on the black metal, which is, is distracting. I think a little bit, you know, Tighter prop. I think we could just prop through the wood, and that would have been nice. A uh, presentation, I think, goes with it. I'm looking at the background. Um, I don't see any real severe, uh, you know, fall off or any, you know, vignetting. Um, we've got some good separation. Um, overall, really nice image. I think you know, a little bit different, different prop. I think would have more impact for you. Right. Good comments. Anyone have anything in addition? Yeah, I have one thing. Uh, there seems to be a little bit of problem in the background when I look uh, to our camera right of the dog where it transitions from light to dark. It's not a smooth transition. And there's a magenta jaggedy line in there. So uh, I'd be really careful on trying to clean up that background just a little bit. All right, next up. Drops of gold scored 83. Okay, uh, Carrie. Yeah, this is a fun image. I enjoy the color tonality, the color harmony that we have going on here. The orange against the blue, uh, you know, to me is is really nice. It's a different angle, a different, you know, something that we're not used to looking at. I enjoy the sun rays that are uh, coming down from the upper corner because it gives us a light direction on uh, the tail being brighter uh, and that. Um, I'm not sure if this was composited or not, but I'd just be really careful of those lines. They do seem a little bit jaggedy in a couple places. I know the end of the tail, that to me looks completely natural. I'm talking about uh, in between the tail and the fin where it curls around there to me is a little bit uh, uh, just not quite as smooth as what it should be. I like the air bubbles coming up and um, the light direction gives the highlights to the correct side of the air bubbles. So I think that was handled very nicely. Uh, the presentation is nice. The orange color is just a little bit bright in my opinion, but uh, overall nice image and congratulations on the merit. That's great. Anyway, got anything in addition? Nice job. Next up. Pet versus mouse, 80. All right. Adelpha? All right. Well, um, great idea. I mean, um, great title, great idea. Um, uh, you know, uh, great, great presentation. Uh, well, to be honest, uh, for my liking, that dark, the inside dark um, stroke line, for the lack of a better word, it's it's a little bit too thick. I would have, I would have liked to see less of that because um, I don't want that to overpower the image. 
Um, when it comes to the little mouse, well, uh, I don't have anything to say about the little mouse. When it comes to the cat, um, you know, the story alone carries this image into a great image. However, if you look at the lighting of the, of the mouse with the part that is closer to the camera, it's so bright that it, you're almost starting to look, lose details on that. So be aware of that and, and control the light a little bit better um, in the aspect to make sure, be more aware to make sure that, that you don't lose the details. I mean, I can see details there still, hence the, um, the points that you got, but I think that be aware of the highlights. Um, and also, I don't know if the highlights were taken down on the back of that paw, but I can see like a gray degradation there. I don't think that that is the color of the puppy. I think it's, I'm trying to add um, details into that. They, it gave a little bit of a smudge look. But other than that, I mean, congratulations, great image. All right, anyone got anything else to add? All right, next up. Black Beauty scored an 83. All right, Joe. Black Beauty, oh wow, what a beauty. Beautiful, beautiful dog. Um, I love the lighting on the, on the face and the eyes. We've got good detail in the, the tonal range in there. Um, up in the ears, uh, good uh, use of depth of field. You know, I look at the paws, they're sharp. Uh, the tail's sharp all the way through. Uh, really, the way it's presented here, I'm almost looking at it as the photograph really is almost from the from ears down to the chest. Um, the legs really kind of drop off into a deep shadow. And we put them, again, on one on top of a, a posing stool or something that kind of creates a lot of distractions. You know, we're getting, getting a highlight that's kind of going, you know, horizontally across the image and it falls off into the shadow. But we're getting that stitching. Um, so we could have probably maybe cropped it a little bit differently. You know, you, there's two uh, things that you could look at. You could, you know, crop it a little bit tighter horizontally to get rid of that. Or you can come in, which I think is the most powerful part of the image, which is just like I said, from the ears down to the chest. Um, I don't know if that is his fur or if that's the way the lighting fell off. You know, if we look at his ear down, it wraps around his eye. That gets a little bit. Um, the background, um, looking around the background, it's we've got some areas that you know kind of chunky. If we look in the right hand side of, of the background, we're getting some dark areas in there. So um, it's kind of a busy presentation, but you know I kind of like it. Maybe if we just brought the, the size of the actual presentation board so that there wasn't so much that competed with we're all really nice image. All right. Anyone have anything in addition? All right, next up. Transported scored an 82. Okay, uh, Adelpha. 82, got a merit, congratulations. Um, Wow, love the expression of this guy. Um, you know, I, he really, I mean, and, and the maker, you chose a great title that it goes with his expression. Um, let's start from the outside in, you know, uh, adding a little bit of a presentation, which it is part of the 12 elements, perhaps would have, uh, would have helped this image. Um, the other thing that, you have to be careful when you go with these very um, low key images is to make sure that the black still holds its um, details on it. Very dramatic lighting, which it goes with the, with the, with the story. Um, but if you look at the, almost like a vignette, it looks like a painted background or something like that, but then it goes with a vignette all around it, that it goes so dark and it, and it's, loses um loses details and i don't know if this is part of the background but the, the coloration on the on the transition with the light and the dark is making me feel like it's not um on the hand that is coming you know the desert feel is on the face i would love to see the hand that is closest to me and that is just personal opinion i would love to see it 
a little bit more with this feel so it will not be so out of focus since that is so on my face. Um, the arm, the black on the arm, I think when it was kind of trying to bring it back, I feel that it has some uh, almost like cyan, magenta contamination or computer contamination. So maybe going back to the original image and see if you can bring those blacks back in will help this image. Okay, anyone have anything in addition? Awesome, okay, it's 12.30. Uh, do you want me to do one more or do we, are we breaking for lunch? Let's do one more. One more. All right, let's do one more then. Give us another one. Okay, Monday Mood 81. Monday Mood, all right, <laughs> Carrie. <laughs> impact, impact, impact. <laughs> this is definitely what it has going on. Great title uh, for Monday mood. That's definitely what I feel like on some Mondays. <laughs> uh, so let's talk about this image. Uh, we definitely know it has impact. We definitely know it has creativity and we definitely know it has style. Uh, as far as, you know, what to do to improve this image to the next level, a couple things that I look at are the highlights on his nose. Uh, I'd like to see those toned down a little bit or better yet when shooting and making that light not quite as bright uh, or angling it a little bit more so it's not going to hit the tips of his nose. Uh, I, I like the separation that we have coming on the shoulders uh, of this dog and um God, what a beautiful pattern on his coat. Sorry, I just got sidetracked by that because I was thinking that looked different uh, than what I've seen before. But anyway, um, you know, the light coming out of shoulders is very, uh, you know, nice and soft and beautiful, but just a little bit too harsh on the side of the cheekbones there. Is that what you call a dog's side of the face? I don't know if they have cheekbones uh, and, and the tip of the nose. Uh, so watching for that. The other thing I look at is I love the tone on tone. I'm a tone on tone person myself. I love the brown tones and the brown background. However, this background to me is a little bit busy with all the texture that it's got going on because we have such beautiful texture going on in the dog uh, and in the coat of the dog and especially in the dog's body with the patterns uh, that I would like to see something a little less uh, textured as far as the background goes, but uh, overall, nice job. And thanks for making me laugh. <laughs> Anyone have anything else to add to that? Yes. Um, I agree with everything. I agree with everything that it was, it was said. And I feel like the expression of this dog carry this image all the way. Um, while photographing very dark dogs, uh, we have to be careful with the lighting. I feel like the lighting of this image came from the top, almost like a Hollywood style type of lighting, and it came from the back with the with the with the um, side lighting on on both sides. But I feel like the the mask of the face gave the neck such a strong shadow that there was no light coming from the front whatsoever. That I am missing a lot of the fur. Um, or, or the hair right underneath the mask of the face. And it's giving it like a very dark void without details. I think a little bit of details in that would have helped this image. Great mm -hmm. image. All right, awesome sauce. All right, that brings us up to lunch break. Uh, I believe audience, we break for 45 minutes. So T, is that correct? We should be back at uh, 115, get started? Yes, that would be great. And I will go ahead and open up the breakout room for you guys. And that way you can just be in there. And uh, if you have anything to say to them, you uh, to, to our panel, great. If not, um, I'll pop in there probably at about 110, just to make sure everybody's ready to come back. All right. So let's go over to the breakout room, guys. All right. It should. There we go. All right, thank you so very much. We are breaking until 1.15. Uh, we will just keep the room open and uh, thank you every, everyone for joining us. Thanks, Thea. Have a good lunch, Karen.
Hey, Karen, if you're there. I'm here. Um, can you please uh, log out of the Scorekeeper app and log back in? Okay. We just shifted a couple images from our panel over to panel uh, to a different panel, just to to make sure that we have everything um, as balanced as we can. Okay. Uh, and just note to anybody listening in at the moment. It's not from the images coming up, it's down a little ways. So once we get going again, it will go ahead and uh, update the, the progress on uh, game day. Okay, so I'm logging off and I'm logging back on. Yep. Okay, does anybody else have to new do that? Um, or the, the jurors already did that and I already did it for the screen that I'm about to share, but I just wanted to make sure you had that done before I started sharing the screen. Okay, I am back and I'm ready and it's done. Great, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and share the screen. Okay. And if uh, you are ready to start on the, at, on the, um, on the okay. next image, I showed the next image as, the um disenchanted i think yes, right that is correct okay if you're ready um just, uh, are you guys ready yeah we're ready i'm ready okay i'm ready all right guys here we go okay um disenchanted 83 okay all right carrie i'm gonna let yeah, you take this you Beautiful mm -hmm. painting, uh, Disenchanted. We've got a uh, beautiful subject matter. We've got a nice composition. I like the leading lines, you know, it's flowing down and going off to the third lines. Uh, the presentation to me is very interesting and I like it. I like the fact that it's got the lighter color at the top and the pinker towards the bottom uh, to match our subject matter. Uh, as far as anything to do to improve, um, I would watch the edges that they don't start getting too mushy on the dress on the right hand side. I do like how it fades off, but uh, they start to get a little bit mushy. And we, when we look at her shoulder, we've got nice strong strokes and direct lines. Uh, and then the color tonality of her face and her arms seem to be uh, while well, her hands seem to be a little bit gray toned. So uh, just a little bit of tweak on the color tonality there. Uh, nice job. Hey, anyone have anything different to add? Nope. Oh, beautiful image. All right, next up. Okay, Baby Bloom scored an 80. All right, Adelpha. Uh, Baby Bloom. Beautiful, beautiful little child. Um, 80 is a merit. Congratulations. Let me take a look over here because I wasn't around when I... Okay. Um, okay. Um, the Let's start with the baby's little face. It's, it's so cute and I love the expression of the little baby. The retouching on the skin look very nice, um, very well done. Um, one thing that I would caution you is if you look at the lips, the retouching on the lips, it's like you, you've got the skin all around it and soften it up, but then the skin that meets the lips, it, it looks like very dry and little crack, and it's not consistent with the rest of the, the retouching on the face. So be aware of that. Um, I actually like the composition of this image. Um, I like um, where the little child was placed. Um, going back to the skin color, um, the, the right side, camera right side of the face of the child has one color consistency, and then camera left from his nose to the left has another color consistency. One on the right is more pinkish grayish, and on the other one is almost like um, orangey, a little bit oversaturated. I don't know what is going on there, but um, keep an eye on that. Um, to make sure that the color of the skin is consistent all throughout. Um, the other thing with the with the lighting is the the hammock in the bottom, for lack of a better word, is very bright underneath the baby. It's like tone that down because it's getting my attention there. Other than that, great image. 
All right. Anyone have anything different to add? I would just say be careful with the vignetting, especially in those top right and left corners. Uh, I, I, it just kind of dingy up your uh, pink blanket. Okay, next up. The metamorphosis within scored an 80. Joe. Wow. Very cool, cool story here. You know, uh, we've got some really great tonality going on here. Merit image. Um, you know, the, the tattoo on her back. Um, really great details to here. I love the tonality through there. I love the tonality through the hair, the back of her hair. I like to see maybe a little bit more separation just at the very top of the hair. And then we've got a reflection, you know, on the mirror, you know, in the background, but it's it's very dark. It's like and maybe this was done on purpose, you know, maybe we just needed to bring up the tonality of the background a little bit, you know, not to compete with that with that image in, in the foreground, but you know, just so it, it just matches a little bit better. Um, I'm not sure what, what she's sitting on. We've got kind of an amputated look on it. Okay, it's, it's on a bench, I'm going to assume, but it gives like a, a really kind of amputated look to it. Um, I think the presentation, you know, works well for this particular image. I think it's a nice transfer, you know, to bring out the, you know, from probably the original, the original file, which was colored the black. So overall, nice image. All right. Anyone have anything different to add? I would right. watch the contrast just a little bit. I feel like the contrast is a little heavy where we start to lose it in a lot of the blacks. Okay. All right. Next. I'm glad we're brothers. 100. Okay. Carrie. Yeah, I can't hardly give a critique on a hundred image, but wow. Uh, let's talk about what we did right with this. Uh, I'm glad we're brothers. What a great story because we have two totally different dogs, uh, you know, and, and so the storytelling to me is off the charts on this. Uh, very well done. Nice composition. The painting technique is consistent all the way around. You know, a lot of our critiques were talking about uh, how the brush strokes are inconsistent and don't match, but uh, this one was done very well. The presentation is outstanding. It matches uh, what we've got going on in the background, and I just don't see anything to complain about in this image. Well done. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, yeah, this is definitely just hit all 12 elements. All right, next up. Beat down, scored an 82. All right, Joe. Yeah, 82. Uh, Merit, congratulations. You know, there was a lot of discussion about this image on, on the panel. Um, we've got a really great story here. I like this, you know, beat down. Obviously, a very strong story here of what she's going through at home. Somebody, you know, who's abusing her. We've got this very overwhelming shadow, you know, kind of looming over her that's, you know, beating her down. Um, so great, you know, social commentary here. Um, some things that were so talked about, whether it's 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 true or not. Some felt that the proportion of her head was a little bit out of proportion, that her head was a little bit too large or was too cocked. I mean, you know, it, it's hard, you know, we're not behind the camera. Um there was some shadowing around her eyes, but you know, I kind of took that as being beat down and maybe being bruised. I like the background that you've used, you know, kind of tells the story of the image. If anything, if we go to the lower left of the background, I think that kind of kind of fades off a little bit. And there was some talk about, you know, her toes and the contact shadows and maybe the artwork that was done on the toes. But overall, a, a really nice image tells a really good story. Anyone have anything else they want to add? <clears throat> All right, next up. Downtown Vibe scored 79. Okay, Delpha. Okay, um, beautiful portrait of a, of a girl. I'm assuming it's a senior or, or somebody to that age. Um, um, in love with her expression, her a little bit of, uh, you know, I know who I am type of look on her face. So love that. Love the uh, black and white tonality. Um, 79 is almost a merit. So let's talk about uh, the things that, that could have improved this image. Uh, in the posing, we always have to be careful where we put the camera. Um, the angles, uh, in the, they are a little bit distracting, but the issue with the angle is that the arm, her left arm or camera right arm, 
it's coming straight to the camera and it's making the arm really big, but it looks like it has too much light on it. So it's, it's a little bit out of focus and it, it has lost every detail on it. So we don't see the little um, details on the arm. So it's just like, a it looks big and it looks just totally white, which makes the butt arm look so small um, that is, it is giving us issues with that. You know, the presentation was interesting. Um, some some of us will love this, some of us not. So it's just suggested, so I'm not gonna go there. Mainly um, very bright and the out of focus hand coming towards the, towards the lens. Okay, any other comments? All right, next. Cami Owen Silver, 79. Okay, Carrie. Yeah, uh, beautiful image. Uh, we've got nice lighting on our subject matter. So when we're looking at the 12 elements, uh, you know, it's got impact directly looking at our eyes. We've got some nice lighting on our subject. I like the hair light, the separation uh, that goes from the hair light. Uh, I'd be a little careful with some of the shadowing in our hair, bringing that out. Uh, to me, the presentation on this is a little bit distracting as well as the large earrings. I'm not sure if there's something you can do to tone down those earrings, but uh, you know, taking down some of those highlights and cleaning up the presentation, I think would help this image go a long way. All right, any other comment? All right, next. You're gonna finish yours? 81. Okay, Joe. Yeah, 81, Mayor, congratulations. Really cute story between these two puppies. Um, we've got good detail, you know, lighting on you know, the puppy on the right. And it looks like a, a cake that we've made out of dog bones. Um, I'm looking around the fur. There's no blown out highlights in the fur. Uh, the biggest thing I think is from taking, you know, 81 and maybe not going up to 86 is, you know, that moment of capture, you know, he's kind of looking on, but we're losing the dog's face, you know, on the left. Uh, maybe this was done as, as part of a series of, of images. You could go back and maybe, you know, he lifted his face up just a little bit. You know, where you're still chewing on the bone and we still get the story, but they would get a little bit more facial contact with them. I think the presentation is nice. I think uh, the the foreground of the image, I think we could have propped off a little bit of that and, and still maintain the story and maybe even got a little bit better impact. But overall, you know, the details of the image, I like the tonality of the image. Uh, nice image, merit image. All right. Anyone have anything else additional to add? All right, next up. Hidden. 77. All right, Adelpha. Uh, 77, um, a, a nice concept, a beautiful model. Um, you know, I, I actually love the pose. The posing on this image is, is, is really beautiful, job well done. Um, the technique is it's a little bit interesting is giving it like a metallic look to it um, for start with be careful in the left upper left corner I can see like a smudge you know that is attracting attention with some light spot over there um, I don't know if this lady was painted on camera or she, if she was actually wearing the paint but um the posing and the expression and all of that and even the posing of the of the upper hand um is really really well done i think where this went down it was what it would have helped it it was the technique uh if you look between the legs in the bottom where the where the wall contacts the floor <clears throat> on the sides to the right to the left is, is soft and smudged but between the legs is very very sharp and it's bringing us over there. And uh, also, uh, some of the skin looks very smooth with that with that metallic look, and some of the uh, skin looks really sharp with a lot of texture. So the consistency, the consistency of the technique is what is getting this image um, down. I guess was taking it down. Okay. Any other comments? There's a little smudge. There's a little smudge on the presentation on the left hand side, about a third away from the bottom. So I just wanted to 
uh, make the maker aware to check all those little details too. Okay. All right, next. The sweetest rose, 81. All right, Carrie. <laughs> she is a sweet little rose, beautiful little girl, nice uh, solid mirror image. We have uh, a nice uh, impact and storytelling going on here, tying the rose from the title into the background. Uh, the painting on her hair is absolutely beautiful. I would be a little bit careful when I look at the left-hand side of the painting of her hair. It's super, super sharp. And then the right-hand side is a little bit softer. And our hair should, you know, fade off with the depth of field, just like uh, it does with the camera. So just being a little bit careful with that. Uh, as well as watching the edges, I look at the edge of her sleeve uh, by her hand and um, in the front, it would be our camera right hand. And there's, there's a little bit of uh, funniness going on in the technique there, but uh, beautiful girl, beautiful image. All right, any other comments? Okay, we'll go to the next one. Golden Boy, 78. Okay, Joe. Yeah, 78, Golden Boy, um, high part of the above average. You know, we got this beautiful dog, sunset at the beach. Um, let's start with the dog first. You know, we've got really good texture here. We've got good focus, you know, from the bottom of his paws up to his head. Um, really nice. Uh, got a little bit of light in his eyes, separation from the background. I think really the, the biggest thing that you're fighting here, you know, in this particular image, it's time of day. It, it, it's really tough to, to photograph that time of day. You know, we've used the dog to, to, to block the sun a little bit, but it's still kind of bleeding around, especially on the left left hand side, left by his ear and down by his by his neck. Or really got very little detail in there. And same thing with the clouds in the background. Um, just got those little sun spots that are, we're just really just losing the highlights there. Um, as presented here. Um, I would probably say we could have probably propped up, maybe even make it a square um, to where we could get rid of some of that. Same thing with the, with the bottom portion of the image. I don't think all of that's necessary. Okay. I don't want to crop off this reflection, but we could have come up a little bit. Um, we've got good good backlight, you know, kind of separating. I think it's just a question of, you know, if you go out and do something like this again, you know, maybe just a little bit earlier, or a little bit later, so that we get a little bit more color in that sky. Yeah. Good comments. Anyone else have anything else? All right, we'll go to the next one. The color blue, 79. Carrie. Yeah, I love this image. Uh, you know, it's definitely striking and got impact just because of the color blue and it's tied together in a, a great format. Uh, as far as uh, moving this to the next level, the first thing I notice is that her hand seems so large in comparison to her face. Uh, so I'm guessing it was shot with a really wide angle lens uh, up close. So I would uh, have moved that back and zoomed in, uh, maybe tipped her hand in towards her chin a little bit so that her you know, side of her arm just was not so large. Uh, in the forefront of the picture. And then that ties into the lighting also. Uh, her hand is just as bright as her face. And uh, so just toning that down a little bit without letting those uh, tones go gray, I think would go a long ways. All right, any other comments? Um, the consistency of the skin, if you see the face of this beautiful lady, it has, you can see the pores, you can see the skin, and then you go to the shoulders and the neck and it has been smoothed out to the point that it's, it's doing a little bit of grayish contamination over there. Okay, all right, next up. Unleashing Ambition, 82. Okay, Adelpha. What was the title? And Unleashing Ambition, 82. All right, thank you. Okay, congratulations on the merit. I mean, uh, this is a, a girl that is graduating and the title is saying that she's unleashing her her greatest potential, I guess. Um, love the lighting on the face, love the expression on the face, um, the, the idea of the light coming out of the box uh, was a great idea. I think the one thing that will help this image is 
it, it, supposedly that light is coming from the box, but the hand seems to be in front of the light. So somehow on the post-production, it needs to appear that the light is coming from inside the box. Therefore, that box cannot be in the inside that dark. And it needs to re it radiate from the inside of that box. And I need to see the light there in order for the light to spread all the way up. I mean, that is my observation. Other than that presentation, and great idea. Any, any other comments someone wants to make? All right, next up. My snuggle bunny, 81. All right, Carrie. Yeah, cute, cute little uh, snuggle bunny. Congratulations on the merit. We have a great subject matter, uh, great title tying into the storytelling. And, um, you know, I think the lighting on this baby uh, is handled okay. I would suggest a little bit more lighting on the mask of its face. Right now I see the brightness on the top of the head instead of on the mask of the face. So uh, angling that lighting in such a way, I'm guessing this is probably a window light or something along that lines, but uh, I guess I don't know for sure. But something a little softer, something a little bit more on the mask of his face. Uh, I love seeing the little piggy toes and, and holding the blanket. And I think the um, tonality of the bowl, the color blues, the fur, the, the background all blend together very nicely. So well done. Any other com comments? All right, next up. Sunshine, 82. Hey, Joe. Oh, uh, deserving of a mayor, 82. Uh, really contemporary look, you know. Not the normal thing that we do for one of, it looks like probably, I'm going to say a, a teenager, you know, probably 13 to 15. Um, but we've got this very contemporary look here, you know, really kind of showing off her attitude, you know, her body position, the views, the angle of the camera. You know, we just go follow all those lines, go right up into that face here. Um, also, we wouldn't think about putting this bright orange background, her, but I think it you know, really complements the yellows and the whites really well. Um, maybe the lighting could have been just a little bit more contrasting, just a little bit more ratio. But we've got, you know, we've got our pigtails separated up there really nice. Um, it's just a really nice kind of contemporary look to the image. On the right-hand side, we're losing, you know, I see the, the shadow from her shoe. That doesn't bother me. But we've got some other little darker areas back over on the right-hand side. I would have just blended those out a little bit. Um, I think that the... The presentation also complements the image. It's just a really nice contemporary image of this girl. All right. Anyone has anything else to add? Let's go to the next one. Survivor, 83. Adelpha? Um, <clears throat> a great image. I, I, you know, I really, really do like this image. And uh, every once in a while, I have issues when they cut the uh, kid's head with the background, but I actually think that this was very well done. And um, and I love the expression of this kid. I love the skin on the face. Um, the one thing that I would have perhaps done a little bit better, and I know <clears throat> that bandana, you know, has something to do with, with culture. So that kind of goes absolutely um, awesome with the story. Um, the lighting on the Reese's chin, um, camera right a little bit, you you are losing some of that um, luminosity of the skin. It's getting a little bit smudged and you're losing, I'm not going to say you're losing detail because you have detail there, but it's just looking uh, muddy and kind of, so, so take a look at that and make sure that that part over there is not so smudged and opaque. Um, the quality of the on the mask of the face, the lighting is phenomenal. Uh, from the chin down, it kind of breaks down. Chin down and coming right kind of breaks down. Perhaps toning down a little bit the stripes on the by the ear. I understand that the light is hitting it that way, but those white part, just the white part by the ears, toning that down a little bit will get me more into his eyes and no away from the from the image. Great image. Love the presentation. Okay. Any other comments? All right. Next up. Family Portrait 85. All right, Joe. Yeah. 
great family portrait of, of these four dogs. Wow. First of all, you know, we've got these, you know, gorgeous, gorgeous dogs, you know, all four of them lined up. Great expressions, you know, the little tilts of the head here and there. Um, we've got nice catch lights and all the all four of the dogs I'm looking around. Uh, the technique is really nice. The little the little painter that we've added to it, some brush strokes, really nice. Um, some things that were talked about. Uh, first of all, as a presentation, this is one of those kind of things, you know, you're going to kind of love it or hate it. Um, some of the judges appreciated it. Um, it it's a little little heavy for the for the look that we have here, but maybe that's what the client wanted. Uh, the other thing that was talked about was the brush strokes, especially the bottom of the dogs, where they're kind of floating in air in the air. It may have been a, a little bit better look if we had a little bit more base to the dogs and kind of see where, where they came from. Was, like I said, to get rid of that floating floating kind of look. Um, look just looking at the lighting of, through the image, I don't see any blown out headlights. The only one I see is a camera left, the second dog. We got a little bit of a, a blown out area back right underneath his ear, but overall, really nice image, real good depth of field. Just a really great family portrait with these four dogs. Any other comments? All right, next up. The Patriarch 78. Carrie. Yeah, uh, the, he is a patriarch, definitely indeed a definite character uh, that is very photogenic and gives us a storytelling feel to him. So well done with that. The black and white conversion is nice. Uh, I think for me, what's holding this out of the uh, merit category would be two things. One would be the lighting. Uh, we have such a strong light coming from the left and it's back far enough that it's not hitting much of the uh, right side, our camera right side of his face. So, uh, you know, the lighting a little bit softer and, and more even across his face, I think would help. Or if you're really going for contrasty, then you really have to contrast it up. I think uh, one of the two, but right now uh, where it's at, I feel that the lighting is just a little bit problematic in this. Uh, the other thing is his stance and his posture. He just looks at, he looks like he's just like, you told him just to stand there and he's waiting for you to tell him what to do. Uh, so I feel like something a little bit more, uh, you know, where he's turned a little bit better, where we can see that back shoulder, you know, maybe bring his hands in the picture uh, or in his pockets just to kind of put his shoulders in a little bit different position. So uh, just, you know, fine tuning that pose a little bit more than just, oh, stand here, look at me and, and uh, going from there. So uh, great subject matter, uh, nice presentation and nice black and white version. All right. Any other comment? All right, we'll move on to the next one. Imposter syndrome, 85. Okay, Adelpha. <laughs> <laughs> what was the title again? Imposter syndrome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? All I can say is interesting, interesting, interesting. This is kind of like a cool concept. Um, you know, the concept is, is awesome. And to start with um, the presentation, you know, the brown presentation with the texture in the outside, um, a little bit of a rough texture doesn't match the texture of the inside because the inside of the couch has been um, softened a lot. So the texture inside is way soft. So that is not working for me. And keep in mind, this is just my humble opinion. This is... Um, a really cool concept. I love all the puppies and that expression. I love the eyes of the cat. It's like, oh my gosh. Um, I feel like, please forgive me, remind me again, what was the, what was the points on this? Um, yeah, 80, 85, I think, hold on. 85, yes. 85. Okay, so so there's nothing to be, nothing to complain about on 85. That is an excellent, um, Excellent points over here, and the main reason is for that awesome storytelling. Um, in order to, for me, in order to bring it up a little bit, um, I know we have talked about a lot about this today, but the 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 animals being on that couch, being buried so much inside the couch, and having the front of the couch in the in with such a strong horizontal uh, circular line in front of it. It's just demanding attention. Like I want to be <clears throat> on those eyes. <clears throat> Excuse me, that cat 
expression and those puppies. The puppy, the cat is like, I belong here. And the little puppy says like, I'm so, they are sad or annoyed that the, the cat is there. So the expression, the story is off the chart. Um, the couch in the front is, I believe is her in the story. Any other comments? All right, next up. <clears throat> Wave Rider 80. Joe. Yeah, Wave Rider 80. Congratulations, Merit Image. Um, great stop action, great moment of capture for, uh, looks like a wakeboarder. Um, you know, good shutter speed we picked here. We've got the splash of the water. Um, we've got good details in him and where the ropes go into the boat. Um, I think overall, I think I think you just needed to bring this down, this image down. I think it would be darker. Um, I think the crop, I think it's a little bit tight. I'd like to see a little bit more environment, you know, kind of where he came from and where he's going. So open that up. Um, I don't think your presentation, I think it, for me, it's a little bit busy, um, especially with the blue kind of like the, the like sketchboard kind of look. I think just a solid color would have been better. And I don't think you needed that. Uh, we've got the image and then we've got that you know, white band around you know, a large white area of the mat. I realize you're trying to create a, a matted uh, print look, but I don't think it worked in this particular situation. You know, go with one or the other. I don't think the white was necessary. Um, overall, a nice image. I think really just you know, pull the image down a little bit darker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any other comments? All right. Joe and I used to do that on one ski, right, Joe? <laughs> I can still ski on one ski. I can too, but I can't come up on one. <laughs> uh, I can still come up on one. Oh, well, good for you. I can't. I'm a weekly. just don't have a boat anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up. I'm not a cat toy, 78. All right, Carrie. Yeah. Uh, cute image when this was judged. I, I had a at first, my first instinct was what's behind him. And then I realized that was part of the story. So, uh, you know, cute, cute story, cute, fun, uh, cat playing with him. I wish I could see a little bit more of the cat in this story. I'm not a cat toy means the cat is playing with him, playing with his tail. And I just really wish I could see a little bit more of that cat in this story. Uh, as far as the rest of the image goes, I think it needs a little bit more density. I feel like the matte uh, finish isn't uh lending any favors to this image so uh the positioning of the dog is nice and we've got uh the front paws covering the areas that we want to see covered and uh you know the presentation is done nice all right any other comment all right next ray of sunshine scored a 90. all right adelpha wow 90 huh this is a uh... This is a beautiful image, and it, it does irritate sunshine. I mean, the expression on the puppy there is absolutely awesome. And uh, there is not a lot that I can tell a 90 image to, to improve. However, let's give it a try. Um, I feel that the forehead of the puppy it could have been toned down just a little bit between the two eyes over there, um, I feel like it's a little bit too bright. And um, and also the foreground, if we were taking down like half of that foreground or even a third of that foreground and, uh, and eliminated, I think it would have even given this image a lot more power. <clears throat> also cropping a little bit to the right and moving it to the right. And I feel kind of silly for give advice to a 90 in print, but that is just my humble personal opinion. This is a great image. Job well done, congratulations. Any other comments? All right, next image. Bluebell 77. All right, Carrie. <laughs> These girls are bluebells. Uh, nice storytelling, uh, nice portrait of these two sisters. Uh, so let's move into what we could do. I think uh, this one needs a little bit more uh, rim light on it to bring our subjects away from the background. Right now, their hairline uh, and the sides of their, their dress and stuff kind of blends right into the background. So whether we light the background or light the back of our subject matters, uh, I think that would help. Also, the girl on our camera right, if she would turn her nose just a little bit towards 
the camera. Uh, I think that would help with the uh, posing on this just a little bit and maybe a little bit more blend in their elbows. I like the tones that we've got going on in the color harmony. I think their skin tones were done nice. Um, and, uh, you know, the presentation is very simple and doesn't harm the image at all. Okay, any other comment? All right, next up. Good to the last drop, 79. And we are moving into the commercial category. All right, thank you. All right, Joe, you want to start us off in the commercial? Sure, 79, just short of merit. merit. So let's take a look around. I, I just, first of all, I love what's going on in here. We've got these little drops, you know, coming down into the glass, and splashing on the ice. Um, that's really nice in the background. We've got good separation, you know, between the glass. We've got some reflections on the glass. You know, some people may not like that, but, you know, I think, you know, glass is a reflective surface. So, you know, if we made it all dull and all kind of gray and without the reflections, I don't think it would have any personality. Um, I like uh, the patient that you've used, the background. I'm um, not a fan. We've got that inner matte color, kind of a light blue or whatever that is. Um, if you want to leave that there, that's fine. Let's call it a, a stroke, um, but let's just make it a little bit smaller. It's not so just, um, the background, you know, we've got kind of a, a graduated background. It goes from black, to, and then it kind of shifts to a different color, and then another color. Uh, just check to make sure you don't have any banding back there. You know, on my monitor, I'm seeing a little bit, um, maybe some noise introduction, you know, with the post. I think that we could have cropped it a little bit tighter. Um, I don't think that this, the bottom portion of the image is all black. I think we could have cropped that out. Um, just cropped it just right below that reflection and maybe got you squeaked just a, more points out of it and got gotten you into the merit category. All right. Anyone have any other comments? All right, let's go to the next one. Grandeur 77. All right, Carrie. Yeah, uh, this is a grandeur image. Great title for the image. Uh, I love the central uh, composition. It is very symmetrical. I'm looking at the arches on the bottom, the arches at the top, you know, the arches on each side. So absolutely fabulous. The color toning and stuff works out great. Uh, I think I'm having a hard time with, it looks like there's a little bit of chromatic aberration uh, coming in on the windows. We got those blue tones and the, the blue that's outlining the daylight outside on those windows. So to me, that's a little bit problematic there. And I don't think the presentation helps this one at all. I think the light brown uh, draws my eye outside of the image instead of trying to remain within the image. But uh, the symmetry on this has done absolutely fabulous. So good job on that. All right, anyone that have another remark? All right, next. Near death solution. Okay, Adelpha. Okay. <clears throat> um, I believe this was a 79. So um, almost just outside of the merit. Um, I actually remember when this image came in, I, I like the, the the airy light feeling of it, but um, on the background towards the edges, it kind of went a little bit into magenta and so the coloration over there. So it looked like with some color contamination and the whole thing was presented perhaps a little bit too light uh, to the point where on the bottom right, um, you have a lot of definition between the the subject or the or the box of the hearing aid, you have a lot of definition, but then on the left or on the right, it kind of blends into the background. And that is a little bit of a problem. The earpiece on the right is kind of like grayish and it gives it a little bit of like an opaque gray is um, almost like a dirty look to it which is not good if we're trying to, to sell, you know, this, this product. And in the, in the hearing aid box to the left, on top of that blue on the circle over there, you can see some blue reflecting into the background, like some smudge over there on the post-production. Um, I mean, this is a great concept and it's a beautiful clean image, 
um, with those details fixed, I think this can go far. Uh, I'll just add another comment. Uh, I would have maybe suggest taking the little hearing aid devices and putting them all on one side together. I think the one on the, the left, or I mean, sorry, the right, my right, you know, it kind of reflecting and sitting inside that reflection of the case. I think, I, I think it would have might've worked better if they'd been over there together to have their own single reflection instead of it mingling in. That would just be a, a suggestion. You could try to see how it looks. All right, next. Eardrop. 77. All right, Joe. Eardrop, 77, um, above average. Um, I like the tonal qualities that you have in, in the image. Um, obviously, the, the front of an old car. Um, what we're fighting is because we have so many elements. You know, I like the, the grill or the grid that we have, you know, to the left and the upper right. But we're fighting a lot of distractions, you know, with, with the headlamp. And, and that's a really tough lighting situation. You know, I realize that, you know, we've got some good detail in the center of the light. But at the top of the rim, rim with the aluminum, I realize that, that you know, that, that reflects a lot. But we're really kind of almost at the, the edge of, you know, where we're kind of losing the highlights in there. The uh, same thing at the top of the image, you know, it's going to go on a little bit gray, especially over on the right-hand side. And down at the bottom of the image, I, you know, I'm not sure what that is. You know, first, I don't know if it's been vignetted or we're getting falling off a little dark gray. And we've got this line that goes throughout the entire image. Uh, that could be a reflection of, of, of the structure of the car. I'm not sure. We see the same thing, you know, under the headlight, you know. So if it's there, I don't know, I would, you know, look at your file and, and maybe address that, maybe either soften it or take it out. Take it. Any other comment? All right, go to the next one, please. Bearing Duo, 82. All right, Carrie. All right, uh, 82, nice, nicely done. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, great uh, impact with us with the image. Uh, you know, the two planes side by side, right upside down. And, you know, it's just phenomenal what they can do. So we've got the impact. We've got the storytelling aspect going on here. Uh, you know, we've got a nice central composition and some nice presentation. Uh, as far as getting this up to the next level, I feel like we're missing a little bit of uh, sharpness in this image. Uh, when I look at the planes themselves there are certain areas that and I know these planes are flying super fast so uh and it's probably difficult but you know I look at the plane itself and I see areas that seem super sharp and then I see other areas like the Blue Angels logo that just don't seem quite sharp enough is what they should be uh trying to get those sharp speeds up there uh the, the um plane in the uh bottom portion uh, you know, is a little bit softer than the plane in the front. So I'm sure that's uh, harder to do than I can even imagine. But uh, those are just some things that I noticed with this image, but overall nicely done and a nice merit. Does anyone have anything else to add? All right, good job. Next up. Doorway to the past, 77. All right, Adelphi. Yes, um, 77. Um... I am looking at this image, and uh, this is an above average image. Uh, that's the points that I got. This, I, with the title, I can see what they were trying to do. Clever idea. Um, the background or the the arch is totally uh, black and so dark that it gives the appearance of being artificial, which is not helping with the image. And then you go. Um, to the building, and the building is so bright that you are losing details on those clouds. So those clouds are, uh, are missing definition, are missing details, and the building is a little bit presented too light. So that alone over there would, um, is hurting. And if you go on the top of the steeple, like it's straight up where that is pointing, you can see a dust speckle there, which is a sensor issue that you Kim, that you should be able to uh, to take care of. All right, any other comments? All right, next up. The beauty of polarized vitamin C. Long one. Uh, oh, I'm sorry? 
I just said it's a long one. Sorry. Oh, oh, okay. I thought you said wrong one. I was like, oh no. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Carrie, go ahead with that one. <laughs> oh, this is very interesting. You know, I'm looking at this image and because it's so different, it's hard to uh, know what it really is and what you're looking at. So I'm thinking this is some sort of plant. When I look at some of the edges, I'm seeing the leaves and, and that kind of thing. Uh, but then what happens is when I look in the middle section, uh, it appears artificial and like paper. So I'm, I'm really not sure what's happening here and what's going on with this. Um, so to me, that right there loses impact because I don't know what it is. Uh, so the impact on this, I think, is hurting. Uh, when I look at the lighting on it, we've got some nice lighting a little bit on our branch on the left that reaches all the way out. But then when I look at the center interest where this is all flat and choppy, it seems papery. Uh, the lighting on there is just kind of flat and lacking in it. And I'm just not sure what it is that I'm looking at. So for me, for that, that's what makes it fall short of the merit. Great. Does anyone have any other remarks? Okay, next up. Basilica of Santa Maria Maggiore. I'm not quite positive how to pronounce that. I'm not Italian. What was the score on that? An 83, sorry. You're fine, you're fine. Okay, Joe. Yeah, 83, um, middle of the serving of the mirror. Really nice architecture image. You know, I look through the image and, and the first thing, and we've got such great symmetry. So you picked a really good camera angle, you know, maybe you couldn't get right underneath, you know, the, the main part of the, the dome here, but I like, like the, the direction that you pick. We look around the image, you know, everything is, is, is very uh, equal. We've got great symmetry throughout the image. Um, the the blue panels of the windows don't don't, don't bother me because that's probably the, the color of the sun. I think the biggest thing that you're fighting here, and you probably had no control over that, are those those lights that are there. And, and I don't know what you want to do about those. You could try to take them out or at least tone them, try to bring the saturation down of those, bring the density down a little bit, just so that they didn't become so much of a distraction. Um, I think the presentation is clean, it's simple, put on black. Um, overall, really nice image. Congratulations. Nice architectural image. All right. Any other comments? All right. Next up. Surge Storm, Sur Surge Storm Concert Hall. I guess my shoulders are kicking in. So I'm sorry. <laughs> it's 80. All right. Adelpha. Sorry. I was just getting a drink of water. <laughs> That's okay. Um. Okay, so I have no idea what the title was because I didn't get that. Surge, uh, Surge Storm Concert Hall scored an oh, 80. The name of the building, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, uh, nice merit. Congratulations. Um, I remember being in the panel when this came out and the, the blue against the war, uh, warm tones were very impactful. So this image had a lot of impact when it came out. And... Um, I feel like in order for this image to um, to do better, there's a couple of things. I will, and I know that it's probably very dark. I would love to see a little bit more um, details in the bottom of the, like, like it went totally black, but then you see some white speckles in the foreground, uh, what I'm assuming is the, is the grass. So either get rid of those speckles uh, or give me a little bit text, a little bit of texture there. The main thing is the appearance of the inside of the building being totally blown out. All those lights where I don't see a lot of details inside of the building. So that that kind of um, took me back a little bit. And if you go to the very left, the bottom left, where you see those trees in the back. Um, uh, those trees are another building. You see like a halo, like a blue light halo going around. That will appear to be a palm tree. So that over there can probably be taken care of um, because you see because you see a lot of that halo there. Upper right on the corner of the building, you you see the blue from the from the background coming into the building which it makes me wonder if that was natural or if that blue got put over there because of the blue that was in the sky. 
So those are just things for you to look at. Great image. Congratulations on your merit. Anybody got any other comments? All right, let's go on to the next one. Architectural Marvel, 81. All right, Joe. Yeah, 81. Architectural uh, Marvel. Uh, really nice architectural. We've gone kind of a, a medium gray tone on this particular image. We've got really good texture throughout the, the entire image. Good depth of field, you know, a really strong architectural image, you know. I'm just looking throughout the image, you know, all the details. We've got little stories throughout the entire image. The only thing, as a, you know, if you're going to enter a commercial, I'm just seeing if I look at the left-hand side of the image, you know, I see real good, you know, uh, up and down straight lines, you know. And then on the right side, I'm seeing just a little bit of keystoning on, the, on that brick wall. So just, you know, when you're doing entering things in the commercial category, you know, just watch out for those. Um, the presentation, uh, I'd almost like to see a little more presentation. I think, you know, it, it gives it kind of a, a tightness feel to the image. So just a little more space on the presentation. Um, I think the color has gone to a, a kind of a, a gray color. I, I think it would try to match the the interior of the, 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 the main subject that you have here and maybe brought it down a little bit darker. Give, you know, better separate. Hey, anybody else? All right, nice image. Next up. Polar Factory Transformation, 80. All right, Miss Carrie. Yeah, uh, nice inside of the building of this commercial image. Uh, a hard time of day and a hard location to photograph, I think. You know, we've got the different color lighting going on here. When I look at the uh, lights that are all the way to the left in the upper left-hand corner, and then we've got the circular lights going on in the uh, right-hand side of the image, you know, to me, that's a little bit difficult. Um, I think maybe a little bit different time of day when the outside was a little bit darker, I think would en enhance this a little bit. Uh, this floor is super hard with the reflections on there. So I don't know if those can be the reflections of all this uh, different lighting patterns can be uh, toned down a little bit. To, but to me, those were a little bit distracting. And then I'd also watch, um, you know, the wide angle. You have a little bit of distortion going on in the lens uh, in the sides there. We look at the chairs way on the left are starting to get a little bit wide as well as the light bulbs getting just a little bit uh, cockeyed looking from the lens distortion going on there. All right, any other comments? All right, next up. Kohler Factory Transformation scored an 80. Come on, I'm clicking. Mm -hmm. Yes. Come on. I think this is the image that you're on. I think we we need to go to Prague uh, Grand Convergence. Okay, that one's not clicking. Do we need to go back to it? Do we need to mark it or? No, I, I think Carrie just spoke about Color Factory Transformation. Yeah, yes. <laughs> you did, so you did. Okay, let's move on then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's after lunch, you guys. It's been a long two days. Prague Grand Convergence, 81. You can fire me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, Joe, why don't you take this one? Yeah, 81, Merit. Uh, congratulations to Merit. Really pretty architectural image here, you know. First of all, you, you have this great location that the photograph. You have a pretty much a, a, a big challenge so far as exposures because you've got, you know, the foregrounds getting one light. You've got those lamps in there. Um, the lamps are a little bit blown out. I realized there wasn't a whole lot that you could do about it. I think overall, the image could probably have been taken down just a little bit darker. But wow, we've got such great leading lines to this. We've got the staircase leading down, and then we've got the red carpet leading up, and then the, the stairs, you know, all these repeating lines and everything. Great symmetry throughout the entire image. I don't see any, you know, keystoning. Uh, great tonal texture, interplay of tones. Um, just a great location that you found, and I think you just really did a really nice job photographing. Yeah. Anyone else have a comment? I yeah. One little, just take it I, down a little bit. Yeah, I have one little comment too. Is uh, one thing I noticed is the different color lighting temperatures. I'm assuming there was daylight at your back, uh, the the maker's back when you photographed this, uh, just because the blue light that's coming in from the sides on the 
uh, spindles there, I think have a blue tone to it where everything else has such a warm tone to it. So maybe working on the color balance a little bit more on those areas. All right, next up. Royal Landing Pad scored an 82. All right, Adelpha. All right, well, 82, Hamira, congratulations. Um, let me take a look at this. I wasn't, I, I wasn't able to judge this, so give me one second. All right, uh, you know, very majestic looking um, area, like you were able to capture the grandiose of, of, of that area. So that was kind of cool. Um, I feel that the back the background to start with the presentation i feel like that that uh, purplish color the the gray tonality maybe uh, too warm that you um, chose for that background is not adding to it i think it's competing with the image and the white stroke line i would love to see it and keep in mind it's just my opinion i would love to see it a little bit thinner and less uh, competing less with the image um, the other thing is, I feel that this got presented way too bright, a little bit, um, a little bit darker would probably give this a little bit more impact. However, when you do that, um, be very careful and check the sky because I can see in the sky. I mean, in appearance, at least um, I can see the a little bit of uh, computer noise coming in, not quite banding, but almost getting there. So if you decide to make this a little bit darker, do keep in mind that this is gonna affect your sky and be aware of that. All right, anybody have anything else? All right, next up. Implosion scored an 82. All right, Joe. Yeah, implosion, uh, great story, you know. Uh, Merit image, uh, day of destruction with the, the building next door. You know, uh, first of all, great timing on this, you know, where the, the building is just starting to fall apart. You know, if you would have you know, photographed it before, a little bit too later, I don't think we would have had a, the feeling that we have here. We can just start to feel the girders or whatever that the supports just starting to crumble. We've got the smoke coming out. Um, nice commercial image. You know, I'm looking around. If, if anything, I think we could have taken this down just a little bit darker. Uh, we've got good detail of those the tans and whites there. Uh, the building, you know, the, the uh, glass of the building in the, in the foreground, especially, I think this could have been taken down a little bit darker. And that would have helped your sky, too. You know, I realize that you have, you're kind of the victim of, you know, the sky that you had to work with that day. But I think that you could have brought that down a little bit darker. But, you know, we go through the image of that, you know, commercial image. Everything's nice and straight. Of course, that building's, you know, all upside because it's imploding. But the building on the left, we've got good straight lines. And, you know, everything in the foreground, we've got, you know, good, you know, foreground, middle ground, background. So, you know, overall for the event that you're photographing, I think you did a really nice job. All right. Anyone else? All right. Next up. Three years of building scored a 79. All right. Carrie. All right, give me a second to take a look here. Three years of building. All right, so for me, this is a beautiful time of day to photograph this. We've got just the right uh, tonality in the sky and then in the building uh, itself. So a, a couple of the things that I would think about for a commercial image like this, I'm assuming you're working with the uh, owners of the building and I would make sure that all those lights are on inside. I'd like to say, you know, we've got a lot of lights that are off. Uh, and in a commercial spot like this, turning those lights on, I think would would help it. I also feel we have a little bit of um, keystoning going on with this building, especially mostly on the right hand side there, that second tower on the right hand side uh, leans a little bit to our right. So I think those things for me is what's keeping it back from uh, becoming a merit, but uh, beautiful time of day and a nice uh, attempt at this. All right, anybody else? All right, next up. Astral Cube Art. Astral Art Cube, 78. <laughs> uh, Joe, you want to take this one? Um, let somebody else take this. All right. Okay. Uh, Adela, are you okay to take this one? Be happy to. Okay, did you say it was 78? 78. 
Yes. Okay. So, um, I mean, ni nice chat, a nice idea. Um, I love the, the colors of that little cube all around it. Um, however, I feel that the issue that we have over here uh, is lighting. You know, it's like the lighting coming from the left that was like so bright and I understand that you are photographing a very um, a very bright and, and um, metal, so which is gonna be difficult to begin with, but all those hard shadows that you are getting in the in the floor or in the table, whatever this is, all those hard shadows are competing with the cube, and uh, the the third, the upper right is very dark and very definite, but then the left is so light that it almost appears like it's losing some details on the white over there on the left upper part, and then the bottom one is half dark has light which is is leaving me leaving any mind confused when you look at it also um this is a very busy subject i will would love to see a background that will be a little bit less clean and less um com comparative to the subject that's all i got all right uh, yeah my comment on this i think that I would go back and consider having my background and my floor all be the same, like like either all white. I think having that textury background and then the floor there is competing against the beautiful cube itself. And just having that solid background, I think would have really helped give the pop and brought the the attention to the cube, which is the commercial piece that we are photographing. All right, next up. Hey, thanks for translating, Jessica. Okay. <laughs> Evan Flo, 85. And we are moving into the illustrative category. All right. Okay. All right, Joe, how about this one? Yeah, 85. Excellent. Congratulations. Uh, really kind of a, a, a kind of, I would say something that we probably see all day, but we don't see it, you know, like this. You know, we've got Evan Flo. We've got a really great flow to this image, you know, with the treatment we've, we've given, uh, whether it's a painter or some other. You know, we've added some brush strokes. I really like the movement of the image. It all just kind of swirls around and leads right into the beginning, uh, the middle of the image. Um, all right, so the outside edges, we've got those little pieces of little light of the flower. Really beautiful image. Um, just watch some of your areas. You're getting a little close to blowing out those highlights. So right on the edge, but you know, just address those if you plan on sending this on later. Um, the presentation is, is clean and simple. You know, I don't think there's anything. Watch that vignette a little bit on the on the lower left hand corner. Maybe try to bring a little bit of detail out, but really kind of a really nice abstract feel to this image. Yeah, very cool. Anybody else? All right, next up. Guardians scored an 81. You okay to take that one, Carrie? Oh, I didn't hear you. I think you must have cut out for a minute. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I was my thinking. internet keeps dropping a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Guardian. Yeah, I'll take this one. Um, great storytelling image that we've got here. Uh, so we definitely have impact with what we have going on just because of the story. We've got, I'm guessing it's a mother and daughter and the mother is trying to guard her daughter. So if that's not the story, I apologize to the maker, but that's the story I am reading into it. So nice storytelling, very creative. Uh, we've got nice creativity, nice style. I like the central composition in this and the color balance. Uh, to me, I think the only things that could be improved, I was a little bit bothered by the light, bright white light in the middle. Um, I'm just not sure what that gives to it other than it makes me want to look at the leaf instead of at our subjects. Uh, and then the same thing with that dot of white up in the upper left hand corner. So perhaps that was intentional to help you to move through the image. But to me, it was a little bit 
uh, less helpful, you know, as far as the rest of the image is concerned. Uh, be careful with the overlapping texture on their skin. Um, I like all the texture that's going on and I just don't want their skin to look too uh, bruised up or muddy looking. So maybe lowering the opacity on the texture of their skin. The feet have a little bit of gray tone. I know overall we've got a lot of brown tones in there. It's kind of a brown and gray mix, but uh, to me, the feet are coming through just a little bit too much gray and but overall congratulations on a beautiful creative image yeah and the only other comment i would make is i think those feet need a little more shadowing to give them more grounded they they tend to i kind of get a feel especially the mom's feet that she's kind of floating so mm -hmm. i would i would i would look at the, i would address that all right next up atlas scored an 80 all right joe yeah, Atlas, uh, really nice image, very, you know, kind of a fine art approach to a, a not your typical portrait of a man. Um, I like the, the, the pose that you've collected here, you know, the, the way his arms swoop back, it gives a, the, the impression of a lot of power to the image. Um, the, the highlights on his back, I think, are nice. Where we start to lose the image, you know, the top image, top of the image, like from his, his neck, by base of his neck back is, is really nice but we start to lose so much detail in the image you now especially on the shoulders um the top of the shoulders you know both left and right so we need to get some lighting in there just a little bit so that we get a little more definition there and the same thing's happening you know to, down to the bottom of the image where the legs you know we've he's got his crisscross legs and everything which we you know we can see but we're really losing detail in the legs. They've really gone very black. Um, so I would just, you know, try to address that. If you have the opportunity in the studio to do something like this again, just watch your lighting and that you've got good definition. You know, I realize that you're going for a, a very creative, impactful image, but we still want to see a little bit of detail in the bottom. Great. Any other comment? Yeah, one more comment. I want to commend the maker on the position of the head. You look at how it's placed uh, in between the legs there, and that couldn't have been easy. So uh, congratulations on that. Yeah. All right, next up. Watchful Winter Stallion scored an 85. All right, Adelpha. All right, so 85. Congratulations. That is awesome. And this is like a very nice painted image. Uh, the the maker, beautiful, beautiful job. I mean, eighty five is 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 really awesome. So what can we do? As you can tell, I love this image. But what can we do to? Um, what could could we have done to make this image a little bit stronger? Um, the upper part of the image, you know, the head, the mane, the tail. Uh, totally in love with that. Now the bottom part of the image when it comes to where the where the horse is or the, the stallion is standing on this what appears to be a rock or something like that is like there is not enough shadows in the in to ground to ground this beautiful animal to where it, it is standing. And um the rock is like very very strong in in some areas and it started disappearing perhaps and it softened out perhaps a little bit too fast because the back of the horse is still um is still sharp and then the floor is just starts disappearing perhaps too fast for me the other thing is um you know the presentation i know i i love it but i feel like it's almost too big and too large and too strong and it takes away from, from the stallion. Other than yeah. that, great image. All right, any other comments? It is a beautiful image. All right, next up. Perfect line scored an 85. All right, Joe. Uh, 85, you know, excellent category. Um, wow, timing, timing, timing. You know, this has got so much impact going for it. And these things are hard to photograph because they're really moving fast, you know. So I'm seeing, you know, pretty good, good sharpness throughout. I like the position that you, you, you photograph, like I said, you know, that that, that perfect moment of, of capture, you know, where each of the nose of the plane is just touching the other. So really great impact. I really like the, the panoramic uh, that you've chosen here. You know, I can't fault anything with the actual capture. Um, 
it's sharp. I'm looking at the smoke. I'm going through the smoke. Um, I think one of the comments I think was the judging panel was it they felt that the the smoke was a little crunchy. I don't know. I'm not seeing that. You know, smoke. You know, as air shows go on, you know, longer in the day, you know, the the air gets a little dirty from all the smoke. So I I think you've done a nice job there. And it was good. You know, I like the, the composition you have here. We've kind of moved them to that that front third here. And I think the the presentation that you picked also worked out really well. So really nice image. Congratulations on excellent image. All right. Any other comment? All right. Next up. Forgotten Beauty 78. Carrie. I would rather have somebody else give the uh, critique on this. I know the maker, so oh, yeah. <laughs> no, that's fair enough. Yes. Uh, Adelpha, are you okay to critique this one? I would be happy to. Awesome. Okay, okay so a very interesting piece. And um, hold on, did you say this was 85? Did I hear that? Uh, 78. 70, 78. So I was I was thinking like, okay. Um well, forgive me, Maker, if you heard me say 85 and it's actually 78. So, um, but you know, honestly, this has a lot of impact. And when it first came out, it's like, wow, it, what a creative, fresh approach to this. Now, it's very close to a merit. So let's talk about what are the things that could have um, helped. Okay. I believe that the the headpiece, the flowers, is a lot of what was what is making this image. But I feel like the lighting on the image, it, on the flowers, is like too flat. Like it's it's not getting enough direction for me to get the details and the texture on it. It's almost like um, in some areas of the flowers, it's so dark that I don't get the details. I don't get to appreciate the beauty of the flowers and in an other area when you go to the front that rose that is in the forehead of that image and that rose and that white flower over there those two are totally losing details so in one hand some of the areas of the flowers are so dark that i am losing details in the in the black but in another area it's losing details on the white so i feel like this is a great um, idea i would not give it up but I will um, work with the lighting on this and perhaps reprocess or reshoot. And uh, the, the, the wood, the, the figure is so bright um, and flat. The lighting is flat. That's what, that's what is, I'm trying to say. Uh, presentation, the orange line is perhaps too strong for my taste. But this is a great idea, so don't give it up. All right. Any other comments? All right, next up. Pink Perfection, 85. All right, Carrie. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Perfection <laughs> in 85. Uh, beautiful subject matter we have going on. So it definitely has impact uh, with the color balance. I think that the, all the paint gives it that impact. Uh, nice central composition. So that was handled well. The painting technique is handled well. I like the fact that we have some sharper uh, painting lines and focus into the center of this image, and then it fades off a little bit softer all the way on the outside. So uh, I think that was done well, and the background color choice uh, was was right. Couple things to look at. Um, I see, you know, in the painting and the brush strokes on the left hand side, about a quarter of the way down on the image, there seems to be a vertical brush stroke line to me that should be blended just a little bit more because everything else is blended and I don't want to see a line in the background. So that would be one thing to look at. And the other thing is I don't think it needs to have the extra uh, bottom weighted part of the mat there. So I would like to see that mat just a little bit more uh, equal all the way around, but overall, just a beautiful job. Thank you. All right, anybody else? All right, next up. At my command, score to 78. All right, Joe. Yeah, at my command, 78 above average category. Um, Got a, a really nice story going here. It looks like this is a, the princess. It looks like it was a, a possibly a ballet recital. I'm going to assume it's a ballet recital with all the girls surrounded by the prima ballerina in the middle. 
tough lighting conditions to photograph under. Um, I think that's what you're fighting here. You know, we're, we're, we're fighting uh, what I would call stage lights. If we look on the left-hand side, we've got a little bit of a, a, a cast of the girls on, on the left. Um, we've got good density on the girls on the left-hand side of the image. As we move across the image, we're kind of losing, you know, the highlights are really kind of starting to blow out, especially by the time we get to the girl, you know, almost to the end on camera right. So we're losing uh, that. Um, we've got, you know, it looks like stage or, or fog that we're using here. We're getting some crunchies in the background. I like that, it, that it's top weighted. But at the same time, you know, if we look at the bottom, I think it's just too tight. Um, we need some more bottom room to, you know, for, to see where their environment was on the bottom also. And if we follow that, you know, the bottom of the image over, um, we see that kind of like a white fog spot. We're going to take that down a little. Okay. Um, just some, some minor things to address, you know. I know you won't have the opportunity probably to shoot this again, but maybe in a future recital. All right. Any other comments? All right. The next one, please. American Family scored an 81. All right. Adelpha. Okay. Um, 81, Amerit, congratulations. Uh, beautiful still life idea over here. So when I look at this, I am looking at the clock, which is giving me uh, you know, the whole thing is giving me kind of like a triangle look, and it is, and it is kind of cool. You know, the one in the bottom, two on the top is it, it's um, trying to give me a, a very nice composition. the The presentation is awesome. Love the little stripe around and not overpowering. Uh, so let's start with the background. On the right, there has there has a lot of light, and it's pretty even. Towards the left of the background, I start seeing uh, a, a very dark, um, almost like a straight area that is starting to get a color contamination over there, maybe computer noise. So be aware of that, uh, keep an eye on that. Um, the other thing is that when I look at it, the, the clock is very predominant and that's what I can see when I look at the, at the fruit, which I am assuming that is part of what we're selling I don't see I don't see any brightness on it. it. They look dull. They look like a little bit lifeless. And I would love to see the the fruit having a little bit of light on it and maybe a little bit of specularity on it to make sure that I can see the brightness and I can enjoy the richness of the piece. Great image, great idea. All right. Any other comments? All right, next up. Always been a cowboy, 80. All right. <laughs> uh, Carrie. Yeah. Uh, great storytelling image that we have going on here. We tie it in uh, with the title, of course, Always Been a Cowboy leads us on to the story of this man uh, and his horse, and this is his life. So uh, great job on that. Uh, nice job on the merit. Uh, we've got a nice subject matter. The central composition is nice. Maybe it would have been nice to have a little bit more room on the right-hand side to let the horse lead into the uh, image so the horse has somewhere to go instead of dead center. Uh, you know, I, I don't mind it the way it is. Uh, I think for me to get this up to the next merit is... Uh, I, I'm just not sure I'm loving the inconsistency with the subject matter and the background. You know, we've got all the uh, technique that's done on the background to mute the tones and, and fade it off, you know, and it goes all the way around the edges into the dirt. Uh, but then our su center subject is more sharp and more photorealistic. So to me, there's a little bit of a disconnect there. Uh, but overall, a nice art piece. And I'm sure uh, this guy absolutely loved the image. And, and I'll just add one other comment. If you're going to do something like that to your background, just be careful and watch the edges, like uh, notice around his jacket. If you notice there down the jacket and down the arm, you can see where maybe some of the of that was wiped off a little more than others. There's just a bit of a ghosting going on around the arms of the jacket. So just pay attention to that as well. All right, next up. River Through Hell scored an 80. Hey, Joe. 
River Through Hell, Haiti. Uh, you know, this really does give the impression of hell. Um, kind of an abstract here, you know, um, we don't really see any one particular thing, you know, to lock our focus on. But what we're buying into, and I think the merit is for the storytelling that we have here. Um, we've got good use of, you know, we've got a heavy, you know, foreground. The middle ground is a little bit sharper. And then we've got these flames that kind of uh, burst off in the background. If anything, the flames are on the left-hand side. We're getting really close to blowing those out. So just watch that. I think maybe a little stronger crop um, looking at it. You know, we've got kind of like these waves. I don't know if it's that lava. We're trying to depict hell. But the bottom of the image, I think we could have lost it. See where that shadow area is on the bottom? I think we could have lost that and still maintained the panel. And I think it still would have had, you know, very, very good impact with, with our cropping that off. I think the dark area is a little bit more of a distraction. But overall, really nice job. Congratulations on the merit. All right. Any other comment? All right. Next. Dahlia Delight, 80. All right. Uh, Carrie. Yeah, another beautiful floral image, delicate delight. Uh, I think this was handled very well. We've got beautiful soft lighting uh, coming in on this image from the top left. And I think the lighting on this is beautiful. A lot of times uh, when people try to photograph something like this, the lighting tends to be a little bit harsh. So I think this was handled very well. Uh, I would say, you know, as far as improving, I would say watch the um, cutouts a little bit on the bottom uh, shadow side of the flower that I feel like the cutouts are a little bit more noticeable than up on the upper left hand side and maybe that has to do with because there's no shadowing on the background. Um, I'm not 100% sure I'm in love with the center uh, ring for the presentation look to it, uh, but that's that's just a taste you know my taste. Uh, one little tiny, tiny, tiny kind of flaw that I see is if we look at uh, right around between eight and nine o'clock, if this were a clock on the outer edge, there's just a little bit of a dip uh, in the in the flower petal there. So just making sure you clean up all those details, uh, you know, something coming out of the edge of that flower uh, that doesn't appear anywhere else on the background. So overall, very nice mirrored image. Any other comment? All right, we can go to the next one. Let me first ask, are my judges, do you need a break? Are we okay? Yes, please. All right, let's take, uh, we can we can just turn our cameras off and then turn them back on when we come back. So audience, we're gonna give the judges a three or four minute potty break real fast. Thank you.
All right, I think we're just waiting for Adelpha and then we'll be ready to get started. Mm -hmm. If I'm looking at this right, we only have 10 more images to go. I don't know if that is correct or not. No. No, that would not be correct. <laughs> no, no, no. No, that's not. Well, it might be, though. No. It's not? No. What am I looking at? That's I'm going, I'm looking at the. I guess I need to. I guess I'm looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> I guess we got about 90. 80 or 90 left, maybe. Yeah. 60. Yeah. Yes, all don't right. don't have right. good lunch. Okay. <laughs> all right. Looks like my team is all here. Uh any, anybody need anything before we jump back in? Nope. All right. Well, let's get busy and uh we're ready to go. Okay. I think we're on um we just did the flower, right? I think we're on all dressed up. Is that right? We haven't done that one, I don't think. So Yeah, we just did the flower. So all dressed up, scored an 82. Last one. The flower was the last one. There you go. That's it. And and what's this one called? All dressed up. And the score? 82. All right. Uh, Joe, I'll let you kick us off here after the break. Um, 82, uh, deserving of a merit. First of all, congratulations on your merit. Um, you know, tough lighting situation to handle with all these different colors, light, all these different densities. Um, I think you've done a really good on the exposure, you know, just going through the image. Um, the other thing, you know, being an old commercial photographer, um, I really like that there's no keystoning in the buildings, especially on the right. And as, as we go through the image, same thing on the left. Um, I like the, the exposure we have in the water. We're kind of losing it a little bit. I think maybe a little bit different crop. I don't think we need all this bottom. Um, maybe crop it up to a little bit, you know, through that green reflection could have given us a little bit, you know, uh, powerful, a little more power to the, the panel. Uh, on the right-hand side, now, I don't know if you maybe did this for a client and you had to show the whole uh, a riverfront or whatever it is. I think you could have also cropped a little bit off the, of the, the right-hand side a little bit. Um, I don't think you could crop anything off the left because we've got that, it looks like, I don't know, that, that string of light, so that's been handled really well. I mean, overall, you know, we've got some really nice colors through the background. has been handled nice. Not a big fan of the double stroke, but that's just, you know, my personal preference. I'll leave that up to you. Um, I think a really nice image, you know, congratulations on the mirror. All right. Any other comments? It's a very nice image. All right, next up. Stairway to Infinity, 85. All right. Uh, Adelpha. Yes, 85. Congratulations. I remember we discussed this one a lot. Um, great image. Um, you know, with all the with all the different curves, you see details uh, throughout the whole image all the way. Um, the one thing that I remember that we were all concerned with was going to the very left to the top. You see a little bit, I don't think it's a smudge. I think it's a shadow, probably something going on, but it appears to be like a smudge. Um, so getting rid of that over there in the corner will definitely uh, help this. Um, over everything, everything in the in the shadows, they look everything looks sharp, but all the shadows look soft. However, when you go to the right, um, which is a good thing, by the way. But when you go to the right, to the pillar on the right that is coming out from the edge over there, you see a definition of a shadow and it goes very, like a circle, it goes very, very strong over there. I mean, that is just a little detail. So but maybe softening that very strong edge over there will, um, will continue the look of this amazing piece. Other than that, I mean, congratulations. I believe this was 85. We all loved it. Um, the presentation, um, I'm not always crazy about white, white presentation, but it works for this one. So congratulations. All right. Any other comments? All right. Next up. Sunset Flyer scored an 80. All right. Carrie. 
Yeah, Sunset Flyer 80. All right, let's take a look at this. This is kind of an interesting image. Uh, you know, I'm trying to decipher uh, what is going on here. I feel a little bit of um, storytelling going on here, you know, flying at sunset. We've got a great subject matter. And uh, I like the plane on the lower third composition. So I think that was handled well. Uh, trying to get this up to the next level. One of the things I notice is uh, when we're looking at the pilots and the windows and we look in front of the first pilot, uh, the background doesn't match what's going on in the rest of the image. So, you know, we've got background behind the pilot in the rear, but then uh, the sky doesn't seem to match behind the pilot in the first. And I don't know if that was something done in post-processing or or why that is, but, uh, you know, to me, that's just a little bit problematic. I like that we can see the rotation of the propeller and so that we know that there's a propeller there and it's a little bit darker. Uh, I think that was nice. And uh, watch up in the clouds, you know, when we start to add uh, some texture and definition and contrast in those clouds, sometimes it pulls out uh, some graininess and some uh, chunkiness in the pixelation and the coloring up there. So I see a little bit of that going on in the upper right hand corner there. So just be careful of that. But uh, overall, it was a nice image to look at. All right. Any other comments? Okay, next up. Red Tree Reflections 79. All right. Adelpha, would you like to take this one? Uh, yes. Um... 79 red tree reflections. Okay, so looking at this over here, uh, 79 is very close to the, you know, very close to the merit. Um, the double keys, you know, is it, it, making it look kind of cool, but I think it's also distracting from the, you know, from the image. The other thing that I am looking at is the reflection is actually really, really cool and it is vibrant and it has a lot of, um, you know, body to it. And then when you go to the flowers or the tree itself, it's looking very opaque. It's almost like two different images and they don't necessarily, um, they don't necessarily um, match. I would love to see a little bit more life on the flowers, a little bit more um, shine uh, perhaps. So it, it just lo it's looking very muted. Where the reflection and the background, the background is, is starch white, where the reflection and the background meet, you see like a line middle to the right, like a line, um, like a very strong line. There is no middle to the left. So that appears to be uh, a technical excellence issue right there in post-production. Um, so when it comes to the bottom part, uh, you know, you you see those waves with it's supposed to be water that is very um, that is very pink. It also feels like a little bit more muted than the rest of the image. Great. All right. Idea, All right. Any other comments? All right. Next up, number thirty-one scored an eighty-one. Joe? 81, deserving of America. Congratulations. Uh, wow, what a nice little slice of life. You know, you know, first of all, my kudos, you know, for, for you know, seeing this and being able to capture it. You know, number 31, you can see where this lady lives upstairs. We got this really great texture. Um, leads right up to her. Gosh, all these like, warm textures around it. The texture on the bottom, the broken door, everything. It's just that's a nice story to it, which is the reason for the mirror. Um, I really enjoy this image. Um, you know, that red shirt just really kind of jumps out. I realize that you didn't have, you know, any control over that. Um, something you just maybe play with just if you turn this on, maybe convert it to black and white, and, and then that way that, that shirt doesn't become so uh, the presentation, I think, it is, is nice. I think it's a little tight. I think we could use a little bit more presentation on it. And I think maybe it's just a little bit too dark. Maybe pick up the warm color and, and bring you know, so the warm color into something just a little bit deeper. Uh, the same thing with the, with the two stroke lines around it. I think that just be distracting element. Overall, you know, really nice image. You know, congratulations. 
Any other comments? All right, next up. Asian Lanterns scored an 82. Carrie. Yeah, I really enjoyed this image uh, during the judging process. Um, and we did talk it a little bit, talk about it a little bit. So uh, first of all, I really enjoyed the composition of this. I like the leading lines going uh, from the upper left down to the lower right, just that angles. Um, and let me say, this is why we have five judges on a panel, because when this image was challenged, uh, some of the judges said they'd prefer it straight and that they didn't like that it was tipped. So again, you know, when we're judging images, it's five people's opinion, you know, and, and different people, different judges have different opinions. So, uh, but I did enjoy the composition of this and the style of this. I love the color harmony of all the different colors in, in this image and the lights coming through. Uh, you know, as far as looking to improve this image, um, the first thing I noticed right away is the orange key line, uh, to me is a little bit distracting. It's a little bit bright. It draws my eyes away from the image. Uh, the second thing I look at is the blue tones on the ceiling. They can be explained. Uh, we decided because of the blue light in the upper corner there, but, uh, I think, you know, maybe if we would have taken the saturation out of the blue there, uh, to keep that into the gray, we wouldn't be looking at those cross beams on the ceiling. We would keep our eyes within, uh, the lanterns themselves. So great job. All right. Any other comments? Yes, the other thing that I wanted to add, I agree with all the comments from Kerry, and uh, all the other thing that I wanted to add, the bottom bottom left, that lantern right next to it, the light seems to be on, but it's no overshadowing that lantern. But then the one in the very very corner is so bright that if you, if you look at the ones the two way to the right, they are the same the same type of lanterns and they have a little bit more of a warm consistency. The one in the left seems to be very, very bright. So maybe putting a little bit more of warmth on top of it to kind of be on, on key with everything else might help just a little. All right, great comments. Next up. Smooth flight, smooth flight over rugged terrain, scored 85. All right. Uh, Joe, can you take this one? Sure. 85. Excellent category. Really nice image. You know, not, not an easy subject. Obviously, you were following, you know, in a in a chase plane or something like that. You know, we photographed this this jet flying over, over the mountains. Really nice detail of the jet. We've got good focus throughout the image. Um, I like the, the background, the F-stop. You know, I'm sure you had to use a high shutter speed, high ISO. But we still, you know, maintain, you know, some depth of field in the background so it didn't go all mushy. Um, I like the tip of the wings. So there was probably a really good communication between you, uh, the photographer and the pilot, so we can get that nice look to the image. Um, if anything, let's see, looking around the plane, I realize that we've got some light, you know, coming from uh, probably above the plane. Some of those highlights are just starting to blow out. That may be something that you can pick you can fix, you can go back and, and reprocess that and bring a little detail in there. Same thing with uh, the, the front nose of the airplane, maybe you know, bring a little bit of brightness out in there. And that the lower mountain underneath the nose of the airplane, I would just probably try to bring some detail. We're all really nice, really nice uh, image, you know, probably would photograph this for a client and I'm sure they really appreciate the image, and, you know, congratulations. All right, any other comments? All right, we'll move to the next one. A trio of tulips, 88. Okay, Adelpha. Hey, I remember. Um, I remember when this one came out. This one was one that had um, a little impact at the beginning, but the more we look at it, the more impact and the more, um, the more we loved it and the more we liked it. So 88 is nothing to... Um, Nothing to be sad about. Congratulations. That is absolutely awesome. Um, so this excellent image, one of the things that um, I, I remember one of the judges was concerned that these, these um, tulips were all too close on distance. They, it would have been nice to have one, of, perhaps the one in the right a lot taller or the one in the left a lot shorter to give a more, um, more dimension and more elegance to the, uh, you know, to the piece. 
Um, the other thing that, uh, for me, however, one of the main things that I was concerned about was there's there seems to be a vignette going around the piece, and the vignette is turning a little bit grayish, which is not in key with the rest of the warm image. So kind of making sure that that vignette is not so noticeable, uh, perhaps is something that, on my um, humble opinion, will um, elevate this image. Other than that, I mean, I don't know how do you fix something that is amazing. Um, there is on the background, there is a little bit, uh, kind of like a um, a couple of inches coming down from the left, that corner. The texture is very strong. There is some some texture that is looking almost like a light, like toning down or, or uh, softening down those textures. Um, same thing with the texture that is all the way in the bottom, almost touching the table. Uh, that one is turning a little bit grayish. Those are just, I mean, I'm being very picky just because this is an amazing image and I think uh, those little details might improve it. All right, any other comments? I'll just come in to make her on the lighting on the flowers. It's just gorgeous. All right, next. Streaking Blues, 81. Okay, Kira, you wanna take this one? Yeah, sure. Um, what a fun image, Streaking Blues. We've got uh, a nice composition going on here, the nice leading lines. I like the diagonal uh, crop of this, you know, turning in and it scored a merit. So congratulations to you. Uh, as far as moving forward, uh, one little uh, problematic area that I see technical excellence wise is around uh, some of the uh, tips of the noses, I see it on the second one from the top and then on the bottom one for sure. Uh, there's a little bit uh, darker blue area. And so I'm not sure what that's caused from, uh, if it's caused from the saturation or something like that. I do feel that the blues are very saturated, maybe almost a little bit too much because uh, it, it it's a little bit too dark when when it comes around or too striking when it comes around so uh but beautiful job well done uh nice composition nice subject matter and uh great job on the merit any other comment all right next up ready to venture scored an 82 joe uh 82 deserving of a merit really creative you know uh, ready to venture you know she's got her bags packed She's got this world up here. So first of all, you know, you know, congratulations, you know, very creative image, you know, a very different approach to, uh, well, you know, I'm going to say maybe this is possibly a high school senior getting ready to, to travel out to the world. Um, just looking through the image, you know, looking at the lighting on her face, I think we could have brought the lighting on her face a little bit down a little bit, maybe a little bit more separation on, on the hair, at, at the, especially at the top. With a good detail, you know, through through the body of the image, the lace and the boots. The boots drop off a little bit dark, but um, that doesn't bother me too much. One of the things that bothers me, I guess, a little bit was, is the incongruent lighting on this, whatever this is in the background, this world thing. On the, on the left above the world, you know, it's kind of light. And then over here on the other side, it's very dark. So maybe just try to balance those out a little bit. I, you know, I think that the circular, you know, image that we have put in on, on the map where I think kind of works. It's a, like I said, it's a very different, uh, very contemporary feel to a high school senior portrait. So, you know, well done. All right. Any other compliments? All right. Next up. Uh, three, two, one, scored an 81. All right. Adelpha, you want to take this? Uh, yes, um, you know when this image first came out, the impact is amazing. It's, it's really and it's very, it's really awesome and it's very clever. The um, the title <laughs> three to one, self explanatory there. Um, let's start with uh, you know the the lineup of, of the plane was absolutely awesome. The details on the white was was really really nice. Um, Enough saturation, but not so saturated that makes us um, second guess ourselves. So very, very, very good job. Um, the presentation, uh, I feel like it's way too blue, like way too dark, like it's claiming attention from, from the plane. So perhaps tone that down a little and keep in mind that it's just my opinion. 
um, Tonda down a little so it doesn't compete with the planes. The one main thing is if you look at the, at the at three, two, one, so if you look at the three, the bottom three, where the nose of the bottom three is pointing straight on, there is a sensor dot over there. There is a, a, a little dark dot that is that needs to be removed that can be cleaned up. Other than that, I mean, congratulations. This is a great image. All right, any other comments? Okay, next. Three of everything, 81. Harry. Very interesting. Uh, it took me a minute to understand the title. We've got the number three, the three panes of glass in the window, the three uh, trim pieces on each door, you know, so three of everything. What a fun little uh, section of architecture that uh, is, is just fun to look at and fun to see. Uh, so let's talk about what it is that could be a little bit different or a little bit better about this. Uh, when I look at the door, um, the first thing I notice is we're just not quite 100% centered to the door. So we have a little bit more uh, of the, you know, if we would have moved a couple inches to the left, I think that would help. Uh, the foreground to me, I think, is an important part of the story, and it kind of goes a little bit dark and dingy looking, so I would try to brighten up that uh, that foreground a little bit so it kind of blends up and, and into the um rest of the image so it's not as dark and then uh maybe try a little bit different color matte on this the brown tone to me is uh, not quite enhancing this image the way I think it should be, but, uh, you know, the impact of the story that we have going on here, three of everything, I like how you tied that into the title, and it's got some nice color balance in it and a fun uh, technique storytelling to it, so good job. All right, any other comments? All right, next. Organized Pandemonium 77. Okay, Joe, you want to take this? Sure. Organized pandemonium. You know, uh, we, you know, very creative, you know, looks like a water drop that we've, we've done here. Uh, we've got a lot of things going on right here. The, the, the biggest issue I'm kind of seeing is not enough sharpness. I know that these, you know, I have not done this type of photography, but they are very difficult. Um, we've got some good details in the water drop that's around, but, but we'll kind of seem to be lacking focus throughout the entire image. And not only that, you may have um, had to photograph this at a, at a pretty high ISO or whatever. We've really introduced a whole lot of noise into the image. Um, if you want to move this particular image forward or, or another image like that, just watch the noise. There's plenty of programs up there that really handle the noise really well now. Um, so, so look into that. Um, I would crop probably a little bit of the bottom off. I don't think you know, where we've got the discolorization kind of on the right-hand side, which I realize is the water. I don't think that's necessary. That's, that's become a, a distraction. As far as presentation goes, you know, I think the green, the green stroke line is a little uh, distracting, as well as the background here. We, you put it on a gray. There's really, I don't really see any kind of gray or blue in the actual image. So that really kind of competes with your image. You know, when you do composition or a presentation like this, you want to find a, a color that, you know, complements the image. So maybe picked up, you know, maybe one of those darker greens or something like that. Okay. All right. Any other comments? All right. The next one, please. Willie Nilly scored 82. All right. Uh, Carrie? Yeah. Uh, Willy nilly. I'm glad you uh, put that title in there because it makes you take a second glance and realize that this airplane is upside down. So uh, great, uh, you know, capture with the image upside down. I like that the background is it looks like it has both some motion blur in it as well as depth of field uh, blur in it. So I think that was well done. Uh, you know, nice uh, sharpening that we've got going on the plane. It looks nice and metallic. Uh, the only uh, suggestion I would have, and, and maybe you have to keep your aperture low to keep that shutter speed high, but uh, a little bit greater depth of field so the front wing doesn't go out of focus would be a little helpful. And to me, the presentation is a little bit bold and takes away, but uh, overall, some great storytelling going on, uh, great subject matter, and so well done. All right, any other comments? All right, our next one. 
Cloak and Dagger scored 79. Okay, Delphi. Um, yes, I remember judging this. Would you tell me the name of it again? Cloak, Cloak and Dagger. Cloak yeah. and Dagger. Yes, I remember. Okay. So 79, I remember we discussed this one uh, because there was a lot of things that we love about this and there were some things that had us concerned. Um, the one thing that we love was the composition and uh, the, the contrast of the, of the petal or the flower with the background was really, really awesome. Um, we were concerned about the, the, the certain areas that were supposed to be, this is painted, but it was supposed to be painted a little bit more um, sharp and, and it's, it has a lot of softness all around. Um, my main concern was where that red, uh, the middle of the flower with that red, um, I don't think it's called petal, but whatever that uh, part of the flower that is red or maroon coming up, all around it, it has a white halo on it. So that that makes it that makes it um, an issue with the technical excellence and uh, also if you follow um, that curve on the top to the right there is some green contamination that i believe they it will have been painted from the background into the flower which it will create an issue um and uh, that kind of also happened on the second part of the petal on the right you know, that part was painted very soft, but it also almost appears like that green from the background is coming into the flower. Um, my main concern, however, was the bottom of this background. It looks like it has a lot of banding, uh, computer uh, or pasteurization, some computer stuff going on over there. The presentation, actually, I thought it was very nice. It went very well with this image. And um, I mean, this is this is a, a very cool and creative idea, a simple subject made into a little bit of an, a beautiful art piece. So congratulations, and that's all I got. All right, any other comments? All right, next up. Frozen, score 80. All right, uh, Joe? Yeah, Frozen, uh, 80, a deserving of America. Congratulations, I remember this image. Wow, we're, what a neat little environmental piece. It looks like we're in, in an ice cave. And I really like, you know, we've got all these textures going in here. Really great leading lines with the, with the ice on the right-hand side. I love the fact that we've got that, that light coming down from, from her, you know, lighting up where she, where she or he is standing. Uh, I like the pano version of this because it really gives a, a, a sense of, of size of this, this ice cave and where this person's standing. Um, if you're going to move this forward a little bit, um, some things, I would probably crop off just a little bit of the bottom. The bottom's really going dark. If we follow that really big boulder on, on kind of the rock on the right-hand side, I think we could crop up to that and still maintain that really nice panel look and maybe get a little more detail you know, at the bottom of the image. Same thing over on the left. Um, if we crop off some of that, or we're going to have to you know, lighten that up and bring some detail in. Um, uh, really nice, strong, I think, like I said, a very creative image. I'm looking through the top of the image. We've got that really strong kind of a dark spot. I realize that that's a light and shadows on the ice. Mm -hmm. I would probably lighten that really dark area just a little bit, you know, not not real light, but just to get a little bit more detail in there. But congratulations, nice image. All right. Any other comments? All right. Next up. Media Muse, 81. Okay. Yes, um, Meet Your Muse, I understand is the title. Media Muse, M-U-S-E, Muse, <laughs> 81. Thank you. Um, okay, so 81, so Amara, congratulations. Uh, this, is, this is a very, um, very cool idea using like a magazine to make these girls dress. So that was kind of, that's kind of cool. Um, I love the concept, um, the, the very black presentation um, emphasizes how some of these, um, some of the photo looks kind of like milky and a little bit uh, on the grayish side. 
like for example one of the things that we could do to improve is i don't know what's going on with on the neck if it's because of the lighting but the face has very strong lighting and uh, you know lighting uh camera left mask for the face and lighting the mouth and the chin strongly and then it comes to that very strong and it looks sharp and i see details and then on the neck on the then it, then it goes very, very soft and very, very smudged to the point that it, the neck almost blends with the background. So that inconsistency over there is having me um, second guessing and trying to figure out, you know, what is going on over here. Um, also, it has like a dark smudge on top of that neck underneath the ear that I don't think, it doesn't appear like it's hair. But anyways, um, also, the resolution of this image it seems to be very, very low. So giving it a, a problem with uh, with a lot of pixelation. So keep an eye on that. Double check and see if this is an idea that you can um, recreate. And the darks in those trees, on those bushes in the back, is losing a lot of detail. So those are little things that it could be fixed to improve this image. But this is a very cool and creative idea. Any other any other comments? All right, we're ready for the next one. Sailor's Delight 76. All right, Carrie? Yeah, Sailor's Delight. Uh, Pink Sky at Night, Sailor's Delight. So I like the title that we have going on uh, with the storytelling of this image. We've got a lot of uh, busyness going on and um, you know, just overall, it's a fun scene and a fun subject matter to photograph. So uh, as far as, uh, you know, not making it into the merit category, I'm a little bit concerned about the front bow on the camera right. To me, that's primary, uh, you know, closest to the camera subject, and it seems to not quite be softly focused. We're starting to lose some sharpness in there. So I would be careful on that. The sharpness seems to be falling uh, a little further back into the left. Uh, on this image. Maybe cropping out a little bit of the foreground would make the composition of this a little bit stronger. And then again, I would watch a little bit of the technique. When I look at the uh, sail bows, I'm not sure what they're called, where the sails hang from on the boats, uh, especially the ones all the way to the right, they start to have a softness and a, a fuzziness that's kind of spilling off over into the sky there a little bit. So a little bit of technical excellence problems with this, but uh, great storytelling image and uh, the color tonality of this gives it some impact. Any other comments? All right, we're ready for our next one. Urban Movements 85. Okay, Joe. 85, well, congratulations, excellent category. Wow, you know, I really like what you've done here. We've got some intentional camera movement. I'm gonna guess it looks like it's a vertical, been done vertically, you know, from top to bottom. And we've so we've taken a, an ordinary street scene. We can see some of the elements and it looks like we've got like a street sweeper here. You know, there's a gentleman there with a broom and a, and a dustpan type thing. So we've got this very unique, you know, presentation or interpretation or just a, a street scene that you would see every day. So congratulations. A uh, very creative, you know, the composition is nice. Um, if we look over, the only thing I can say that kind of jumps out at me that it just needs to be addressed is on the right-hand side where the areas are really, really kind of bright. Maybe tone those down just a little bit. Um, but otherwise, very creative image presentation. It, it really kind of clean, simple, like the stroke line, everything about that. Uh, really nice image. Congratulations. All right. Any other any yeah. other comments? All right. We're ready for the next one. A song of remembrance takes flight. Take flight. I've got a little one over it, so I can't see if it's take or takes. But <laughs> song of remem remembrance take flight. I think scored eighty. Is anybody else seeing it yet? No. Nope. Sorry, it's a little delay. There, yes, there, we, go. there we go. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Carrie, you want to take this one? Yeah, this is a fun, creative image. It definitely has an impact. You know, we all like to be uh, patriotic. So uh, the subject matter 
uh, with the patriotism and, you know, what she's got going on in the story here, uh, to me is done very well. A couple of things that I think of, I like the creativity of the music turning into the birds. And I like the fact, uh, you know, to me, it's uh, a fun, creative choice to do the uh, opacity getting stronger as the bird flies off, like it's kind of coming from her and soft and it's spreading out and it's getting uh, bigger and louder. And I'm moving my hands as I talk, like you could see me <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> you know. So a couple of things that I think of is the key tonality of her shirt compared to everything else we've got going on here. Uh, you know, maybe this concept wasn't thought of before shooting, uh, before photographing the senior. Uh, but to me, I think this would have been a lot stronger of an image had the tonality of her shirt uh, matched what we have going on in the background. So a navy shirt, uh, something in the, you know, grayer, redder tones, you know, something along that lines, I think would have uh, been a little bit stronger. Uh, as far as the lighting goes, I think she has some beautiful lighting on her face. I would watch uh, the brightness of her hand uh, that's playing on the bow of her violin there or viola. I'm not sure which instrument that is. So just watching that. But I think we have a nice direction of light uh, coming in. Uh, you know, I look at the shape and uh, on the end of the tip of the violin there that's that's hanging out into the image and uh, just done beautifully, uh, you know, as far as the lighting and the shape of that goes. So, uh, you know, nice presentation, a fun image uh, with some creativity to it. So good job. All right. Awesome. Any other comments? All right. Are my judges okay before we keep going? We yep. can. All right. We are ready for the next one. Officer, office with a office, <laughs> office with a corner view. Easy for me to say. Seventy nine. Office with a corner view. All right, uh, Joe. Sure. Office with a corner view. Seventy nine, just short of the merit category. Um, really like some of the things that we've done here. We've got, you know, this kind of. Uh, it, it's not a com typical commercial shot. We've got kind of an abstract with the tilt of the building. Uh, going up to the sky. I'm looking through here. We've got good depth of field, you know, say from the bottom to the to the top, good sharpness throughout the image. I think what you're finding here, you know, is is kind of time of day, you know, maybe go back and photograph this at another day. We've got a little bit more interesting sky. Our sky kind of disappears and it's kind of just kind of this muddy gray. I realize, you know, it's a black and white, but still, you know, we've got no texture and no definition to the sky. Uh, I think the presentation is nice. We've got kind of a, a fine art look to it, you know, with the mat and everything. Um, the, the front of the building, maybe brighten that up just a little bit so we had a little more, a little more pop. It. I think maybe overall that, that maybe that's what would happen. Just give it a little more snap, a little more contrast to the image, and that might snap it up a little bit. It might also clean up the sky for where the sky was a little bit whiter too and maybe, you know, push it over into that very Overall, you know, a, a really nice job on on this particular image and just maybe with a few tweaks, you know, on this particular image, you know, pushing it to the merit category. All right. Any other comments? It's nice. All right, everybody, let's go to the next one. Mira Mira 79. Okay. Adelpha? Yes. Okay, so... um. 79, uh, great image. Uh, somebody sure likes to have fun with these planes. Um, 79 is very close to a merit. So let's take a look at this. One of the things that I, I am looking at, by the way, the presentation, very nice. It doesn't take away, uh, it doesn't take away from the image and it goes very, very well with the color key going on here. Um, when we look at the, at the two planes over here, I think that what we got going on is that the planes are like muted. Like, I don't know if they were burned down just to make sure that, that they will not be too bright, but I think we perhaps went too far on the muted. Like they, instead of white or cream, I believe they are white, they look kind of like, like, like duty. And if you look at all around the plane, especially the one in the bottom, uh, you see a little white halo going around the plane, especially the part that, that's supposed to be red. And, and I believe it's supposed to be red, but it's, it's looking more like pink. It almost like it got 
it gives the appearance like almost like uh, the maker worked too hard to burn this down and that uh, took it too far. If you look at the sky uh, on front of the tupper plane to the left, I see something going on, like the highlights got turned down, but I see something going on um, with the technical excellence aspect where I can see um, like, uh, I don't think it's computer banding. I think it's when we burn things and we leave an age with the computer over there. If somebody has a name for that, please say it. But that there's something going on that we can see over there. So overall, a great idea. Um, uh, technical excellence is missing a little bit. All right. Any other comments? All right. Next one. Little memories are heaviest. 79. Okay. Carrie. All right. Taking a look at this uh, image here because there's a lot going on. Little, repeat the title for me a minute. Little memories are heaviest. Okay. So we definitely have a lot of creativity and storytelling going on, part of the 12 elements. Uh, the style of this image has done really well. Uh, with the uh, tonalities, the color balance, you know, we've got a lot of the creative emotional side of uh, the image in this. So uh, as far as um, what to do to improve this, you know, I look at that strong light that's coming in on our subject matter, you know, wondering, you know, it's shining on the top of our hair, shining on the uh, side and we've got such a painted look and then such a harsh line there so i think you know the lighting on this was was hard to paint in there in a way that doesn't make it look choppy and and cut uh as far as that goes it looks like i think what i'm seeing and i'm sorry if i'm wrong but it looks like she's starting to disintegrate with the dirt and stuff falling down uh you know and, and so what's happening is in the her body should be blocking some of that light because the light is coming from the back side of her body, but yet it's highlighting all the uh, parts that's disintegrating and falling to the ground. Whereas if that were in reality, the light wouldn't be shining on those. So uh, maybe that was a problem with the lighting, you know, kind of tying this all together in a theme, but oh man, you know, I wish I could create something this cool because the uh, impact of this and the idea of this is very, very exciting. Any other comments? All right, we're ready for our next one. Oh, hold on, let me move it over. Uh, broken, scored 80. Okay, all right, Adelpha? Yes, 80 is a merit, congratulations. So a uh, very simple, subject matter over here the um the maker turned this into a merit so congratulations i mean job well done when it comes to that um you know so things that we could do to improve that well it feels like there is a you know there is almost like a tunnel of light coming in uh straight from the top but then when it comes to the bottom of the chair I feel that the light part is too light. Like everything else, the, the two dark tunnels on the side are so dark, they lose all detail, which it makes it feel less believable. And then when you come to the chair that is broken, it's so bright, so bright, so bright, that the, the shadows are, uh, um, like once again, you lose details of the shadow. And if you look at the bottom of the chair in the bottom to the right, where the legs are pointing, the tunnel of light that is coming straight from the top, it curves over there toward the chair, which uh, I don't I don't understand why. So there is, I think, I think when it comes to to the execution of this and the technical um, excellence, I think if we play more with the with the light and the shadows and Perhaps the light is too light and the dark is too dark. I think that that would be um, that would be helpful. Plus, that stroke line, that white stroke line, is uh, pulling too much attention. That's all I got. All right. Any other comments? Okay, we're ready for the next one. 
Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Score to 77. Okay, Joe, you want to take this one? Sure, 77. Um, top in or middle of above average category. So let's take a look through the image. You know, I think we've, we've got an interesting story going here. We've got this, this gentleman here, you know, against this really dark background. So he stands out really well. A lot of textures and there's a lot going through the image. And I think, you know, that may have kept it out of the merit category. I think maybe with a different prop, I like the top of the image, you know, with, with those features that we have in the architecture, all the tones that we have on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. We've got a lot of different colors going in here. Um, I think we could uh, do with the crop off the bottom, um, just beyond, just below where the letters are, with that, that part of the structure. I don't think that the very bottom of that image is really necessary. That doesn't add anything to it. And I think that will, will draw our eye even more to where this gentleman is. You know, kudos for, you know, walking by this scene and seeing him. And I like the placement where you put him. You put him, you know, kind of, if we crop it a little bit off the bottom too, we'll even push him more to, you know, that that third in, in that position. Uh, the presentation, um, I'm not sure that little gray uh, piece there helps you a little bit. And the same thing with that really stark white, you know, uh, presentation board. I would probably pick one of the, the tones, you know, one of the darker tones, you know, from the, the architecture in there and put it on that and, and burn that down a little bit, you know, something a little bit darker. You know, the white, in this particular case, I realize it's kind of a fine art presentation, but in this case, the white, white really just pulls your all right, any other comments? All right, we're ready for the next one. Stack chairs as found, 79. Carrie, can you repeat the title again? Stack chairs as found. Stacked chairs, okay. That's what I thought it said, and then I didn't see the chairs, and all of a sudden I did see the chairs, so I understand that now. Uh, yeah, very interesting. This is a nice graphic uh, piece. You know, when I look at this image and I look around in it and uh, see all the different curves and the lines, it's got a great composition to it. I like the angles that they've chosen for this. Uh, an interesting subject matter that, uh, you know, is something that we wouldn't see. A uh, couple of things I think that could uh, help improve this image is, uh, you know, we really start to lose some lighting uh, in the corners and then we've got some super areas that are uh, overly highlighted. So toning down those highlights on that chrome uh, and then bringing out some of those details in that uh, corner and that V on the right hand side where we start to lose it into the shadow, uh, I think would be helpful to this. Um, another thing that I want to say is when you're photographing something shiny like this, make sure you wipe off, uh, the, the Chrome, uh, right now it looks like it's got a bunch of fingerprints and things like that, uh, on it. So for future reference, you know, before you push that button, just, uh, make sure that Chrome is all wiped clean and, and not, uh, fingerprinted looking, uh, watch out for the. Uh, key line being too bright, I think a, a light gray instead of a white or a medium gray would have been more suitable. Uh, the white kind of draws my eyes away, but uh, overall, I really do like the look and the feel of this for a graphic art piece. All right, awesome. Excuse me, any other questions? I mean, any other comments? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're ready for the next one. Tree of Life, 80. All right, Joe. Of life 80. Uh, really great scene we have in the cemetery. You can tell that this, you know, we've got a great story going here, Tree of Life. You know, that, that tree's been there a long, long time and it's seen a lot of people come and go or mostly come since it's a cemetery. Uh, we've got really great textures, you know, um, throughout the tree, one of these old, uh, like old river oaks. I'm looking at you know, good depth of field up to, to the top. Same thing through the bottom. Um, some things that we could have done to improve it, you know, it's, it's a time of day issue. Um, we're photographing, you know, this really great scene that we have here. We have all these textures and, and densities, you know, in the foreground of the palm trees over on the right and the bottom. But when we get up into the trees, you know, we've got these, you know, kind of what I call light traps. Um, 
you can try to put another background in there. I'm not going to say that you have to do that. Or just a different time of day or different sun direction. Maybe the sun was setting over there. And if you would have done it, you know, when the sun was rising, then we would have some blue sky over there. Um, that That's the biggest issue I see with this image, you know. Uh, another thing that maybe you could possibly think of, you know, I don't know what those white areas would do, is we transferred this to a really kind of a really high contrast black and white that might really snap things up. Um, just something to think about, you know, if you want to take this on uh, into the future. I don't think the green, I think the green uh, presentation kind of pulls my eye, especially when we got the green, the white, and then the image, you know, I think pick one or the other. Um, I think if you stay with the green, I would probably pull that down. Overall, okay. next All right. I'm sorry, you're cutting in and out. I thought you were done. Uh, any other comments? All right, we're ready for the next one. And Ion Weather scored 80. Carrie? Yeah, fun uh, image. I, I like the uh, composition of this. We've got the circular lines of our overhanging uh, piece here, and we've got the cool and warm contrast and the color balance, the warm uh, lights on the inside and the cool lights for the outside. So well done with that. Uh, what could move this up to the next level is a greater depth of field. Uh, when we're photographing something like this that's so busy and lots of texture, I would expect to see that uh, airport track one or whatever that sign says in the lower right hand corner uh, to be a little bit sharper, maybe some focus stacking going on there. Uh, something along that lines. And then I also think even just a little bit tighter crop, I think we could have taken a little bit off the top and a little bit off the right side uh, would benefit this image. But overall, a fun scene to see and capture uh, on a vacation, probably. <laughs> All right. Any other comments? All right. Judges, are we doing okay? Everybody feeling okay? I think we're yeah. getting close, guys. How, how are we doing? Are we getting close to um we are we are 71 percent um we're coming up in the rear um okay all right we're ready. Two, so <laughs> panel two was flying no <laughs> uh, all right we're ready for our next one um i've captured your heart 81 all right adelpha yes 81, congratulations. Um, you got a merit. That is pretty cool. That is an underwater underwater image. Uh, she sure looks very beautiful for being wet. <laughs> um, let's start with let's start with the, the bottom part of the image. Okay, well, let's start with the face. I mean, I love the face. Um, I love her expression, you know, how beautiful everything looks and how excited she looks of being there i guess so pensive you know one of the things that um i am a little bit um thrown out is when you look at the water uh in the middle to the right when you look at the water you are seeing a lot of like um it appears that at least i see a little check check that out. i see a little bit of banding or a, or computer noise over there with those ripples on the shadows. So when the shadows are giving you a little bit of trouble right there, and the same thing in the lower third of the image, you know, the painting uh, on the on the girl, the painting on the dress, uh, the, the reflection on the top, all of that is absolutely awesome. But um, that computer issue noise over there is giving me a little bit of concern. Um, but going to the body of the girl, the hand that is holding the flower, you see a little bit of hello, a little bit of like a wide rim all around the fingers. And that could be just because she's underwater. But if we look at the birds and the heart, they they look, you know, almost like too perfect to be underwater. So um, the presentation is very, very dark. I would love to see it a little bit less um, less dark to be more in key with what we got. And um, other than that, I mean, great looking image. All right, any other comments? All right, we're ready for the next one. The Diner, 80. 
Okay, Carrie? Yeah, Diner 80, what a great slice of life uh, out of this, um, I'm going to call it a Midwestern diner, I have no idea, but uh, great storytelling image that we have going on here. I like the composition of this. We've got the leading lines of the stools going back uh, and a fun treatment to give it a little bit of creativity. You know, the, I don't know if it's a Norman rockwell -y kind of feel to it. Uh, I think for me, what was uh, problematic in this image was the shallow depth of field, whereas that front uh, stool is out of focus and then we go back and it goes in focus for just a short time and then back out of focus so uh, a greater depth of field I think would have been better for this image but overall a fun image to judge all right any other comments we're ready for the next one I won't back down 81 Joe <laughs> 81 merit image congratulations I won't back down well, you can just see this attitude in this guy, you know, just in his body position and the, the lighting that you've used. Um, very contemporary. You know, this isn't your your classical type, you know, portrait, um, which is kind of a portrait study of this guy in his environment and what he, you know, what he enjoys the music. Um, I like the the stage lighting that you you've introduced in into here. Um, we've got the the light in the background. Um, all looking around the image. I think one of the things that there's two things that really kind of, kind of pop out at me. I like the, the lighting on his face. We've got good separation on the hair and the backlight. Um, when we get into the guitar, because of, I guess, the stage lighting, we've introduced a lot of kind of contamination and reflections to the guitar. Um, I don't know if you, you photographed this during a performance and you didn't have control of your subject. Uh, but, you know, sometimes if you just tip that guitar a little bit towards the camera, then we get rid of some of those reflections. Uh, same thing up with his uh, hands and his, his fingers. You know, we're kind of losing his fingers a little bit, really getting kind of muddy. And the same thing with that, that forearm under there. We're getting a little bit bright. For all you know, I like the presentation. I like this blue line that you put around. It's because it really it brings it all into tone. So overall, really, really great image. All right. Any other comments? We'll move on to the next one. A morning gift from the sea scored an 86. Okay. Adelpha? Uh, wow. This is this is a very, very beautiful image. Um, I am look 86. Congratulations. There is nothing to complain about there. That is beautiful. Um you know, the presentation, I normally do not like those double lines with double colors, but in this one, I, I feel like it's working for it. You know, the different uh, tone of those lines go with uh, with the subject matter. So I think it's really, really awesome. Um, 86 is, is awesome. So let's take a look and see what, what, in my humble opinion, will make this image do better. Okay, um, I like the lighting. I like the direction of lighting. I like how the waves are moving and uh, just um, just leaving the subject coming out. The top part, um, I would say like the fourth of the image on the top. Um, I almost feel like it doesn't need to be there. And that part over there is presenting a little bit of um, color contamination. I don't know if it's uh, magenta and cyan together right there. And it might be just a little bit of the, it appears in my computer, a little bit of like computer noise over there. Or, or maybe it's just the texture. Everything else is so soft. Even the texture in the bottom on the sun is fine. And over there the, on the top, the texture is so rough that it, in my opinion, it's not improving. It's not helping with the image. So I will actually, would love seeing that line come down and make this um, even a thinner panoramic pan, panorama. And I think that that will strengthen this image, but wow, I love the color key and I am in love with this image. All right, any other comments? All right, next up. Fire and Ice 79. Carrie? Yeah, uh, I like the title of this, Fire Nice. We've got the cool tones playing against the war to warm tones, nice color harmony going on here. Uh, as far as getting this one up into the next level, uh, I feel like the, you know, we've got such a late time in the day and we've got 
uh, such flat uh, lighting on these rocks. You know, if we could punch up the contrast in those rocks and bring up the shadows a little bit, just to give the rocks leading in a little bit more dynamic. And then trying to get that center horizon line uh, just a little bit away from, or the horizon line a little bit away from the center, uh, I think would be helpful for this. So cropping a little bit of the bottom off, a little bit of the top off, or doing something along that lines to uh, make that horizon line uh, not quite so centered, but overall a nice image. All right, any other comment? We're ready for the next one. Catch of the day, 81. Okay, uh, Joe? Right in my right in my wheelhouse. Love That's doing right. work. <laughs> <laughs> 81, congratulations, mirror image. Uh, great blue heron, just caught this fish right in his environment. Really nice image. I really like, you know, it's something the hardest thing is, you know, the, you know that 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 moment of capture, you know, we've got him just as he got this fish, he's got it in his beak. Um, he's gonna strut off somewhere, you know, somewhere private and eat this fish. We look around the, the image, we've got really great texture. So I really like the log sometimes. Uh, when you take an image like this, you know, you just don't get the right environment, but we've got a really good environment here. Um, I like the way you, you've used foreground, middle ground, and background. We've got really good separation from the background, you know, with the depth of field that we've used. Um, good feather detail throughout the image. At the very top of, of his back and maybe towards his tail feathers, we're blooming a little bit, losing detail back there. Same thing around his beak, um, but that could be easily corrected. Um, looking around the background, the only thing that really kind of sticks out, we've got this one big log, and I know sometimes it's it's hard, you know, that's going kind of, kind of a crooked vertical. Maybe we could tone that down. I think the presentation yeah. works really well for this too, you know because it's in tone with the bird. So really nice, nice capture. Awesome. All right, any other comments? All right, we're ready for the next one. Made it myself, 79. <laughs> All right, Carrie, you want that one? <laughs> yeah. Oh, fun uh, storytelling creative title, Made It Myself. Uh, you know, we've got our character here wearing uh, this fuzzy uh, sweater thing, <laughs> Made It Myself. Uh, to me, I think, uh, you know, the uh, getting it up to the next level, I just feel like the pink is so bright and then we lose the uh, separation between the back of the fur uh, in, into the background at the top, kind of on the sides of the eyes. We look at that and it, it kind of goes off into nothing. And then when we go down to the very bottom of the fur, uh, you know, in the front on the edges, I see some black coming through there and I'm not sure what that's from, if it's uh, some kind of contamination from an old background or something along that line, but just those those dark things uh, pulling through there, I think uh, that could have been handled a little bit differently. Uh, but, you know, when I look at this, it's definitely got impact. It definitely has style. We've got a great center of interest and in some fun storytelling going on here. So great job. All right. Any other comments? We're ready for the next one. Beauty and the Judy. Beauty in the Bayou, 85. All right, this one, Adelpha. 85, uh, this looks, this place looks amazing. I never seen it. Hopefully someday I will in person. And thank you for the maker for bringing this image for me to see it now. Um, you know, when I looked at this image, I, I go like, you know, this is this is an awesome image. What what could improve? Um, I know that these trees have the, the bark. They are supposedly, uh, they are very white and there is a lot of contrast within the trees. Um, one of the things, it is it, almost like a little bit of a vignette, a natural vignette coming from the side to these three front trees right here. I almost feel that if we would have presented a little bit down, like so the middle not be so hot, especially the first three on the left, um, it's, it's getting so bright. And I understand that those things are a little white and they don't have a lot of details coming down. I don't know what they are called, so forgive me. But um, I feel that if that was presented just a little bit toned down, um, I will be able to enjoy more uh, um, the the details in these amazing trees. Um, the the presentation 
you know, it's a matter of opinion. I don't think, uh, not here or there, I would love to see something with less, um, with less texture and that little line inside, I would like to see it, it's smaller so it will not compete with the beauty of this image. Um, I really love this, but that's all I got. All right. Any other comments? All right, we're ready for the next one. Primary plumage, 84. All right, Joe? Yeah, primary plumage, 84. Uh, top end of the deserving of a merit. A uh, really great image of this, probably a parrot or something in, in that variety. I really like the, the design we have. You know, it's, it's not just the picture of the feathers, but what we have is kind of a, a graphic design to this bird. You know, we've got great, you know, depth of field, you know, from the top. We've got reds and yellows and blues. We have all these colors working with each other and at the same time kind of against each other really kind of makes it such an interesting image. Um, I think the really tight crop works on this particular image. I think it really gives it, you know, just kind of a more impact, impact, um, taking it forward, uh, maybe to get it into that next level. Um, maybe the top just a little bit too bright, maybe darken that down a little bit. Um, the bottom, especially, I think there's, there's plenty of information there. I think if we just lighten that, you know, from the, the bottom of those two blue feathers all the way down and just lighten that bottom up a little bit. So we, there's information there. Uh, we just need to bring it out, especially if we look at the bottom and see how we got the nice light on the, the blue feathers there. And we've got some some light on the other side. We just need to bring that out a little bit. But really strong image. Congratulations. Mm -hmm, nice. Any other comments? All right. We're ready for the next one. Light into dusk, 83. Adelpha? Yes, 83, deserving of a merit. Uh, very, very nice looking image, a lot of impact. I remember being in the panel when this came in. Um, you know, um, let's start from the outside. Uh, the, the, the texture of the presentation, and I hate to bring the presentation up, but this is one of the 12 elements. The texture of the presentation, I don't feel that it match the, the, the image, neither does the tonality. I think it's too dark. I think there's nothing on this image that goes with that. And I feel that takes me out of the image. Um, when it comes to the image itself, um, you know, there is a lot of details on the main body of the image. And then you go to the, to the head, to the top of the head or the, the beak, and um, it's, it's like so bright over there that it's kind of um, melting in or, or going in, getting into the background. Like I'm having a hard time seeing the beak over there because it's exactly like in the background. So I wonder if this would have been presented a little bit darker. And talking about that, the sky, on the, especially on the left, I understand that the time of the day, it, it is what it is, but especially on the left, um, you know, I am losing details over there, and it is, and that's kind of what is going on in the beak of this image. Um, one of the things that I remember that we talked about it when this image came around was the front grass. I understand that we need to, um, you know, we need to leave a lot of foreground to make sure that we give the illusion, and we see that this image is up in the air, but everything on the image is soft, um, comparing and I am meaning soft in appearance, no, no out of focus, that's not what I am saying. The sky is soft, the, the, the grass is soft, but then the, floor, the foreground over here, the foreground is so strong and I can see, I don't know if it's painted or it gives the appearance that this image has been painted on some areas. So perhaps painting the front of the grass into something softer will bring this, this bird more up. All right, any other comments? All right, next. Sunset on the Mara, 78. Okay, uh, Carrie? Yeah, what a gorgeous image. Uh, it definitely has a lot of impact. You know, we've got uh, the orange sky, we've got the cloud movement, and then we can see these trees that are sharp. So we know it's not a pan uh, as far as that goes. So. Uh, 
I'm having a little bit of a hard time seeing the bottom. You know, I'm I'm trying to decide was that part of the um, uh, border, uh, the the presentation on it, or is that part of the image? They kind of blend together, uh, so I'm not sure where the bottom of this image is. Uh, you know, I think for me the the impact on this is in the color, but not. We don't have a lot of storytelling and subject uh, creativity going on with this. I'm I'm struggling to uh, see anything you know, in this image to, to look at, to find a center point, because I'm, I'm just looking around at all the sky and all the clouds. Uh, I do see a little bit of white uh, peeking through on the tree on our far left, uh, which to me is a little bit problematic because there's nothing else white in that sky. So uh, I'd be careful with that and the technical excellence problem, but uh, just fun to look at and that orange is, is striking. All right, any other comments? All right, we're ready for the next one. Snaking through 87. All right, Joe, you want to take this one? I think I think you might have, uh, I know you were on the panel when we judged this. Yeah, so um, 87, it. excellent category. A really different uh, approach to an architectural image. You know, we've got, you know, the, the buildings, you know, on the left and on the right. You know, I remember that some of the comments were, you know, that uh, we, see right into the buildings you know into into the rooms the office buildings you know with the different colored lights uh what really makes this image work is we've got this really strong s curve you know that this this train is moving through and at the same time you know we use the slow shutter speed so to give it motion so it's not just your typical you know static you know architectural image so, which really pushed it up you know into that that, that category um, some of the negatives that were brought up. Um, so I think one of the judges thought there was an issue with the, the back building, thought it could be a little bit sharper. And and the biggest problem with the image was, you know, this lower, you know, right-hand corner. You know, uh, there's really not a whole lot you could do with that, except maybe darken it so that there wasn't so much of a distraction. Overall, really nice architectural image. Not your, not your everyday architectural image or cityscape, you know, so uh, wonderful image. Yeah. All right. Any other comments? We're ready for the next one. Wetlands, ryth wetlands Rhythm, 82. Okay. Carrie? Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, in capture movement. This is an image that's hard to judge and hard to uh, give a critique for because it's a little bit different and a little bit outside the box. So to me, it's got some creativity to it. Uh, you know, in-camera motion is is hard to produce. Uh, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So with this one, what I really enjoy is the uh, green on the bottom and the brown on the top, and it just kind of fades together. You know, had we focused so much on all the green or all the brown, uh, it just wouldn't have that same impact to have the two tonality of the colors. Uh, you know, I think the border on this uh, is handled very well. It kind of gives it a nice fine art presentation look. And so I think that's well done. Uh, as far as getting it to score any higher, I'm not sure what I could tell you to do anything different because I think it's just one of those nice uh, soft sleeper images that we enjoy and appreciate and are going to award a merit to. All right. Any other comments? And our next image. Rocky. Hold on. A little, Rocky Mountain Sunrise, 78. All right, Joe. Sure. Um, Rocky Mountain Sunrise, seventy-eight. You know, looking through the image, you know, we've got this really beautiful uh, landscape in front of us that we've captured really well. Um, I really like this uh, the the position, your camera position that you chose. We've got this this uh, highway or, or trail moving into the the background here. Great depth of field, you know, from the foreground, middle ground, and background. I love the, the the colorization that you've got here on the sky. So, you know, good time of day. Um, we've got the, the snow, you know, good highlights and details in the snow all the way up into the peak. Um, I think what you may be fighting here, I'm seeing some black spots throughout the image. Either it's either sensor dust, dust, or I don't know, a couple, sometimes I see that sometimes in birds. Um, you need to clean that up, you know, like that gets into the, the technical excellence. You know, if I look through the top of the mountains, you know, I see some little spots also that, you know, seem to be sensor spots. You know, sometimes judges will overlook, you know, me, you know, one, maybe something here, but we've got the, 
the three, one, two, three, I see four really dark spots that really jump out of me. And then we've got, you know, several sensor spots. Um, presentation is, you know, it's clean, it's simple. It goes with the image. I think overall, you know, you've got a really nice image here. We just need to clean, clean up some of those technical exits. All right, any other comments? All right, ready for the next one. Don't poke the bear, 86. <laughs> oh, I remember the poke the bear. All right, Adelpha? Oh, I'm always poking the bear. That's my problem. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, um, remind me the 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 score. Eighty six. Eighty six. Okay, so eighty six. I remember we talked about this, and we went back and forth and back and forth, and we um, overall with an eighty six. It seems like we all loved it. Um, you know, I I absolutely agree and love the position of those eyes like they go like right center um looking at you and it kind of pierces your heart um some of the comments that were made is like uh, somebody was concerned about showing too much um you know body but then if you were to take a little bit of the body out you will also will have to take you know, I think I think this image does benefit by being a center, a center um, composition to make sure that those eyes uh, will tell you that it means business. I can see every whisker, I can see every detail on the uh, on the body. So I think that is a very a job well done. Um, one of the things that we might help is in the background. I'm assuming that it was like a night or, or a very dark area that was being photographed in the background. I, I understand that that's probably movement back there, but there is two spots like right between the eye and the nose to the left. There is a very dark spot. It, it is on the background, but it feels like a hole and it's claiming attention. If you could dodge that or, or kind of uh, try for that spot not to be so strong over there claiming for attention, and, and I am being uh, very picky with it just because I love this image and I am looking for anything that would improve and see if we can get you higher. The other thing is the nose. On the tip of the nose, it appears to be a tiny bit, a little bit too bright. Maybe if we can tone that down a little, be careful when we tone down because then we can introduce all kinds of computer issues. But if we can tone down just a little um, the top of the nose so it doesn't look so pale, um, I think that it will improve this image. Overall, I can sit here and talk all day about it because I love this image, but I won't. Congratulations. Right. It is a nice image. Any other co uh, comments? All right, we're ready for our next one. I spy 81. Is it delay? Come on. Yeah. Okay, Joe? Sure. Uh, 81, uh, congratulations, merit image. We've got this tiger here, you know, kind of peeking around the tree. So we've got a really good story and a really good title for it, too. It kind of gives the reason for the tree being there. Um, we've got good, you know, I'm looking through the fur. We don't, I don't see any blown out headlights. Head, head, a fur, you know, the highlights, you know, a, a good headlight highlights throughout the entire image. Um, the tree's a little bit out of focus. Um, that's a little bit concerning. I, I think with a little bit different, could even become a little bit even stronger if we kind of you know the tree is so out of focus that we just take off half of that tree in some of the areas you know if we look down here in the lower right hand side if we go up we've got this kind of like band of light that's going here you know it's from the, the background that's out of focus maybe it's or a tree or something like that you know i would uh, do something with that do some and the same thing with that upper right hand corner which is going a little bit light too um, I think the presentation is a good color, really offsets the image. So congratulations, image, you know, just just drawn right into that guy. So. All right. Any other comments? We're ready for the next one. The reveal, 78. Okay. Uh, Carrie? Yeah. Uh, beautiful mountain scene that we have before us. We've got... A uh, nice foreground, middle ground, background, and um, we've got some uh, beautiful cloud formations. Uh, 
So great job on the impact, great job on the uh, subject matter here. Uh, let's talk about what it is that I think can improve this image. To me, the image itself is the center portion. When I look to the right-hand side and the left-hand side where the clouds overtake the mountain, uh, I would like to see those uh, brought in just a little bit closer so that we have a little bit more focus on the subject matter. Uh, watch those highlights in the uh, lighting, uh, you know, on hitting on that snow, it's really hard to get the detail in the lines of the snow. So I would just be real careful watching those and adding a little bit of presentation to this one would uh, definitely help. So, uh, but beautiful image. Um, all right. Something to add. Uh, agree with all of it, but in the middle of the uh, middle ground, foreground on the mountain that you see over there to the very right, where you might be cropping, um, I can see a couple of sensor spots. Double check that. All right. Anything else? All right, we're ready for the next one. Rustin on a waterfall, 78. All right. Joe? Sure. 78, uh, high end of the above average, just a little bit short of merit category. Um, first of all, you know, Really good use of slow shutter speed. You know that's kind of really kind of tough on, on waterfall. We've got you know good motion and detail. You know on the top of the, the waterfall, uh, it starts to fall apart a little bit in the center of the waterfall because we're getting a little bit more light in there and a little bit more exposure. You know with the slow shutter speed. Um, so watch those areas like that if you get a chance to do something like this again. You know just watch your exposure in those areas. The same thing. You know when we get to spill. You know at the bottom of the waterfall. And right at the, the bottom of the waterfall, you know, we're, we're getting that same kind of apparent look. Um, overall, if we look at the image, you know, I know we don't have control. We can't go in there and move the stick, but, you know, that becomes just a, a really big distraction. And you were really got this really large, you know, kind of a cavernous hole in the background. Same thing, you know, either we can bring some detail out of that or a, a stronger crop, you know, maybe to the bottom of the stick. And maybe crop the bottom off a little bit too. Um, the presentation, I think, is a little bit uh, heavy handed. I mean, maybe a different color, maybe towards the brown, and maybe not so much of it. So it's more in tone with the image. All right. Any other comments? All right. We're ready for the next one. Morning at Ship Rock 79. All right. Uh, Carrie? All right, morning at Shiprock. I'm looking around, taking a look at this image a minute, uh, seeing what I see here. So we've got a beautiful time of day here and a beautiful uh, rock subject matter that we're photographing. Uh, I like the composition of this, putting the main rock on the third, uh, great composition. I think for me, we've got a color balance issue here with the sky going that cyan color. Uh, it's, it's just not quite a true blue sky. And then we've got the uh, white hole in the clouds in the middle uh, that kind of draws my eye away. So maybe a little bit of retouching there. Um, other than that, I'm not sure what else to say about this image. All right, any other comments? We can go to the next one. But I don't want to go home yet. 86. All right. Uh, Adelpha, you want to do this one? Yes, I remember talking about this and for the lack of a better term, fighting about this one. <laughs> um, okay, so 86, congratulations. Um, if you heard us when we were judging this, I absolutely love this image. I think that... Um, I didn't have personally a lot of things that I didn't like about the image. Uh, one of the things that I remember um, on uh, on the comments that we made is that some of our judges had issues with um, the little the turtle, the middle one, the the I guess it's a triangle, the one on the left being too dark, and the and the the pots or feet I don't know what you call it uh, going a little bit too far to the black. Um, um, if that if that was naturally um, probably changing a little bit the color or trying to um, do something on Photoshop to make sure that you bring a little bit more um, more details on that it might help the judges on the future 
Um, the other thing that it was um, that it was talked about was the baby, the baby turtle in the front that was uh, a lot lighter and a lot softer than everyone else. So probably uh, bringing the density down on that one a little bit might help the judges appreciate what you got. Um, having said this, I understand. I remember fighting for this one and justifying all of that, but there is five of us in the panel and you need to consider what we all think. Overall, congratulations, 86 is nothing to complain about. And I absolutely adore this image. All right, any other comments? All right, we'll take the next one. Just a little cat nap, 80. All right, Carrie. Yeah, a uh, cute title for this image, just a little catnap. We caught this at the right time. Uh, I enjoy the technical side of this. I think the uh, technique that was done on our, our image here is, is just great. Uh, it draws me in. We've got the right amount of contrast and highlights. Uh, to me, I think uh, this image would be better suited if we had cropped in on the cats. We don't need all the cactuses in the story. The story is about the cat itself. So cutting out the left side of the image, I think, would uh, really help this move it into a, a different category. Um, the, the border on this is acceptable. Uh, it's not anything that's too out there. I would have preferred something more probably in the brown tones to be a little bit more uh, in tone with the, the ground and the fence in the background. But, um, you know, because the green, the bright green, I think would be too bright. So uh, the green that you chose as far as the green goes uh, is pretty well, but uh, great storytelling. Uh, nice style to this image and nice technique on the, I'm not sure if it's painting or whatever the technique is to make it look like this. All right, any other comments? Our next one, please. Nature's Dance 100. <laughs> Joe? What do you want me to say? <laughs> oh my god! Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a wonderful image. Wow. Yeah. I'm just looking through the image. First of all, to see the image, you know, it, it's so hard, you know, probably the biggest thing in wildlife and nature photography is that all these things have to come together for you and they all came together. You've got the, you've got the scene, you've got the light, um, you had the knowledge where to put the camera, the f-stop, all this, you know, look at, look at the way the trees just kind of interact with each other. Just an absolutely gorgeous image, you know, great exposure, you know, between the uh, the top of the sky, you know, where we've got a little bit of the, the kiss of light from the, the sun, the just the kiss of the reflection, the piano, um, just a wonderful job from here. There's nothing I'm going to sit here and say, you know, what you could fix, you know, I just love this image, you know, a really great fine art piece. Well, I could see this hanging in the gallery. Uh, exceptional job, and congratulations. Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, next image. Morning Pastel 86. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, Adelpha. Oh, okay. I think I need to go visit that place because they keep coming to me. <laughs> 86, congratulations. Um, beautiful image, a, a beautiful um, story being told with this with these three. Um, you know, almost like the presentation is almost like not enough, like like it's almost too small for such a grandiose um, piece. Perhaps, uh, perhaps it's the second line, the second border, the inner border that I uh, that I don't like. That is taking. A, I do like that the the, the presentation it doesn't have any extra texture in it. I love that, but I would, would love to see a little bit more with a with a less with the inside border less into my face. Um, having said that, I I love the 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 composition of this image, the the one main three right on my face. I love the details that we are seeing on the on the reflection. Um, I feel like the middle three it is dark enough and I can see the density and I can see a lot of details. I almost feel like the uh, this image will benefit with having a little bit more uh, present a little bit darker on the sides. I hate to color a vignette because we're always fighting against it, 
but the right side of the tree perhaps a, a little bit darker and so is the left side of the tree without making a look in, into a vignette that is gonna uh, come and get you later but I don't know what else to say about this image other than I absolutely love it and maybe the two light on one side or the other is the one thing that I would correct but I love even I think I see a face on the middle of that tree uh, say hello to me I love this congratulations all right next image first flight 83 all right Carrie yeah, great impact with this with a color tonality and the purple tones, I think, uh, is fun. You know, when we have that early morning light, we get the different colors in the skies and it was captured beautifully. I like the composition of this image uh, flowing uh, higher on the left hand side, flowing down to the right uh, and, and catching that first those first rays of sun. Uh, that are hitting there. I think that was done very well uh, too. And in the presentation, I typically don't like a textured border, uh, but to me, the purple tones in this really bring out the purple tones in the image. So I think that was handled very well. Um, I'm not seeing anything that I would uh, say to do differently. I'm looking edge to edge. I'm looking for dust spots. You know, I'm not seeing anything, uh, you know, maybe uh, just a touch more contrast. So it's not as milky in the uh, mountainside itself, but you want to be careful with that because you don't want to lose too much detail either. But uh, okay, nice job. All right. Any other comments? Next image. Eton Morning 79. Joe. Yeah, it's 79, top end of, of above average, just short of the mirror. So let's, let's kind of look through the image, you know. Uh, we've got a uh, good use of, you know, foreground and the middle ground sharp. Uh, even the Teton Mountains in the background are sharp too. Um, the snow, so we haven't blown out the highlights in the snow, which is always a problematic in an image like this. I think, you know, what a, to get this over the hump, I want to see more of the environment. You know, it. I know that I've been in this area only a couple of times, but I want to see more of the environment. It, it just feels kind of crowded to me. Um, give it some more space, possibly. I don't know if you have another image that you photograph from this particular area. Maybe a little bit more to the to the top and a little bit more to the bottom. Um, I think you're really fighting. I realize you're going with kind of a, a fine art look, you know, with the uh, the background, you know, the presentation board. I think that the white is really kind of fighting with you and really uh, draws your eye attracts a lot of attention. Um, overall, I think the image, I don't know what you did in processing, had a little bit of a crunchiness feel to it, like maybe just a tad too much uh, of tonal contrast or whatever you did to the image. Overall, a really nice image. I think with just some little bit of tweaks here and there that you can push this and get the merit at it. All right. Any other comments? Our next image, please. The Horny Pelican, 78. All right, Carrie. Yeah, a fun title uh, for this image. You know, it, it makes us chuckle, which is always a good thing. Uh, tying a little bit of storytelling in and, and making us smile uh, makes our day. Um, we've got a nice subject matter, and I like the composition of this leading, uh, you know, somewhere for this pelican to be able to swim to the left. So I think that was handled very well. Uh, as far as moving in this up to the next category, I feel like the image itself is just a little bit dull. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of punch and contrast to it uh, in, in the, um, and maybe warm it up a little bit and just give it a little bit more contrast, uh, a little bit of texture in those feathers. I think we've got nice detail in the feathers. So that's uh, a good job. You don't want it, if you're adding contrast, make sure you don't uh, blow out those whites, but a uh, nice image and a few tweaks could maybe get this up into a merit. All right, any other comments? Our next image, please. Dawn's Magistry, 81. Okay. Adelpha? Yes, 81. Congratulations on the merit. That is awesome. Um, you know, when I when I look at this image, it, the, the, the place between highlight and shadows was kind of interesting. Um, one of the things that I would think that might get this to the other side, to a little bit higher, not to the other side, but to the other side of the next category. <laughs> um, I, when I look at it, 
I see the clouds underneath, then mountains, then more clouds, then mountains, and, and highlights and shadow and so on. I almost feel like the highlights of the mountains over there, I can see details on those highlights. And in order for you to be able to get details on the highlights, you have to turn this down. But I almost feel like the shadows got turned down so much that they got um, a little bit uh, dull, like the, the second mountains over there after the highlight. It is so dark that it's just almost losing details in the, in, in the shadows. And then there is the mountain in the very back they, I feel like it's, it's going out of focus because of this field, which is fine. But then I don't know if it's environment or if it was um, if it was a lot of wind that was bringing the snow up. But I see like a halo, like a like a like like a halo, like a smoke, like something all around the rim of that mountain. So if that was environment. Um, and you could not do anything about it, but that could have been done by treatment in the computer. Either way, it's making us kind of figure out what is going on and why is that there. So uh, overall, I think it was per perhaps presented too dark, and um, and that is probably one of the reasons that is giving you a little bit of the issues that is giving you in the background. All right, any other comments? We're Other than part. can we take a restroom break? I, I just fix it. Ask, do we need a quick break? <laughs> I do, please. Right. Let's take a quick break and get back because I think we're getting pretty close to done. We okay. are pretty close to done. Um, Karen, can you put judges on break up for us, please? Go. All right. And then just turn your camera back on when you're back. All right. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
Okay, let's see. I think we just need Adelpha. I'm back. Uh, Aaron, okay. just waiting okay. for Adelpha. We're just waiting for Adelpha. Tia, about how many do we have left? About 10, 12? Uh, let me look here. Uh, we have, um, it, can you put up that last image, uh, Karen, for just one quick second? Uh, the last image was, hold on a second. I oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Don't don't worry about doing that. Um, we have 20, we have about 30 left. Or about 30 left, okay. Yeah. Adelpha, are you back yet? No, she's not back yet. So, you know, very interesting. <laughs> Can I hear somebody talking? Sorry, I was trying to look to one of mine, but I'll turn it off. Turn me, I'll turn it off when we start. I'll mute. Tell me when I'll delve. <laughs> Do we need to do any refreshing of our display? Nope, we're in good okay. shape. Okay, good. All right, I believe Adelpha's back. What are you waiting for me? Yeah. Yes. We're, we're ready then. We are ready to go. Everybody good? Yep. Yeah. All right. So we have about 30 images left to go, guys. So, okay. so we have feasting on a fish. All right, uh, Joe, why don't you start us off from the break? What, what was the score? Feasting on a fish. And what, score? Four. 81. 81. Uh, merit image, uh, congratulations on your merit image. Um, we go through the through the image, you know, we've got good focus on the bear and the fish and his paws. We see him, I like the shutter speed we've used. We kind of Got a little kick of some bubbles up on the water from his paw. Same thing underneath the bear. Um, got good light direction. You know, we've got some really pretty fur details. I think what I really like, you know, you know one of the things, you know, I always look at for wildlife photography is, you know, background. And in this case, with you know, with the combination of the lens that we've used and the f-stop we've used, we've got really good separation of the bear, you know, from the from the background. If anything, I'd like to see just a little bit more environment, you know. Um, he's almost kind of a bullseye presentation or bullseye composition. Um, so a little bit more environment around him. I always, you know, tell people, you know, shoot loose. You know, you can always crop later. Um, so just, you know, you, you may not have been able to do that in this particular image. You know, sometimes when things happen like this, you just, you know, shoot and, and, and worry about it later that you can you know, hopefully do some cropping. But, you know, just a little bit looser crop, so we got a little bit more room on, on the bottom and on the right-hand side. But overall, really nice image. All right. Next image. So that's what I look like, 79. All right. Adelpha? Do you say Adelpha? Yes, uh-huh. All right, 79. We're very, very close to the merit over here. Uh, a very, a very um, creative title. Um, awesome storytelling. Uh, when I look at this image, one of the things that it, it concerned me the first time I saw it is there is a strong sense of vignetting around the image. There is a there is the the ages and the size got turned toned down. That is giving it like a very a strong sense of vignette. And the same thing with the bottom. It, it almost feel like the I understand that the. Um, Reflection is always darker, but it almost feel like it, it went like too dark, um, you know, on the, the reflection. On the bird itself, the sun is hitting it directly on the side over there, which is um, giving giving the appearance that you're losing 
a lot of details. I know that when you're photographing this type of thing, you get sometimes what you get, but I wish the sun would have been hitting um, the head of the of the bird a little bit more so I can, so perhaps on dodging to make the head of the bird a little bit lighter so I can appreciate the bird and tone down and give details to the, um, the side of the bird so I can, so I, so the attention goes where it needs to go. I mean, you, you are almost there. It is a, it is a beautiful capture, um, less texture in the, in the presentation and congratulations for entering. All right. Okay. Um, next image. Sacred Canyon 81. Carrie. Yeah, uh, we've got some great impact going on here. It's a beautiful subject matter to photograph and uh, just a little bit different view. A lot of times uh, when we see these images, they don't include the sky. So uh, I think that was done well. I'd be really careful with uh, the shadow areas and bringing them up. I'm starting to see some noise and some pixelation uh, in those areas on our uh, rock formation that's coming up from the the top left uh, coming down into the center of the image. And then again, I'm seeing it through the U-shaped one at the bottom. So just being careful of those, but uh, I like the flow and the motion and the lines in this and congratulations on the merit. All right, anything else? Next image. En enjoying the autumn sunset, 84. Joe? 84. Um, excellent, well, we're just just missed the excellent category at the top of the bearing of a mirror. Really pretty image of this bird. Wow, really great environment. You know, I'm looking through the bird. You know, we've got really great feather detail through here, um, especially around this head. I love that little kiss of light. The environment you placed him in, whether it was, uh, you know, composite or, or, or natural, it's just really, really pretty environment that we have him here. Some things to possibly improve the image. I like the head and density we have and the like the kiss we have around this head. The body of the bird seems to be going a little bit dull. I think that could be easily corrected. I think the information is there. Uh, just bring that out, just maybe dodge that or uh, with a layer mask and you know, just just bring a little bit more detail. And I'd like to see a bit a little bit more room around the bird. You know, give me he's in this really grandeur uh environment and just feels a little bit tight to me. Give him some you know, just a little bit more room to, to live in, so to speak. Really nice, uh, really pretty image, you know, congratulations. All right, any other comments? One quick comment on the rings around the bird's feet is, you know, they the the lightness of the rings, uh, you know, show us that there's rings there, but then we've got the texture of the water still flowing uh, horizontally. So instead of painting that texture into a circular pattern, it's just a lightness. And to me, that's off a little bit to keep me from moving this image forward. All right, next image. I'm not a judge, but add a little ripple in there. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Cherishing the moment, 90. All right, Carrie. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, here's the ripples uh, in there. Uh, I like that. I like to see the depth and density of the ripples where the birds are standing. So that was done very well. And um, we've got impact with this. We've got some great subject matter, beautiful painting, the score to 90. So I'm having a hard time finding anything to change about it. The direction of the sunlight was handled very well. We got the brightness over the sky, uh, you know, shining onto our birds. So we have a better, uh, nice light pattern. Uh, that is flowing there in great color balance. So job well done. All right, next image. Winter's, winter's slow down. Come on. The computer slow down too. Okay. Oh. Okay. There we go. I think, nope. It's a, there, there we go. go. Okay, Adelpha. Uh, what was the? 77 winter's slow Winter slow down. Thank you. All right, 77. Um, this is, I mean, this is a, a, a beautiful scene, a beautiful uh, winter area. Like uh, there's so much texture and so much beauty out there. Um, 77 is um, about average. I am thinking that in order to get this image 
to a merit or closer to a merit uh, for to start with the white border, the white presentation is making everything look a little bit more dull and more matted. Um, so that snow is looking too gray and too blue. Um, so that snow needs to look a little bit brighter. So perhaps with a with a uh, presentation or a background that will be darker will make that snow come up a little bit brighter. Um, also, uh, you know, it, it, it feels like the contrast is not there. Like it was perhaps got toned down so much that we took away the contrast. I understand that when you bring the contrast, you have to be careful not to lose the details on the top of that, that, that house with, uh, with the snow. But um, I feel like this image has all the makings of a merit image, but it needs to be reprocessed and uh, and make sure that the, the color balance is is there. I mean, you're losing um, you you have you're almost losing details on the ceiling of that the snow of the top of that house, but it's still too dull. So so kind of um, play with that and. Uh, the presentation make it a little bit more simple to make sure it doesn't fight with the image. All right, next image. Bashful Bison, 79. All right, Joe? Yeah, Bashful Bison, 79, just out of the merit. So let's go look at some of the positives. You know, we've got some really good fur texture in there. You know, we've got uh, you know, eye contact with his nose, and his body. Um, I really like the the placement of the object. You know, we put him over on the right hand side. Um, we've got good separation between the you know the uh, the bison in, in the background. Um, I think you know maybe to try to get a sweep another point out of this and, and get it up into the merit category. I think we just possibly just need to bring this you know bring it down a little bit, a little bit darker, um, without you know losing the shadow detail that you have on the right hand side. Um, I like the, the, the crop that you have here. Another thing that you can experiment with is maybe a, a much tighter crop, you know, to give it even more impact. Maybe all this image, you know, I realize that you did that to, to kind of push into the right hand side, but maybe you know, the beauty of this image is to just make a really impactful image, crop it really tight so that, you know, that we concentrate on the bison. Um, think about also, you know, when you're photographing something like this, to give a little bit more uh, space, you know, not so much the top or, or around the sides, but give him a little more space on the bottom, just a little, so he has a little room to kind of be in his environment. But overall, really nice image, you know, almost there, just some little tweaks, you know, possibly getting the merit for it. All right, awesome. All right, next image. Sunsets, warm light, 79. Okay, Adelpha? Uh, 79, almost to a merit, um, uh, very close. Um, congratulations of being on this path to begin with. What a beautiful, what a beautiful area, what a beautiful um, sunset. Okay, um, I feel like in order to get this, to give this a little bit of a, or a better chance, I feel like it was presented too dark. I understand the 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 sun in the back is going to make that part very light, and it was probably trying to darken everything to make everything look more silhouette. But I feel like making it so dark is giving an appearance, or maybe it has a vignette all around that. So the sides, both right and left, um, they has you see the vignette so strong. That you're starting to get some, it appears to you're starting to get some artifacts and some issues in the upper right corner. Camera right, there is. And I also feel that the left side of that, if you go all the way to the left, you see on the border, you see a little palm tree coming out, which is giving me like a black dot that is so the, your eyes go, what is there? I feel like if you were to come in, and, uh, and crop all the way to the edge of where the water, the bright water is coming up and lose that part over there. I don't think that you will be losing much. So a tighter, so a tighter, um, a tighter crop will help. Also look at the horizon is looking a little bit tilt. 
um, that's all I got. This is a beautiful image and I'm glad you were able to be there. All right, any other comments? We're ready for the next one. Mesa Arch 90. Okay, Joe. Yeah, gorgeous image. A 90 superior category. Uh, wow, look at all the texture we have in this image. Um, exposure was a real challenge here. We've got, you know, the sun rising just coming up and hitting that archway. Um, but we're still maintaining, you know, good density, you know, on the blue sky. You know, we've, the sky is coming up. We've got a little bit of, of fog or atmospheric haze, but we've still got really good definition of, you know, where the image is. You know, uh, the, the haze isn't obliterating the image. Really good texture throughout the image. Um, you know, I can't really, what would I do different to this image? Um Maybe the mat bothers me a little bit, you know, the uh, kind of bottom heavy weighted mat a little bit. Um, that highlight or not highlight, but where the sun's hitting underneath the rock, maybe that's a little bit too strong. You could probably maybe, uh, bring that down a little bit. And the same thing with the rock above it, you know, maybe just bring that, open that up a little bit. You know, really nice presentation. It works well. Really great. You know, I'm glad you could have this. 90 superior, you know, congratulations. Wonderful image. Yeah, that's beautiful. All right, next image. Eyes on the prize, 85. Okay, Carrie. Yeah, I loved this image during judging. Uh, you know, fantastic capture. We look at the uh, beautiful bird, you know, coming in to grab that little fish. And at first I didn't even see that fish. And I was trying to make out the title eyes on the prize. And I'm like, okay, he's going after something. And I look down and I'm like, oh, absolutely fabulous. So whether you were able to catch that fish in the water there, if it was placed there, uh, well job, the technique on the bird is done well. And I enjoy that. The only thing that I have, uh, that I'm wondering about is, uh, the darkness and a couple of the feathers and things like that, we start to lose uh, some of what's going on. But overall, this was handled very well. The presentation is nice. Uh, you know, the not going with a solid dark black, I think was a good choice. You know, just something a little bit lighter. Uh, we've got nice motion and flow. So great impact and uh, great storytelling here. All right. Next image. Balancing Barbie, 86. All right. Adelpha. Oh, wow. What a beautiful image. 86, congratulations. This is this is so beautiful. And the colors and everything, how it played with uh, the pink and the blue and, you know, the painting that was done, I believe, um, in the background was done very, very beautiful. Um, the, the only thing that I could... I could sit over here and talk about everything I like. However, the only thing that I could probably um, talk about it is I feel like the image has a total hazing on it, like a little bit, and maybe that was part of the style and the beauty of it, but I almost feel like it's a little bit too light, like it has a, a little bit of a, a, a hazing, matted look to it. And I would, I, me personally, I would love to see a little bit more vibrance and a little bit more details on the bird. Um, other than that, I mean, talking about ripples, talking about capturing those drops of water going down. Uh, congratulations, beautiful image. All right, next image. Morning's Golden Glow, 79. All right, Joe? Yeah, 79, just short of the merit category. Um, we've got this beautiful scene, beautiful snow scene. Um, the gold in the background, you know, the snow that's just lighting on the trees. They've done a real good with exposure through there. Um, to the center of the image, we're just at the edge of, you know, kind of losing our highlights, but to maybe address that area. Um, going forward to make this into a merit image, I think we're almost looking at two, two images. You know, I realize that you want to show that foreground, but I don't know if that's, you know, helping you because we have such a difference in, in colorization between the trees and that foreground of, of the snow bushes here. And we've got a big difference in contrast here. Um, the same thing, you know, with the, the highlights with that tree in the center. I, if we look at that, you know, that's falling on the snow, we're almost losing those highlights in there. So, you know, address that. 
I'm putting it on the black. I don't know. It's a little bit stark for this image, you know. I know sometimes that you know we put it on black because we got a lot of different things that that we're trying to address in the image. I think if we would maybe put something in the, that that the color of the trees and you know the snow, I think would have been helped a little bit more. Uh, a really pleasing image to look at. Um, play, I think, play around with some cropping and some some different things with the cropping in the background. All right. Any other comments? Next image. <laughs> Wide, wide, wide world of sports and booze, 78. All right, Carrie? Yeah, uh, this was an interesting image. There's a lot to look at at this image. A very colorful, so I kind of like all the colors that are going on here. Uh, and a great title for what we have. Uh, I almost feel like it was too much to look at. Like I kept wondering what are all the lines on the top? And then I realized I think they're arrows uh, and the arrows are creating a lot of shadows. So we've got some direct light coming in and it's just so busy and so much to look at. Uh, that I think, you know, it would have been a little bit better to isolate some of these subjects. Uh, we push the contrast so much in this image that our highlights are really light and our shadows are really deep. Uh, and so I'm not so sure that was uh, such a good choice because we start to just have too much uh, it adds to the busyness. Uh, another thing that I want to say is the angle of this image. I would have liked to have seen it a little bit more centered if we're going to show all this busyness, uh, taking a few steps over to our left and, and giving us a center a centered wall instead of an angled wall, I think would have been a little bit more pleasing composition for this uh, image. So uh, overall, a good idea, but I think it was just a near miss. All right, next image. Plains, Radiance, and Retreat. All right. Delpha? Yes. Um, what was the score? 83. Sorry. Okay. All right. So 83, you got a merit. Congratulations. I mean, this is this is kind of like a cool place, like a cool idea. Uh, I'm glad you were able to capture it in film, I guess, on digital. See? Old school over here. Um, you know, when I looked at this, I kind of um, was having a little bit of a hard time. I was not in the panel that judged this, but when I look at it, I love the impact when it first come out. Um, I love the, the storytelling of what's going on. Um, I'm having a little bit of a, um, I feel that for me, the saturation was done a little bit too much. It was like a little bit too saturated. And if you look at the at the um, at the uh, PP that is on the very right, that almost it, I am almost seeing like a little line coming on the side, the 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 one farther on the right coming on the side where the blue is almost coming into the TP. So I feel like the saturation is is kind of hurting this image a little bit. Also, the very heavy-handed uh, presentation. Um, it, I have a little, I think that it will be better with something a little bit more simple that composition where it is, I absolutely love it. The, the three tipis and the, the, the horses in the back on the very, very left adding to the, adding to the story, I think it's a great idea. Um, congratulations on your merit. All right. Our next image. Standing room only 80. Okay, hey, Carrie. Yeah, this is fun. And I like the title. Uh, I like that the title tied into the storytelling of this image. So uh, congratulations to you on a merit. Um, what I think about this image as far as getting it to score higher, to me, it doesn't have a uh, center of interest in a subject matter. I know the subject matter is the full field of flowers, but my eyes kind of roam around and I'm having a hard uh, time finding a place to land. As it stands, I still think it's a beautiful image and a merit image, but uh, I think, you know, finding something centralized to focus on uh, in your composition for a different image, uh, you know, if you were in this again, maybe one, uh, you know, sunflower a little bit bigger, or brighter would give us a little bit more uh, something to look at. So uh, the mat is a little bit bright and white for the color tones that we have going on in the image. It doesn't take away from it too much, uh, but I enjoyed the scene that we have here and this beautiful field of flowers. So merit image. All right, next image. 
schoolyard bully or 80. Okay, Joe? Yeah, schoolyard bully, 80, Mayor, uh, congratulations. Um, looking at the, this, this great eight, you know, looking at the lighting on the space, we've got good lighting on the space, we've got good texture. Um, uh, the, the thing I have problems with this, you know, we've got a merit, but possibly we could have made it a little bit stronger. Uh, again, you know, I want to see a little bit more room around him. It looks like we've, you know, kind of burned down the, the background and things. I want to see uh, more separation also between, between him and the grass behind it, you know, maybe with a different depth of field. Just to give it a little bit more separation, a little smoother background. Same thing with the, with the bottom of the image. You know, we've got great fur detail. You know, on his on his arms and his fists and his uh, upper bo upper body. Uh, the bottom part of the, of the image is getting really really dark and kind of muddy. So I, I don't know if he burned that down to try to you know uh, to hide some of his his privates or whatever. But um, you know, just just watch the density in that area. And again, especially on the bottom, the top has got you know. Uh, enough room to it but the bottom is, is really really tight so just watch you know when when you photograph animals like this you know i'd like to see a little sense of their environment just something to think about you know moving forward all right next image aspirations 82 all right carrie yeah oh this is beautiful beautiful painting uh, I love the technique that was done on the flower petals themselves. We see nice brushwork, nice stroke work. Uh, the um, stems of the flowers, I think, were handled well. Uh, I think where I'm seeing a little bit of a disconnect is from the uh, bud that is on the right-hand side to the flower petal itself. Almost seem like they have a little bit of different treatment. The bud itself is very sharp and focused and everything else in the Im image is soft and flowing. So to me, there was just a little bit of technique issue uh, carrying through together on the whole image. And the presentation, I think, is very flattering to this. So uh, congratulations on the merit. Great. Next image. Mars on Earth, 81. Okay. Adelpha? Yes. Congratulations on the merit, 81. Um, this is a very interesting capture. Uh, I love the play of tonality and colors and, uh, and shapes in this image. Um, you got a merit. Um, I feel that one of the things that will make this image stronger is um, to, to present it a little bit darker. I feel like it was so light that the, the formation closest to the camera, it's, it's like so pale, like so it's, it's missing details on those blues and on those uh, whites around the brown eye for the lack of a better word. And, and then when you come all around here in the middle of, in the middle of, the, of the formation to the left, that white area is looking a little bit matted, like it's not having enough punch. So I feel like uh, presenting it a little bit um, darker and giving it a little bit more construct to give a little bit more punch will be um, will be beneficial. Um, I am not sure. I'm excited about the double line. I think it competes with the image and uh, the the border being so dark uh, is making the image yet looking a little bit too light. But congratulations on the merit, and it's a great shot. All righty. Any other comments? Next image. Windswept. Windswept 86. Okay. Uh, Joe? Wow. 86. Uh, excellent image. Love this. Um, you know, I, I, I didn't judge this, so I'm kind of looking around. Windswept. The title really goes with this image, this very delicate flower here. We've handled the lighting really, really well. Um, we've got edge lighting on the stem. Uh, the lighting goes up through the flower. It looks like we've given a little bit of treatment to it. We've got a little painter treatment to it. Um, throughout the image, it looks consistent. I'm not seeing any flaws in that. Uh, I think what, what carried this is you know, this is an example of simplicity. You know, we look at the 12 elements of a merit image and we've just got impact and technical excellence right there. Very simple image, but it, it just really, really works really well. Uh, going forward, would I do it? I don't know what I would do different. 
Wow, that's the only thing. I like maybe a different background a little bit. I don't know. I guess maybe that was the look you know the maker was going for on this. You know, this very dark background. Maybe I'd like to see a little bit of detail back there. And the other thing is, is the map. You know, I realize that you, you've kind of kind of picked up the color of the stem, but I think it, it's really kind of competing with the image. Maybe you maintain the same color, but maybe just bring it down darker. Overall, bro, wonderful image. Uh, excellent category. Congratulations. All right. Any other comments? Next image. Down the hatch, 79. All right. Carrie. Yeah. Uh, fun capture. Capturing. We've got a great storytelling image here down the hatch with the uh, bird swallowing the fish. So great job on catching that story. A couple things that I think could help with this image. Uh, I feel like the highlights on the bird are too light. Uh, I'd like to see a better exposure for that bird so we can see the detail in the feathers. And then uh, the softness that we've got going on to me doesn't feel like a depth of field. It feels uh, very... Um, Oh, I don't know. The the top edges of the grass are starting to get fuzzy, even though they're in the same plane. So to me, I, I'm looking around and looking at that fuzziness, and I almost feel uh, it's a little bit too much. So maybe cropping down some of that top, cropping in a little bit on the left-hand side uh, would help that image, and uh, maybe not quite so heavy of a presentation. All right. Next image. Days end at Ship Rock 82. Joe? Sure, 82, uh, merit, merit image. Uh, congratulations on your merit. Um, let's look through the image. I wasn't on the panel when this was judged. But well, first of all, great time of day with sunset, sunset or sunrise. We've got really good colors in the background. Uh, we've got good definition through the rocks. Uh, good, you know, foreground, middle ground, background, especially, you know, the foreground. I really like the way that leads in. We've got really great leading lines, you know, from the rock formation on the left. That leads to this big, you know, huge uh, mountain range in, in the center. Um, looking through the, you know, we're moving forward. Uh, the only positive, a little bit too dark on the left hand side. I realize that we're losing the sun direction a little bit, but maybe uh, just lighten some of those areas. And just where the rock intersects, where it looks like the sun may be behind that. We're, we're kind of blooming a little bit and kind of losing detail in those clouds. Uh, we could probably even make it a little bit stronger and a little bit even more of a pano. I don't know if we need all of that foreground. And, and again, on this image, you know, I think that the presentation really overwhelms uh, this particular image. I don't think we need that much presentation area uh, and also take it down a little bit darker. All right. Nice image. Next image. Solitude at Sunrise, 81. All right. Carrie, you want to take this? Yeah, I really enjoy the graphic piece of this that we've got. Uh, nice uh, sun right in the center there, but yet on the lower third. So the positioning of that was done well. And we've got nice flow on how the trees go from uh, tall on the right to shorter on the left. So uh, how you found that. I don't know, but that is beautiful. Beautiful job. Uh, as far as moving this up, um, you know, maybe bringing just a little bit of those blacks, not quite as contrasty. Uh, so we see a little bit more definition in those tree trunks. I'm not sure if that's possible with the scene that's in front of us because we do have so many, uh, such bright highlight from the sun and, and such, uh, you know, dark shadows there. But uh, overall, I really enjoy this piece and a nice thin border to me, uh, you know, makes me not want to look at uh, anything outside of this image. My eyes just keep going right around. So congratulations. All right. Next image. And it's wine time. We're done. <laughs> oh, that's it. Okay. All right. Hi. Hi. We're calling it title. Uh, yeah, it's wine time. <laughs> Right. That is a wrap. That's a wrap, is guys. There, so much. Need anything, need anything else from us? No, I think we are done. Yay. Well, great job, makers, for all the makers that have been on. Really nice work, guys. Really nice work. And to my judges, great job, guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone. Thanks to everybody. Great organization on the panel.
And Thank thanks you. everyone for helping us um, serve you. And Thank you to ASP. Thank you, Jessica. You did a great job keeping us on, keeping us going. And it was nice mm -hmm. to judge with you guys. Thank you. Yes, it was great to see everybody. All right. Have a great evening, everybody. Thank you so Take much, care. everyone. Bye. Bye. Have fun. It was nice to see you all, the ones that I got to see. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye now.